Huh? A fire? Where am I? Trouble! I'd better get out of here. Fast! A decorative blanket, maybe? Looks sturdy. I should take it. There, it's working, but maybe not for long. I need to get past that door. Looks like a multitasks tribot. Let's switch it on. Nothing. Is it out of juice? Locked. And in perfect shape. I don't think I can break that one. Locked. And in perfect shape. I don't think I can break that one. If I'm not mistaken, this is a meaty me. A multimedia holographic device to watch all your favorite programs and liveies for hours in the comfort of your home. Obviously, it won't work. Another tribot. No good. Are they broken? I always knew these were unreliable junk. Too bad. They could have helped putting out the fire. Welcome. Yikes! Unidentified user. Please provide name and function. My name? It's, uh... Alert level 5. Burglary in process. What the? Please remain still until agents arrive to arrest you. I'm no thief, Triangle Head. And don't you have more urgent business to take care of? Like the fire? Inappropriate attitude detected. Request for applicable disposition. Database search in progress. Network unreachable. Closest range of action in local data is... Neutralize the individual at all costs. That tin can is crazy. No point trying to reason with these things. Please don't interrupt the destruction process. Here it comes. Huh. I'm glad this was the only mad robot here. Whoops! Looks like this was the last one. Hey, a door just unlocked. <coughs> that smoke, <coughs> that's unbearable. Well, I need to find a way out of here, fast. I'm right here! It's you. Don't talk. You'll wear yourself out. I'll get you out of here. No need. Why are you saying that? You know why. I... No. I don't. What happened? Uh... Leah? Leah! She passed out. I need to help her. Quick! What if I remove that metal bar? There you go. Huh? So heavy. I have to. No. I'm not strong enough. All your fault. What? 
murderer. Leah, what are you saying? I just found you. You're gonna make it. I promise. Liar. You killed me. You killed him. Stop it. You know I'd never do anything like that. Worthless. Dangerous. How could you lie to everyone? Even yourself? Stop it, please. Shouldn't have trusted you. My son isn't safe with you. That's not true. I... I'm taking good care of him. Wait. Something's not right. Where is... Criminal. Doomed. I... need to focus to get you out of here. Hold on. I'll try it again. Uh, it's so heavy! Uh! <sighs> oh. No, I'm... I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm just not strong enough. Should have known. Huh? What's going on? I... I'll get some help. Don't move. Of course. Running away, like always. I'm not, but... You'll be judged for your sins. No. No! The ground! Is everything collapsing? I'll... stay here with you. Liar! You left me alone! No. I won't. I'll never forget! I'll never forgive you! No! Morning. Another nightmare, huh? Uh, I guess. Somebody called you earlier. Who? How would I know? Check your phone. Right. Whoa, six phone calls from the same guy? I better call them back. Hmm. Oh, finally. I thought you'd never reply. Yeah, sorry. I uh, had uh, personal issues. So tell me, your name is Sin? Do you need my services? Of course I do. You're my last hope. Please, come to my apartment. I've sent you the address. Wait, aren't you gonna tell? There's no time, and the line could be tapped. Okay. Hurry! Uh, uh, why do I only get weird clients? I'd better get ready. Hey, how are you doing? Don't you have some errand? Don't mind me. But I just want to have a little chat before I go. All right, what is it? This is Graf. I've been taking care of him since his mother died five years ago. Hard to believe it's been that long. I've been so busy trying to make ends meet, I've barely seen him grow up. How are you lately? I'm okay. You're sure? You don't seem very... I said I'm okay! Got it? All right. He's stressed out. Look, I know I haven't been there a lot lately, what with all my work. No problem. It's your life. But you're a part of it, even if we have no blood ties. I'm in the middle of a game. Did you really interrupt me for that claptrap? <sighs> Kids. How come you're not at school? You mean the consciousness center? Whatever. It used to be called school in my day. I'm taking it 10. My eco-manager teacher broke his ankle. He doesn't have a Meditribot. Can you believe it? We don't either. Yeah, but that's only because you're poor as a church mouse. School teachers are drummers. Yeah. A bunch of arrogant people who can't move a finger without a doohickey to help them. Yeah, you married one. Right. Your mom was different. About school. I mean, the conscious... The fair is today! What fair? The science fair! Don't tell me you already forgot! Oh, uh... It's in the regulations. The presence of a parent or tutor is required for the vote. You must be there at five o'clock! Okay, okay. I'll come. I promise. You better. 
Did you prepare something for that fair? Sure, the Graph Recycler 110. I've been working on it for months. Ah, uh, so that's why you were so noisy in your room lately? Don't blame me. If the walls were better insulated, you wouldn't have to complain. Not complaining, just curious. And yeah, I wish we could afford a better apartment. But for now, we'll have to make do. Hopefully not for long, when I get my diploma. Yeah, you'll have a new home under the dome. Can't wait. Take care. Yeah. What would a detective be without a magnifying glass? Not exactly high tech, but that's how I like it. I should take it. Pompolos fruits. These cost a fortune and are full of chemicals, but I like to eat real food. I'll leave the other one for Graf. You know I don't like those. But you gotta eat solid stuff. Can't grow up with sodas. I mean, can't I? My stick. This belonged to Grandpa. He barely used it to walk, but he taught me to fight with it. Hmm, not much left. Ah, I remember. Someone paid me with this energy drink. I'll take it. Might get thirsty on the way. What's that? Some kind of paper. Yep, that's an ad. Must have come with the food we bought. Hey, this probably came up with a chili con insect I ate in bed last night. Oh, there's an ad under my clothes. That could be useful. Hey, what's going on with the AutoClean Tribot? Dunno, been stuck like that since morning. Maybe I should... That thing electrocuted me! Oh well, looks like we're both stuck at home today. Impossible. I need to get rid of it. <coughs> Sorry, little bot. Great, who's gonna do the cleaning now? Don't worry, I'll have Shay fix it. Hmm, the tank is full. It collected a lot of fur. Must be what caused the issue. Not my fault! Don't look at me like that! Oh no. Shouldn't have touched it. Now I'm covered in cat fur. Another call? Hey, where are you? Well, on my way. I said it was urgent! Please hurry! Okay, okay! <sighs> Gee, what's up with that guy? Never had such a stressed client before. That doesn't bode well. This used to be an Ask Anything assistant to welcome new visitors. Back when right-thinking drummers built this place. It broke ages ago, so we've recycled it into a job board. Much more appropriate. So, what's new today? There's a cool collectible ad behind this ad. The mail security system. Please confirm your identity by pressing the touch panel. Security. Tighter security, always more security. When did the world become so complex? You've got mail. I was afraid it was going to say that. My biggest source of stress. Opening that rack. Tons of bills, security notices, more laws and advertisements. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Hmm. Just one bill? Great! Hmm. Wire energy bill? 245 units? Must be graph. He's constantly in front of screens. 
Can't blame him, though. There's nothing much exciting to do around here. Say, another paper. Please note, due to numerous fraud attempts, direct transfer from phones is no longer accepted. What? All payments must now be processed through pipe terminals within two days of receiving your bill? Oh, great. I'm gonna have to find one of those. And most importantly, how am I gonna find so much dough on such short notice? I missed something. There's one little ad stuck between two racks. Huh? The floor is all cracked. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped on it. But... Hey! Look at that! An ad was hidden underneath. Hmm, it won't turn on. Poor little thing. It's been rusting here for days. Leaking some kind of powder on the floor. I wonder what it's for and where it comes from. Don't play with us. The boss won't like it. So, hand over the moolah. Mr. Squealer, did you take a good look? Do you really expect someone like me to have that kind of money? Who cares? Them's the rules. You make a deal, you pay. Or else. Oh, well, I guess this is gonna hurt then. Hey, what's your problem? Leave the old man alone. None of your business. Get the heck out of here. And as for you... Ugh. Can you end me quickly? Please, I'm done suffering. Oh, I'll make you suffer, buddy. Enough. You're gonna regret it. For this. They're gone. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. What was that about? You really shouldn't have interfered. I don't have much longer to live anyway. Don't say that. And you didn't answer my question. It's a long story, but in short, I owe money. You see, I've been diagnosed with heart strength, which is incurable. Some days, the pain is hard to bear. I figured those rats could provide me with some drugs to suppress it. I just wanted to enjoy life before it's too late. I'm so sorry to hear that. Although, when there's life, there's hope. No disease is ever incurable. One just has to search thoroughly. I've lived with a chemist long enough to know that. Theoretically, but no one cares about us slummers. In any case, you shouldn't be staying here in the cold. Come to our apartment. There's not much space, but we'll find a way. That's very nice of you, but I can't accept. I've already caused you enough trouble as it is. I fear they'll come after you. Just let them. I'll show them the meaning of respect your elders. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to imply. Don't worry about it, but please don't insist. This is my choice. All right, but I'll find a way to help you somehow. I promise. You have your whole life ahead of you. Don't waste it on people like me. I want to, and it's my decision as well. <laughs> All right. Here's the last medical prescription I've got. 
This dates back to my time as a drummer. Before they expelled me. Expelled? You know the rules. Only valid people are able to stay. Unless you've got family to pay. And I don't. This medicine helps stabilize my disease. I'm not sure you can still get anything with this old cardboard piece, but take it. I wish I had something more useful to offer you. That's fine. I'll manage. Thank you, my boy. Those dog tags. You were in the military. Good eye, boy. A few years ago, I was part of the resistance during the Autarchism fight. Then surely you can face them. You may be a detective, but you've still got a lot to learn. My body is declining. I can barely stand on my feet. This is pointless. I've accepted the fact that my life is over. I can't let you say that. I'll find a way to help. Please don't give me false hope. Tell me, how come I've never seen you around? I go from street to street. Can't stay very long in one place. Begging is forbidden and I can't afford a home. Our current society is quite contradictory. I see. Why not try and leave the city? You could have a small, peaceful life as a farmer out there. You know it's not that simple. The borders are currently closed to everyone but high-ranking citizens. Besides, Atlassi is my country. I was born here. I've defended it my entire life. This is where my life should end. Not like this. This is my choice to make. Those are squealers, weren't they? Correct. I thought they were exiled a decade ago. Yeah, and at least that's what most people believe. However, some of them stay hidden in the shadows, infiltrating our society. My disease made me weak. They took advantage of the situation. But I don't blame them. How can he say that? They just tried to murder you! Yes, but I couldn't pay them back. I don't regret it, though. The drugs give me more time. I did everything I wanted. Still, they shouldn't go as far as threatening to kill you. There's just... no excuse. Be careful, boy. There's no such thing as black and white. I don't get it. What would they gain from getting rid of you? You'd never pay them back. I'll be an example. <laughs> I have more value dead than alive. Well, I won't let that happen. Please be careful. The last thing I'd want is to get you killed. Don't you worry about me. I can defend myself. Probably. But their numbers are great. You can't beat them all. <laughs> Bet on it? He said not to get involved, or I'd get into trouble. Maybe he's right, but I can't help him. I need to help the poor chap. I've got to go, but I'll be back soon. Be careful, boy. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Wait... That one is different! Oh, I remember this. Graf had a similar one when we first met. It's an inflatable cuddly toy. You just have to wet it a little and a few seconds later it gets all around like a balloon. Maybe Graf will want one again. Graf always carried his with him. I wonder what happened to it. And how come I totally forgot it existed? I'm afraid someday I might even forget my name. Nice, an ad coupon. According to the message, my client lives in Center Basic 568. That block is near this street. Let's go check it out. This gizmo can be used for paying invoices and getting a daily pill. Let's give it a whirl. Nothing's happening. Is it broken? It is. It's been like this since yesterday, but no one has repaired it yet. Just my luck. You don't say. 
I set up my stall here for a reason, but no one comes around anymore. Are there any others around here? Probably, though I've heard the same thing has happened at other places in the slums. Really? I haven't heard about this. Oh, you know, the media is all controlled by the government. You think so? Of course. In any case, it's kind of worrying. We need these. Yeah. Eh, I had too many other things going on to worry about. Everyone's saying the same thing. We need to stay positive and have faith in a brighter future. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hello. Hello, sir. Would you like anything? Just chatting for now. How's business? Could be better, but I'm not complaining. As long as I earn enough to make a living, it's fine. I like this job, even if you see all kinds of weird stuff going on. What do you mean? Like, this morning, I got up early to prepare the stand. There was this big man sleeping, like, right around the corner, in his underwear. I was worried he would scare off the customers, so I tried to wake him up. And boy, was it hard. I thought I wouldn't ever get him to stand up. That poor man. He said he couldn't remember drinking, but has no memory from the night before. He probably took some drugs. A homeless guy? Nope. He told me he's a policeman. Goes to show that even drummers aren't so happy with their lives after all. For a policeman to go that low, that's really bad. It doesn't matter how much they flash their shiny badge around town. They've got their share of troubles too. Yeah, all about maintaining that image. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. phone. It's displaying a list of the residents. Sin's name. Yep, he's home. Maybe I should give him a ring. Oh, that button is busted. Something's in there. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Not very friendly. I get it. You're that salesman from last time. You guys just won't give up. But you're wasting your time. You're bothering me enough. Take this back. Huh? They slid a sales catalog under the door. Cool. There's a coupon inside. At last, here you are. Ah, truly sorry. I had some mm, difficulties on the way. So, what's the fuss? I'm in deep trouble. I've lost my crippling gun. That's all? Why is it so important? I'm gonna lose my job, that's why. I'm kinda new on the force. If I tell the chief I messed up, he'll fire me. I just can't afford it. So you're hiring me to find that gun? 
Okay. How much can you offer? 500 unis. A thousand. I can't. 500 is all I can afford. Please. I'm begging you. <sighs> all right. 500 it is. <sighs> Wish I was better at negotiating. Tell me more. So I'm doing lost and found today? Mm. I shouldn't complain. I've had worse jobs. Well, I can't shake the feeling that something's not right. Well, I'm used to it anyway. Things always go wrong. Any idea where you lost it? Last night, I was on duty in Drummer Street. I'm absolutely certain I lost it during my watch in alley number 12. I had it before. Then why don't you search for it yourself? I can't go outside. If someone notices me without the gun, I'm done for. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Are you from the police department? Of course not. I can't stand them. Uh... Then you don't know. Trust me. What happened exactly? How'd you lose it? If only I knew. I just remember exiting the alley and noticing it missing. Where did you store it? In my pocket. Where else? Anything else missing? Actually, yes. My handkerchief. A blue one. My wife hand-stitched it for me. It was in my pocket alongside the gun. Both are gone. Okay. This might prove useful. Drummer Street, you say? There's a border post to enter the area. I can't pass it. You're a detective. I thought you had credentials to examine the drums. Nope. All my clients are slummers. I usually don't go near the dome. Ah, oh, great. You're a cop. Can't you give me something? Call your colleagues, maybe? I said it. I'm new. I have no one I can trust. In that case, give me your uniform and your badge. I'll impersonate you. Impossible. We don't use badges anymore. There's a body scan at the entrance of the dome. It can't be faked. Darn. You're right. Then, uh... Hmm. I know. I have a friend who can do wonders with technology. She will find a way to get through. Wonderful! Now, go ahead. What are you waiting for? Hey, I'm gonna take some risks for you. You could be a bit more gracious. Please, Mr. Detective, hurry up! Better, but I won't move until I get enough information. What now? I'd like to inspect your apartment. Experience tells me things are often hidden right before our eyes. But I told you, I lost it on Drummer Street. I insist. Let me do my job. Rule number three in my book, never blindly trust your client. Go ahead, but hurry. Why were you patrolling in this street? I received orders, and I follow them. Were you alone? Aren't tribots and cameras enough for that job? The chief insists on keeping some humans in the crucial areas. Crucial, eh? I see what you mean. But that's how it is. Drummers get priority. How come you're living in the slums? I could have sworn cops were drummers. You're wrong. I don't earn that much. But are slummers allowed on the police force? I thought... Please stop the useless questions and do your job. There's no time to waste. Thanks for the info. Hurry up! Nice! An ad coupon! Without searching through it, I can see an empty bottle of hot juice. Perfect to get drunk as a skunk. Let's see... Hey, don't touch my jacket! Don't worry. I'm just rummaging through your pocket to see. Aha! I've found... a flyer. One of those activists in the street must have put it there. Keep it. I don't care. What's this button for? Don't! It's my... Bed. Oh. Oh, I didn't have that one. What's that? Looks like some kind of... Whoops. I don't believe it. You've broken it. Oh, really sorry. Uh, 
What's that, exactly? A uh, remote control. For my, um, tablet. Ah. Uh, in that case, no worries. My friend is an electronic genius. She'll fix it in no time. That's mine! I didn't allow you to take it! Trust me, I'll fix it. I owe it to you. <sighs> all right, all right. But hurry up and find that gun! You're wasting time here! What's in there? Just food and clothes. What do you expect? Do you mind if I open it? I didn't call you to check my fridge. Just a look-see? Who knows? Maybe you left the gun in there. Guess not. Nothing in particular. You know, I'm starting to question your detective skills. Act before thinking. That's what Grandpa always said. It usually works. Not when we're short on time. Oh gosh, if someone finds the gun before me... Got it. I'll speed up the pace. Mmm. Don't tell me you're gonna steal something from my fridge. Eh, not stealing. Just, um, consider this an advance payment. Besides, I can't do my job properly on an empty stomach. You gotta be kidding me. A tablet. Looks like he used it to perform some searches on the triweb. Find lost item. Pawn shop. Medication deep sleep. Cheap detective? <sighs> I guess I should be glad to be well ranked for that search term. Two glasses, eh? So what? But no. I had a feeling you lived alone. I do. That cup doesn't seem important. However, there are two pills beside it. I'll take one. Something stuck beside the mirror. A picture of Sin with a woman and a little girl? I wonder who they are. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Weird, I don't remember this button. What the? Shay! Huh. Hey! Shay! Oh, hi bro. How you doing? What the heck is that abomination of a machine near the door? Abomination? You mean the circular saw? Pretty neat, huh? Neat? That thing almost killed me! Well, you know, the slums aren't very safe for lone women. So, I built this ultimate crime detection device. The way you press the first button gives out a lot of information. Blood pressure, DNA, stress level, Got nasty intentions. The system detects it and triggers the saw. Now tell me, are you feeling angry or stressed lately? Are you insane? Well, yeah. Ugh. <sighs> oh, all right, all right. I'll render it non-lethal then. But it will lose efficiency. Deactivate it. Now! Ugh, okay. 
but only during the day. I've got valuable stuff in here. So, <laughs> why are you here? My best friend. We've known each other since kindergarten. A little rough around the edges, but I trust her with my life. Well, maybe a bit less since that saw incident. I need your help to get across the border post. I knew this day would come. See, I've prepared the perfect response to this. For real? Now, where did I put it? Just a sec, gotta search. There we go. Only two types of things can cross the border. Authorized citizens registered in the mainframe and controlled merchandise. Any living things stored in packages will be automatically destroyed. Therefore, the best solution consists of killing you. Not an option. I know. Well, technically this would work, but if you're not willing to try... Okay, the only other way isn't much easier. How to become an authorized citizen? The border post scans the user at the entrance in order to get a body print. This information is then compared to data contained within the local border post server. Each border post owns a copy of the data, which is replicated from into a central mainframe. Thus, you need to access one of these servers Add your body print and... Ta-da! You're allowed to cross like a regular dome citizen. Doesn't sound too hard. Oh, I forgot to mention the deadly security equipment guarding the server. Nothing you can't handle, though. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm starting to wonder if that job is really worth the trouble. Mm. I promised not to interfere with your PI job, but you're seeing the glass half empty. Think of it as half full instead. Pray tell. If you become an allowed citizen, you can start prospecting new clients in the drums and get rich. That's a big if. Those rich folks will never be interested in a stinky, low-grade detective like me. But I guess it's worth a shot. That's the spirit, bro. Access the server, add my body print to the server. Huh, that's all fine and dandy, but how do I do that conclusively? Coming up. Whoa. What's happening? I got your body print with my own scanner and it's perfect. What? What's perfect? I injected the necessary information into your DNA. Huh? Isn't that dangerous? Not at all. Carrying info into your DNA is the most reliable way. No chance you'll lose it. That's not what I meant. Few people master the experimental DNA transportation. You're lucky. I'm one of them. I'm always the lucky one. What info did you inject? Your body print. You injected my body print? Into my body? Yeah. Uh, huh. Hmm. I kind of see what you're going for here, but it's more complex than you think. I had to include an encryption key, a data mining program. Forget it. What do I do now? Border post 001. There's a tall building with a roof that's shaped like a pyramid. You can't miss it. Yeah. I think I remember that weird pyramid. Find a way to enter the building, then connect to the server. By connect, I mean touching it. Those servers are offline, so direct contact is required. I've programmed it to automatically hack the operating system and install your body print into the database. Pyramid shaped building, insert thingy into doodad. Got it. Will it work? Probably. What if it doesn't? Then I'm guessing you'll be chased by numerous security drones and tribot guards. Great. Trust me, I think it might work. Uh, I'm probably the most foolish person in the universe, but all right, I trust you. Cool. I won't pretend to know anything about computers, but can't you, like, hack the server on the network remotely? I know this sounds crazy, but there are things even a skilled cyber meddler like myself cannot do. The main server is not connected to the triweb. Color me disappointed. What were you doing here in the dark? I'm performing some isolation tests. Isolation? Yep. In our world, there are irritating environments. Loud sounds are usually the worst offenders. Don't need to tell me. My neighbors can be pretty loud at night. See this device? It's a hearing aid. I've succeeded in reversing its functions. So instead of amplifying sounds... It's blocking them? Glad to see you're following for once. Hey, I'm always up to finding out about more questionable inventions from you. But why was the garage closed? What if someone sneaks inside while I'm wearing these? 
I wouldn't want to take a risk. Well, I passed through and you didn't notice. You're not just anyone. You're the terror of the fight. The one and only bro. Don't overdo it. How are you doing these days? Busy. That's the thing. Ever since we found ourselves back a few years ago, we barely get time to talk aside from our job. We used to be so close back then. What happened? The world has changed. We've changed. Time is money, so we can't spend too much time idling like right now. You're right, but that's a shame. I'm on my way. Wait, aren't you going to do a little training before tonight's... Tonight's what? The fight, of course. Oh, yeah, but... You forgot again? We do that every night. Well... Of course I remember. I'm a master when it comes to fighting, even when they're virtual. Well, master, you ought to do some training unless you want to get humiliated. Never. Get to the important part. How do I fight? The cabin detects your vital readings and summarizes them into a single life bar which everyone can see. Everyone? That's kind of indiscreet. You should have read the paragraph about private life before signing. The program includes AI virtual opponents. Bots, if you prefer. They're easy to get rid of. Their appearance and moves are based off of people and things you've seen in real life. However, the real objective comes only with the night fight. After progressing through the level, you'll encounter your true opponent, the master, a real person. That's what the public is here for, an epic and decisive battle. Sounds dangerous. No pain, no gain. Each time you get hit, your life bar gets depleted. Not only that, but lasers in the cabin make you feel the impact as if you really took a blow. Amazing, huh? I wouldn't say that. You're fine, as long as your life bar doesn't get empty. What? Don't tell me. You could die. Oh, well, technically, guess. <clears throat> but this can't happen. <laughs> Relax. Fatal blows can't happen during training. <laughs> Only in night fights. The thrill of death drastically increases the bets. And when you're about to run out of health, you can't escape. I'll send you a reminder. No worries. I wouldn't risk losing you. That's pretty reassuring. Thanks. I mean, <laughs> it'd be a lot of trouble to find someone crazy enough to replace you. Hmm. I take that back. What about training? Expect to face randomized traps. Training brings some money and experience. Good luck, bro. Yeah, gonna need a lot of it. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. A toolbox. Maybe that screwdriver could be useful? You don't need mine. Remember, the tip of your apartment key double serves as a screwdriver. And it automatically adapts to all sizes. Oh yeah, that's right. You did that for me. Nice, an ad coupon. Let me guess. Hmm. Must be for closing the garage door. Hmm? Nothing seems to be happening. Huh? What's that noise? N nothing I just walked into some metal scrap. You know your garage could use some tidying. I never lose anything. Watch your step, bro. Better take that lever before she notices. What's that? Are you hiding children in here? Bro, never? I hate brats. These are drawing attempts from artificial intelligences I worked on. I thought I could make some money by winning this art competition. They're not very good. That's an understatement. Robots are capable of many things, but artistic talents are very much out of their league. At least for the way the human brain interprets it. You can't reproduce the human creative side? With algorithmies? Well, I've read a lot of studies. Theoretically, we could reproduce the entire human brain, except for creativity. AIs can mimic some patterns, but 
Designing something from scratch by themselves and looking good? That's the only thing even you will always have an advantage over. Hey, no bot has ever matched me when it comes to fighting. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, what's that? Some kind of giant egg? <laughs> no touching. But I just... Nope. Can you at least tell me what's in there? It's... a secret. Ooh, a new invention? Yeah. I promise this will change your life. Let me guess. That's, uh... Money-making machine. Not even close. Then, uh... Hmm. Take your time. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Got a minute? Nope, but go ahead. Can you repair this tablet remote control? A tablet remote control? Let me see. Where'd you get that? My client. He's a policeman, and it was dropped accidentally. That explains it. That ain't no tablet remote control, mister. This is police equipment. And if I'm not mistaken, it's used to remotely deactivate any kind of electronic devices. Cameras or mimes, for instance. Really? Why would the police disable cameras? To enter private properly safely, I guess. Or shady things. Well, doesn't matter. Please tell me you can fix it. Already done. What? Already? It's only cosmetic damage. It's working fine. Oh, thanks anyway. Can I turn off or damage Tribots with that? This sends small impulsions and needs to recharge itself, so... I wouldn't bet on it. Give it a try on smaller things, though. Um, I, uh... Oh, my rubber cutter! I figured you might have taken it. Rubber cutter? Well, yeah. What else could it be? So, not a lever? It was inside that slot on the wall. Of course! I always put it there so I don't lose it. Oh. It cuts only through rubber. No risk to damage other materials. So, give it back. Wait, I might have a use for it. What? But you didn't even know what this was. Now I do. Please, pretty please. Ah. Uh, okay, okay. I'll manage. Keep it for now. Awesome. Um. <laughs> You're the best. Don't mention it. This might come in handy when fighting rubber bots. Gotta go. Okay, don't forget to train regularly. So, this is the pyramid-shaped building Shay mentioned. Hi. Hello. You, uh, look kinda depressed? Uh, especially for a robot. You don't know the half of it. Uh... So, are you gonna tell me? Please don't talk to me. This may can be contagious. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. After all, you're alive. Uh, I mean... Do not worry about me. Tell me, what's on your mind? Despair, darkness, death. Uh, not that. I mean, what happened to you? How would you benefit from knowing that? Dunno. Just curious. Is that so? See that building with... A huge antenna in front of you. This is the sorting center. 
I've been working there for the past 30 years. I was responsible for the delivery of big packages. Lately, I haven't been efficient enough. The management noticed it. Today, they've fired me. Man, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Not even robots are immune to layoffs now? So, what are you waiting for on this bench? Some scientists are on their way to pick me up. They're going to recondition me. What does that mean? Taking out some of my circuitry. Giving me a new triangle head, like those new models. Then my firmware will be updated. I will lose all data on my hardware memory. You will be reset? Yes, precisely. I've never felt like this before. I believe I won't be myself anymore. Isn't this like dying? Uh, I don't know, but it sure sounds terrible. There are so many questions on my mind. What happens if I die? What if I commit suicide? Is there a god for robots? Man, I can't keep up with spiritual stuff for humans. Never mind robots. Can you describe your job more precisely? My main objective was to sort packages between various destinations, including the slums and the drums. Packages were automatically sorted by size and shape to fit the pipe leading to their target. I just had to push the correct buttons on my control panel. Square button for square packages, triangle button for triangle packages. Seems simple enough. Can't a machine take care of that? Uh, I think I may have said something stupid again. No, you're right. That's the thing. They're going to fully automatize the process. Although, part of the job was also to ensure no dangerous materials went past this point. This didn't happen often, but in case of any doubt, I had physical access to the packages to check them. It's not fair. I never screwed up. Always pushed the right buttons. No accident. Never. Sure, I may be getting slower over time, memory chips wearing. Was that enough reason to get rid of me? I, uh, probably not. So, who's doing the job now? No one. Really? How was the mail delivered now? I guess it's stuck. Actually, I don't care. I just couldn't care less. Am I being selfish? Mm, that bot is something. I've never seen any reacting like this. Maybe just a little, but that's okay. It happens to the best of us. Oh. You made me curious. May I take a look at where you work? No, I've locked access. Can you open it? All right. Now you can enter. Wonderful. Thanks. See? You're useful. No, this is my last act on this planet. <sighs> if I could cry, there'd be a river down my feet right now. Hmm. I'll help you. You cannot. Yes, I can. All you need to do is find yourself a new job. Impossible. I was designed for this specific task. I don't believe that for a second. You got two arms, two legs. You can do anything. If you say so. Then what do you suggest? You could work for me. What do you do in life? Many things. I'm a detective. People ask me for help in various ways. By night, I fight to get some extra money. Wow, this is... I'm sorry. I'm nothing like you. I'm neither 
bright or strong, I would just be a burden. Don't say that. I'm not either, really. I just try my best, and I'm sure you're very capable. What do you need to live? I use one non-rechargeable thermionic battery per year. Ah, this could be a problem. I'm not rich, and those are very expensive. I told you this wasn't possible. Okay, now I'll find something else. Why don't you work at the waste treatment center in the slums? I don't know. What is it like? It's pretty similar, using a lever to uncover interesting stuff and throw away the rest. Darn, I forgot. It's on free mode, but it's not free. I have no money. Hmm. Maybe I can come up with something better. Uh, just let me think a little more. I'm not worth your time. Leave me alone. Poor thing. He may be just a machine, but I can't help feeling bad for him. Gotta go, but no worries. I'll be back soon. Don't bother. Hmm, I need to get closer. Oh, I didn't have that one. What is this control? There aren't any labels. I better watch my step. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Ah, for once, I'm glad I didn't forget to take my keys. Advertisement everywhere. Even in the oddest places, this one won't fit in my pocket. I'm thankful for whoever invented screwdriver keys. I need to find a way to get closer. Closed, obviously. No way I got up there for nothing. Uh, I'm getting sick of this. What in the world am I doing up here? Why did I even accept this mission? I'm so... stupid. Huh? Oh, I guess it just needed a good kick. Whoa! They're not kidding around with security here.
This must be the computer Shay talked about. Let's see. There, I've touched that panel. And now what? That's all Shay told me to do. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. I have a drummer license now? Awesome! I can finally leave this stressful place. Hmm. Maybe I should do the same for Graf. Hmm. Nah. He'll get his diploma. And he'd blame me forever if he knew I cheated. I trust him. Whoa! What happened? Well, it was broken anyway, but... Hey, look at that. A few products fell on the floor. It'd be a shame to let good food go to waste. Nice, an ad coupon. What's up? Say, don't you need an assistant? No. This wasn't the answer I was expecting. Look, I need a favor. A cool little robot I've met is about to get transformed and wiped out. You wouldn't want a poor innocent soul being erased like this, would you? Since when are you a friend to robots? I'm friendly toward every creature who doesn't try to harm me. Okay, what kind of robot is it? Not a tribot for sure. Looks like an old model. Two rusty arms plus a square head. He's worked at the Border Post Sorting Center for years. Mmm, maybe? I knew you'd accept. Thank you. Hey, let me finish. It must be one of those pre-war bots. Weaking them is strictly forbidden by law. Since when do you care about that? Exactly. It's exciting. Maybe I could give it a try and remove this tracking device. However... I was afraid you'd say that. You want a counterpart, don't you? Yep. Until it becomes useful, I'll need to pay for its energy source and the time I'll spend fixing it. Let's say... 200 unis. I'll deduct them from tonight's fight earnings. Deal. I'm gonna tell him to come here. Thanks. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I've always wondered how those antiquities work. Just promise me not to erase his memories. Oh, <laughs> I'll be sure to make plenty of backups. That's, uh, um, okay. I'll leave you to, uh, whatever you're doing. See ya. Me again? Why are you insisting? I'm done for. I've got an idea. I got the perfect job for you. An assistant to my best friend, Shay. She's some kind of crazy inventor who's very skilled with technology. You could help her by bringing her tools, performing searches, and all kinds of stuff mad inventors do, I, I guess. You just need to agree to being tweaked to get your tracking components removed, among other things. Will she erase my memory? She promised not to, but remind her, just in case. I hope I'll be up to the task. But it'll always be better than being wiped out. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. I'm sorry, I do not know your name. No apologies needed. The name's Brock. Just go to Shay's garage, right near the Garbage Sea Harbor. My navigation system is a bit rusty, but I should be able to locate it. You've got my eternal gratitude, Master Brock. Citizen, do not talk to this apparatus. Move away. 
Oh no, the guards! They're here to take me! Not gonna happen. Refusing to obey is a fifth class fault. You shall be eliminated. Stay down while I get them. It's over. You've destroyed them, but why? They're robots, too. They threaten both of us. But am I more important than them? I can't. No time for existential questions. Get out of here fast, before more come. You're right. Goodbye, Master Brock. Scan complete. User allowed. Oh, I didn't have that one. <sighs> I remember this place. Hasn't changed much since we were forced to leave. Looks like the alley Sin mentioned, but it's blocked by a power barrier. Access forbidden by the Triangle. The Triangle? Our government. Puny human. Oh, yeah. Citizen, stand back. Access restricted. Why? What happened? This information is confidential. The individual needs to make a new query or disperse. All right. Then, what happened here? This information is confidential. Please make another query. Oh, come on. I'm a detective. You can tell me. Scanning in progress. Please wait. Database check in progress. Record not found. Low-level user privileges. Access denied. <sighs> Someday I'll need to get myself a real PI license. I guess something happened in the pharmacy? We cannot confirm or deny such information based on rumors, even when they're true. Please make another query or be gone. Hmm. So you're guarding it until the police examine the situation, huh? Forget the pharmacy. Why can't I access the alley? Regulations stipulate that surrounding areas should be closed to the public, regardless of involvement. Just my luck. Now oh, come on! Let me take a look-see in the alley. This'll be our little secret as best buddies. Nobody will know. Our database does not contain a group named Best Buddies. Did the individual mean Best Recipes? Uh, nope. But I don't mind getting free recipes. Request denied. So, tell me, rubber buddy. How you doing? Moderately well. Our priority assignment is to guard the pipe mail but our battery level is running low. The pipe mail? You mean the tube thingy over there to send mail? Correct. Irresponsible citizens have been misusing it lately, so it needs constant guarding. I would have thought whatever happened at the pharmacy would be higher priority than some metal junk. This is expensive technology. Wrecking it will no longer be tolerated. Scanning in progress. Hey, what you doing? Analysis completed. Probability of causing wreckage is 8%, which is under the tolerance threshold. What do you take me for? I wouldn't wreck your pipe thingies without a reason. Good. In extreme situations, the death penalty may apply. 
Are you serious? We Tribots do not have the ability to lie. Most of the time. How long will it take for you to charge up? We are extremely powerful, and thus we require a lot of power. Unfortunate events led to my battery being depleted and damaged. A full recharge will take 18 years, 5 days, 3 hours, 9 minutes, and 43 seconds. 18 years? <laughs> yeah, you're damaged all right. But you can't watch over the pipe mail while recharging, right? Incorrect. A notification will be sent to my operating system in case an individual attempts to mess with it. I don't really like Tribot cops. They're creepy. You never know what they're gonna decide with all those wires and thingamabobs inside. Citizens need to keep their insane thoughts to themselves. Good day. The day is always good. Please be gone. Just your high-tech drummer garbage collector? Why bother? With all the cleaning bots around, guess it's only for them. Darn! I can't reach it with my fingers. There you go. Just one of many surveillance cameras. Looks like it's disabled. A public pipe mail. Similar to pipe pills, but I can use it to send some physical goods directly to someone. It doubles up as a secure identity check and transfer. Hello, do you need my services? Maybe. You currently have overdue bills. Please send payment before today. Ugh, thanks for reminding me, Tin Can. You're welcome. I'd like to send mail. Uh, how does that work? This apparatus is designed to take any form of material, physical or semi-physical goods, such as digital or encrypted transmissions from permitted citizens of the District 6Y. This sending method has been patented by Tricorp under the ID G06F13 forward slash 00, following the regulations described in Article 46B of the Constitution related to the usage of electromechanical devices and private communications. Ooh, what gibberish. Switching to IDIOT mode. Put your mail inside me, quick and simple. I prefer that. How do I pay my bills? This apparatus allows secure Unis transfer by checking the identity of the sender. Just insert the original bill inside the apparatus to begin the transfer process. Beforehand, please make sure to have sufficient units in your account. So, you can discard items? Yes. Insert your goods, then ask me to throw it away. Warning, the act of dumping goods is permanent. According to Regulation 456D of the Constitution, agreeing to this service disables your right to sue us, the service, the apparatus, the government, or any and all third parties involved in its conception. No complaint or damage caused to the apparatus shall be deemed acceptable. Ugh, enough. I get your point. So, I should start by inserting an item. There, it's wet. Just a few seconds. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Emergency. Degradation attempt. Analysis in progress. Analysis completed. Foreign object in the pipe mail system. Problem solved. A memorial fountain. Autarchism Day. 3026 AR. Almost 10 years ago, we used to be ruled by a giant democracy involving most countries of the world. 
but a deep economic crisis led to conflicts. Atlassia became independent and self-governed. I'm not surprised to see this fountain here. Drummers profited from this situation. Unlike us. There, it's wet. Just a few seconds. Emergency! Emergency! Analysis in There! Let's see what happens. Analysis completed. Foreign object in the pipe mail system. Problem solved. Warning, no energy coming from the socket. Power is running low. Activating power saving mode. <sighs> Activation failed. Need to find energy source. And he's out. The Tribot cop has left some kind of key. Oh, I know. Should I buy some snacks? Wait, what did I just buy? Oh, it's some advertisement. Can I get my money back? Damaging public belongings is strictly forbidden. is strictly forbidden. is strictly forbidden.
Take money from my account to pay this bill. Scanning in progress. Bill detected. Sufficient credits. Payment complete. Yeah. So, what did I win? Thank you, and goodbye. Suddenly, I feel empty. Should I enter? Seems like there's an ongoing police investigation. Hello, I'll just take a look-see. This place kind of reminds me of Leah's laboratory. She used to be so happy working on those medications. But the past is the past. Let's not dwell on that. Welcome. It seems you put on some weight since your last visit in our stores. Right. Muscles. Hmm. This is incorrect. We've detected a 35% fat increase. Ugh. We've highlighted our special recommendations for you. A selection of products. Looks like I need to press the pictures to get more info. Burn your fat with Ba Normalizer. Made with salt extracted from corrosive minerals from east of Serene. This will stimulate your body to remove excess fat and get a fit, socially acceptable body. Acceptable, huh? Product added to your shopping cart. Hey, wait! I don't want to order that. Product transferred from your shopping list to your wish list. <laughs> Stupid. Man, you're such a ball of nerves. How many times have you heard this? Time to remedy it with Calmes E. Combine these capsules with your Medi Live Health so they can get gradually diffused into your body as you need it. Who's a ball of nerves? Not me, that's for sure. And remember, the first step towards a good relationship with others is acceptance. Shut up, you stupid contraption! Ah. Product added to your shopping cart. No, I don't. Ugh, I give up. So, are you overweight and feeling the need to eat all day? Stop! Or should we say, stop hunger? This revolutionary powder causes both your brain and your stomach to refuse any food once you've reached your nutritional recommendations. I don't need no stinking powder to know when my stomach is filled. Product added to your shopping cart. Did you know, regular food isn't good for you. In addition to being full of salt, sugar, and fat, it doesn't provide you with the specific quantities recommended for your body. The solution is Delastute, a perfect combination of vitamins and energy, swallowed in just one second. And it's yummy! No thanks. I don't feed on placebo. Product added to your shopping cart. Getting old. Losing your hair and your fur. No worries. Youth gain will stimulate your roots to grow it back. Now you'll look young forever. A society based on appearances? Getting older is part of living. Product added to your shopping cart. How careless. Your skin is so rough. Whether you're furry or reptilian, you need to take good care of your skin. It's the only thing protecting you from the elements. Do not hesitate. Buy our soft skin gels to add a protective barrier and make your coating so much smoother and nice looking. That's foolish. My skin is supposed to be rough. Congratulations. To reward you for checking all of our recommended products, here's something special for you. An ad? That's a bit like putting a cherry on top of a rotten cake. Nice. An ad coupon. Traces of, I'd say, attempts to force open this drawer. Yet the drawer is securely locked. Can't imagine the managers would let this damaged drawer remain exposed to the customers. This must be recent. Guess I found the reason for the police investigation. Someone tried to get what's inside. Still, that doesn't concern me. I think. Looks like one of those ad bubbles. What's it doing here on the floor? Wait, what's that? A camera lens? I see. It must have... Yeah, that seems like the most logical explanation. Someone turned it off. And this happened recently. In many cases, there's no button or anything to view the recordings. I'll leave that to the cops. 
Some sort of metallic drawer? Like a safe? I can't see any way to open it. A camera was hidden in this ad bubble. Error 0x5421. This function has been disabled in the last firmware update. To perform a medical examination, use the nearby terminal instead. If you meant to analyze medicine, scan it with the panel right below. Please wait a moment. This medical prescription is outdated. Please update it in an appropriate medical government approved signing device. Update? A piece of cardboard? Great. Where am I going to find a drummer doctor? They require all kinds of health insurance, and it's not even for me. Maybe I can do something else for him in the meantime. Here's your daily anti pollution remedy the one and only Tox Out Pill. For your information, your last Tox Out Pill request was received five years ago. Actually, I don't know why I pressed this button. It's been a long time since the haze had any effect on me. I'll give it to Graf. Keep in mind, the dome protects you, but your home adds an extra layer of protection. As long as you stay inside, you don't need one every day. Decrease government spending by staying home more than 20 hours a day. 20 hours a day? Oh, I'd go crazy. If I'm not mistaken, this is an in-depth medical examination terminal. One session costs 50 units? We've completed the examination. Would you like detailed results or a summary? A summary, please. I don't have all day. Your global health evaluation is 26%. Here are the potential threats currently in your body. Head toe virus. Probability to result in death, 47%. Genetic heart issues. Probability to result in death, 24%. Melting brain bacteria. Probability to result in death, 22%. 84 other concerning threats detected, including pallorodonia, septicesium, rotting tail syndrome, hypertension, corrosive skin, diruptic disorder, clouding vision, spontaneous combustion. <laughs> I've got all of those? Yeah, right. I'd be dead 50 times over if that were true. Your expected remaining lifespan without a cure is six years. Oh, uh, guess I shouldn't worry about getting white hair. You're a reptile. You cannot have hair. Here's your prescription. Take it. That's no prescription. It's an ad. What the heck? Thank you for using our technology. What a waste of fine money. Please wait a moment. This is a Starix 500 pill. This treatment is prescribed in case of extreme anxiety, insomnia, and emotional outbursts. Due to high concentration, this formula is restricted to individuals with a risk of dangerous behavior to relatives. We're hoping this isn't for a close friend. If so, make sure to give them the appropriate support. Anxiety? Dangerous behavior? Why did I find this at Sin's home? Does he need those? Warning. High dosage greater than one pill a day has a 99% chance to cause blackout and or comatose state. What? To reduce this side effect, this pill always needs to be taken alongside a Calmese E. Don't forget, in case you're not wearing your Medilive Health, be sure to always follow the Phi Doctor recommendation. This establishment will not be held responsible for any accident. Hence why I don't trust medicine. Fix one thing, breaks another. The only efficient medicine on this list happens to be the cheapest. Go figure. I'll buy one. Huh? We're sorry. It appears you don't have enough units. Would you like to pay with credit? Only 40% interest, spanning any length according to remaining lifespan estimates. Hey, I didn't pick any product. Your shopping list currently has many items. Clear it! Drop it! I don't care! Just get me out of here! This action requires you to unsubscribe from automatic payout. Are you sure? Yes! Very well. You've been unsubscribed. 
But remember, you can subscribe again at any moment to make your life easier. Yeah, yeah. Make my life harder. Goodbye. What's with all the cardboard boxes? Huh. It rains every night, yet they're dry. Someone put them here today. This ad? Is it my reward for hitting the target? Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Good idea. Some blue cloth with sin written on it? Bingo! Here's a lost handkerchief. Then I definitely need to go down there. I'm gonna try... Ooh. Nope. Can't open it with my bare hands. Yes! Let's see. Yep, that's definitely sins. If the handkerchief's here, I bet the gun isn't too far either. Nice! An ad coupon! There's something inside. I've heard of insects digging small holes like this. I'm afraid I'm gonna regret this, but... Uh, now that's unexpected. I found an ad. I'd better explore this area before going any further. Hey, I recognize this. I think it's called... Newspaper. These haven't been produced for years. How is it still intact? Especially near chemicals. Or maybe they're the reason it's still intact. In any case, better not touch it. Some heavy marks here starting right next to the handkerchief location. And if we consider it was raining last night, just like every night in this area, no doubt about it, an object fell here and slowly drained further. I bet this is what I'm looking for. Whoa, isn't that a self-regenerating mine? I better watch my step. Mm -hmm. Hey, I believe this deactivated the mines. This might not last for long, though. Going here was mighty dangerous, but at least it was worth the reward. Uh-oh.
trouble ahead. A crack in the sewers. <laughs> How cliche. Uh, hello. I am... I don't care who you are. Hmm. Squealers. Always straight to the point, huh? Although, you look familiar. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you all look the same to me. Boss, he's the guy who defeated us this morning. What? You lost against this vermin? No worries, boss. We wasn't prepared. This time, we'll get the job done. I'm looking for something, and you're in the way. This our territory, Croc. Wrong. The sewers are public. Tell that to your precious government. They exiled us. Left us to die. Look, I don't want any trouble. Too late. No one gets to see us and live to see tomorrow. Guys! Wait! What are you doing in the drums? You're wrong. This ain't the drums. This is our home. But... Ugh, I'm getting tired of him. Let me explain, boss. Yeah, the sewers cover one side of the drums to the south of the slums. But the drums are still off limits for us. We ain't registered citizens. So the moment we step foot outside, those machines from hell come chasing us. Your fault. You're paying for your treason. I've heard enough. Guys, get rid of that pest. Not yet. There's something I need to tell you. You threatened an innocent man on the street. That old military tramp? <laughs> Far from innocent. He was amongst the soldiers against us during our coup. He probably killed some of us back then. We gave him a second chance. Gave this dying fool the products he needed. He didn't pay us back. What do you think happens if we let a client make a fool of us? But... Boss, he's stalling for time. Hey, you're right, kids. We don't owe you any explanation. That's your last warning, Croc. I know you're kind. You squealers are nothing but scum. You've been banned for a reason. Get out of my way. Ooh, baby Croc is having a temper tantrum. Ooh, I'm so scared. I hate to break the news to you, Croc, but you're clearly outnumbered. Don't underestimate me. You might take me down, but not before I get rid of some of you first. Think about it. Do you want to take the risk and lose some lives foolishly? Croc got a point, boss. Shut up! Did you forget our motto? Fight to the end. To reclaim our due. I know, but... Look, Croc. We won't let you pass. But I'll let you live for today. Go back to where you came from. If you dare talk about us to anyone, we'll get you, your friends, your family, everyone you've ever loved. No matter what, no matter where, no matter when. <laughs> I'll be going. Although this means I'll need to find another way through. Can we talk? Go ahead, while you still have a tongue. I was wondering. What are you, Jeff? No one bothers our boss. You're gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Yeah. 
Get him! Now! Just unconscious. 
No way! How could you? Sorry, you didn't leave me a choice. Go ahead, finish us. That was never my intention. I'm nothing like you. <laughs> that voice. I. I knew a crack, but that's impossible. It's. It's you. I remember you. After all these years. Huh? Our banishment. You're responsible for this. What do you mean? You're gonna pay for it! Whoa! I had to knock him out. What was that all about? Oh, I didn't have that one. He's passed out. So, all the items citizens throw away end up here? The squealers must be trafficking these. Let's see. Old ripped clothes, broken dish, a chair? How did that even fit in the tube? Hey, here's a worm! Ah, oh, delicious. Uh, anything else of interest? Yeah, I, I doubt it, but it's worth checking again. Hmm. Yes, here's an ad. Hmm. Must be an inside view of the purifying engine. Some things are stuck inside. Let's try and get him out. What do we have here? A gun. Let's examine it further. There's the police logo here. Definitely the one I'm looking for. Ooh, seems loaded. I should resist shooting it. The gun may be tracked. Who knows what kind of info this could transmit. It has seen better days. Must have been used for a long time. A serial number. I doubt I could access the police database, so it's no use to me. Hey, I thought this looked different. Someone stuck a small ad here. Hmm, it's dirty. No wonder, considering where it's been. 
There you go. Uh, some initials. RJ. Those can't be Sin's initials. What does this mean? I better get to the bottom of this. Time to return to Sin's and have a little chat. get closer hmm. I need to get closer hey that's a collectible ad they're all gone gotta be careful I bet we'll meet again My boy, I don't mind talking, but I don't see how I could be of any use. It's gonna be a little more complex than I thought. Oh. But don't worry, I'm not giving up. Is there anything I can do for you until I get your medicine? Hmm. Some regular medicine helps a bit. Tell me, which one? Glucosite. But it's so expensive. I can't ask you. I'll get you that. Don't. You'll only be delaying the inevitable. I know you and your son could use that money. My son? How do you... Just a guess. Well, I'll get some anyway. All right. But promise me you won't be foolish. Keep this in mind. Sure. Here. Glucosite. My boy. Nah, don't say anything. Just take it. Fine. Thank you. I still intend to get you your prescription medicine. Gotta find a doctor, though. Don't waste your life on this. Time is money, and you're clearly lacking both. I'll manage. This place has changed quite a bit since the last time I was here. Uh, hat stand? No thanks. I never take off my hat. Hey, a coupon was ejected from this statue. Let's see... How do I use this again? Hey! That's not part of the scenery! It's stuck on the panel! Hmm... Just rubbish. Hey, what's that? Uh, coupon? That's the big treasure? Oh well, this goes into the collection.
What's up? Ah, oh, my cleaning bot is all messed up. It shocked me. I see. Can you fix it? Yes, but you're better off leaving it in pieces. What? Why? Listen, you said it yourself. That bot is dangerous. It electrocuted you. Even if I fix it, what proves it won't hurt you again? Would you feel confident staying in the same room as a murderer? Huh? We're talking about a machine here. A Hoover. So what? I have a better idea. Judging from the aspect, this model is at least 30 years old, right? Yeah. I got it from the dump close to my apartment. But it worked fine. At least until now. One of the components contains u stop. That ore has run out on the surface of the planet. It's not used anymore, but I can sure have some use for it. So, here's my offer. I buy it back from you for 200 unis. With that money, you can buy a new one. Then, it's a deal? Knowing you, I'm pretty sure it's worth 10 times more, but... Okay, take it. Good! I've credited your 200 unis. I just wonder what I'll say to Graf. He liked it. Gotta go. Okay, don't forget to train regularly. I found it. The gun? You got it? Awesome! You're a lifesaver! Wait. I'm not giving it to you. Yet. What? Why? My investigation brought up some questions that need clarification. I'd like you to explain a few things. Uh, sure. Go ahead. That gun ain't yours. Huh? Of course it is. I got it when I was recruited onto the police force. Then explain those initials. R.J. Well, yeah. Another agent got it before me. Who? Is that important? It must be the agent who went into retirement before me. I can't remember his name. That's not all. The identifier code has been scratched beyond readable. How do you explain that? I guess... It's not brand new, you know. He must have worn it out during his missions. Hmm. See this? Yes, my remote control. So what? Oh, uh, I forgot. What is it for? It's for... changing my bed position. Oh, is that so? Didn't you say this was for your tablet? Um, well, yeah, it can do both. Huh. Anyway, my friend told me something quite interesting. See, she thinks that's a police device to remotely disable cameras. <sighs> okay. I admit, that's true. Then I just confirmed you're a liar. Are you stupid? That's police equipment. Civilians aren't supposed to know about it. Hmm. Have you ever used it? Not recently. All right. Then tell me, weren't you patrolling near the pharmacy last night? Yes, I told you. Then what? Get to the point already. An incident occurred there. The pharmacy camera had been deactivated. I suspect this little thingy could be responsible. I... no idea. Why would I do such a thing? You tell me. You're testing my patience. I said I didn't use that darn remote control, got it? Did someone steal it from you? Aside from you, no! Okay. Do you know anything about what happened at the pharmacy? Only what you told me. That someone deactivated the camera to steal something. I didn't mention any robbery. Well... That's only logical. What else could it have been? True, except nothing seems to be missing. However, someone attempted to force open a drawer in the back. Do you know what's stored in there? 
No, and I couldn't give a darn. So you weren't involved in any way with the pharmacy incident? Enough with your questions. Mind your own business. You're the one who asked me to investigate. Not on me personally. This is irrelevant. I can't trust him. Here's a pill. What's it for? The heck would I know? Really? You don't? Even though it's yours? What? You just stole it from me? Actually, I stole it an hour ago. I can't believe it. Well, you better. This is Sterix 500, an antidepressant with an interesting side effect. With a strong enough dose, anyone can fall into a comatose state. Where are you going with this? I almost think you're accusing me of drugging someone. Not just someone. A cop. You're insane. Sure, maybe I am. But here's my theory. The merchant girl on your street described a guy deeply asleep earlier this morning in his underwear. She had a tough time waking him up and he couldn't remember what happened. But he knew one thing for sure. He's a policeman. So you think this policeman came to see me? Impossible. I haven't had any visits in days. What about the two glasses on that table? Since when can we not drink with multiple glasses? I'm going through a tough situation and you're making it worse. Why did I hire you? Now I understand why you were so cheap. What? My prices are too low? Forget it. Let's assume I'm right, and that gun ain't yours. Wouldn't it make sense that it belongs to the cop you put to sleep? Those are big accusations. Stop with the mindless assumptions. I'm fed up with all that crap. Give me my gun back. I'll take it by force if I need to. First, I won't let you. Second, your insistence confirms my suspicions. Uh, you're just trouble. Darn it, what do you want from me? The truth. So, the pharmacy incident, the drugged policeman, the gun's true owner. All the evidence points towards the same direction. You're no policeman, Sin. You're a thief. No, that's wrong! You don't have any tangible proof. Maybe I don't, but the police would. Look, I have an idea. If you're telling the truth, it shouldn't be a problem if I ask the cops about your identity. Wait! Don't do this! You just don't understand. I'm... You don't leave me any choice! <clears throat> <clears throat> How many glasses do I have to throw? Won't you stay down? Stop, please. I'm sorry. You win. You were right. You read me like an open book. I'm a thief. A low-grade criminal. But I did it for my daughter. Your daughter? Yes. I just want to see her again. I made a huge mistake. Or at least, I think I did. A week ago, my wife found videos of me with another woman. The truth is, I can't remember it. Think you've been framed? Don't know. Maybe. Any enemies? Not that I'm aware of. The videos seemed real. I concluded I must have been drunk one night. And, well, in any case, she was furious. 
She made me leave home. She warned that I should never come close to her or our daughter anymore. I tried to reason with her, but to no avail. Not seeing my wife anymore is hard enough, but my daughter too. Women can trigger sure hopping mad, but that's a temporary setback. Not this time. She's a journalist, you know. Knowing the truth is of the utmost importance for her. And I definitely lost her trust. I attempted to talk to my daughter at the Consciousness Center. That made her totally mad. She threatened to start an expel procedure. Expel? I would lose my qualification and access to the drums. So, you're a drummer? Yes. Well, not much longer, I guess. I had no choice. I left by myself to come to this awful dump. Well, no offense. None taken. But why the stealing? I thought about this situation thoroughly. I just can't live without my sweet little girl. I can't. So, I had to go back and reverse what happened. I'm afraid the past can't be changed. You're wrong. There is a way. I could get her back. If her mother would forget this incident. Can anyone really forget such an important event? Yes, with oblivion. Oblivion? This medicine was invented for critical situations. Victims of a trauma. Kids losing their parents tragically. It has the ability to suppress select memories days after they occurred. Of course, the government kept it secret. Having this rolled out to the public would have dramatic effects. I spent entire days searching for a solution and I finally did. A hacker lived in the apartment next to mine. After some convincing, he shared some leaked reports. Oblivion was mentioned, as well as locations where it's stored. I had a policeman friend, RJ. He regularly patrolled around one such location. That pharmacy? So you drugged him to disguise yourself and steal the medicine? Exactly. I desperately needed it. What a way to treat your friends. True. But if you had a kid, you'd know. You'd do anything for them. I deactivated the camera and tried to force open the drawer. But then, I ran out of luck. A bot detected me and called the cops. I didn't have a choice. If I ended up in jail, my hopes of getting back my daughter would be lost forever. So I escaped through the back alley. What about the gun? In the rush, I took it out from my pocket and threw it in the sewers to get rid of it. But... What a fool. I forgot to clean off my fingerprints. If the cops got their hands on it, I'd be done for. So that's what happened. You hired me because you needed the gun back, but couldn't take the risk to search for it yourself. Yes. Now, go ahead. Call the cops. I'm ready. No. What? I won't. The only thing I wanted was to know the truth. Look, we're on the same side. I've got a kid too, sort of. But I deserve it. I attacked you. How could you forgive me? How could anyone? Don't worry about me. You've suffered more than enough, man. I won't tell anyone. And I'll help you get rid of that stinking gun. Really? But I... I lied about something else. I don't even have enough money to pay you. I figured I'd just find a solution. Ah, well, I had a feeling you'd say that. No worries. We'll figure something out later. I... This is... Thank you. Don't mention it. Here's the good... Don't move! Hands over your head! <laughs> you two! You're both under arrest. What? But... Don't bother trying to use the gun. We've deactivated it. How did you find us? Your detective friend here was behaving suspiciously. It was automatically recorded by the system. He led us to you. We took the time to record your confessions behind the wall. That'll save us time. Ooh, sorry. You're darn right to be sorry. This time I got you, Pork. Helping criminals is a federal infraction. The name's Brock, you disrespectful weasel. Whatever. Come on, move. Both of you. <sighs> Whoa! I'm late! Take a seat. 
The director will arrive in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. In the meantime, feel free to do exercises at your desk. Psst. Hey, what? Huh? What's going on? Where are the others? I'm not sure, but Stubot said Mr. Fenton has been promoted to another center. Mm. Don't you think that's strange? What is? Well, first it was our polyrectical teacher who became clinically depressed. Then our eco-manager started having health issues. And now our algorithmic teacher is transferred elsewhere. All of our human teachers are gone and replaced by bots. <sighs> nah, no conspiracy there. You watch too many liveies. They're just replacing the staff with bots to optimize cost. They're becoming less expensive over time, while us humans are much less reliable. Don't you feel concerned? It sucks, but we should be thankful to have been accepted here. Would you prefer one of those crappy slum kid centers? It's our only chance to become drummers, to live under the dome. I know. I worked hard enough just to get a place here. Still. Go ahead, sweetie. Take a seat. Hey, I told you. Don't call me that in front of everyone. Students, I have some rather major news. As Stubot must have informed you, Mr. Fenton has been promoted and will not be coming back. This incident and some previous others have implied unforeseen changes to the management. It has been decided that your final trials will be advanced to this week, starting now. What? Now? But Afraid you won't pass, stinkies. Shut up, baby robot. Quiet, please. The trials will span across three days. In addition, your science fair invention will be rated and counted for the diploma. As the only students choosing this career path, all four of you will be constituting one group. Stubot here will serve as standard meter to evaluate your performance. Meaning? You will pass if you get a score equal or better than Stubot. Keep in mind, though, this is not a competition. Yeah, right. The trials are split into four parts, each counting 25 points for a total of 100 points altogether. The first part consists of a series of exercises you'll be doing now. Any questions? Ott? I've got a major problem. From tomorrow, I'm supposed to start my internship at the police station. I know. We've decided to do you a favor. You'll be doing tomorrow's trial in the evening after everyone else. What? But... No, but... Remember, getting accepted into active society as a drummer for kids like yourself means substantial efforts. You must be willing to make sacrifices. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Huh. All right, the exam starts now. There you go. I'm stressing full steam now.
easy. Looks like the others haven't finished yet. Very well. The results should appear in a few seconds. Oh man, here comes the stress again. Good job, guys. Clay submitted fast enough to get two bonus points. Eh. Same for you, Graf. Good job. You will get the correct answers on your phone in the evening. That's all for now. The fair will take place right here. Deliberation will occur at 5 p.m. Thank you. Great job! Thanks. She did well, too. I'm sure I answered everything correctly, but I still couldn't beat Clay. Don't worry about it. You'll get your diploma and become a drummer. We'll pass together. Of course we will. Mm. I wonder what Brock would say about all this. I'm pretty sure he's having fun right now. Being a detective must be so cool. <laughs> hey, Ott! Wait for me! So I gathered a few clues. I had suspicions, of course, but a detective gotta trust his clients a bare minimum, you know? And this is when I realized that Sin... Shut up! Ugh. What a chatterbox you are. Sit. Wait a minute. The interrogation room? How perspicacious. Aren't you supposed to interrogate Sin first? Uh-uh. In due time. Sit! Uh, okay. Man, those cuffs sure are tight. They aren't really necessary, you know. Don't be a child. This is the procedure. Yeah, procedure schmeaters. You haven't changed a bit, huh? After all these years. This is irrelevant to the case. So, what am I guilty of? We'll determine that. Uh, I don't feel comfortable with this robot watching us. Why is it here, anyway? To perform technical requirements such as recording and testing the equipment. Just ignore it. Starting. What's this contraption for? The procedure? Enough with your procedure, Drivel. I have the right to know what this is. Fine. That's a lie detector. What? I thought these weren't reliable enough to... The engineers have made remarkable improvements. False positives are now reduced to 0.02% which was deemed an acceptable rate. As such, this equipment has been recently approved by our government. A very precious asset. Calibration in process. Subject needs to stay still. A word of advice? You'd better not lie. Or what? That thing's gonna electroshock me? N no way! Is this even legal? Calibration over. Perfectly legal. I could show you the description of the law, but I'm not even sure you can read. <sighs> I've been to school for a few years. Shall we start? Listen carefully. I will ask you ten questions. For each one, you've got exactly ten seconds to reply. It is highly recommended to give the first answer that comes to mind. Our only aim is solving this case. If the device detects a lie... Let me guess. Electroshock? Uh-huh. Glad I don't have hair then. It would be such a mess. Starting timer. All right. First question. What is your name? You know my name, Inspector. I'm not Inspector anymore. From now on, call me Commissioner Wes. Oh. Okay. Inspector... Uh, Commissioner? This question is meant to provide cross-checking for fine-tuning end results. I still didn't hear your name. Oh, uh, yeah. It's Brock. Are you sure? Of course. Last name? It's just Brock. Subject now registered as just Brock. No, I meant... Uh, forget it. Next question. What's your job? Handyman. I do plumbing, sewing, and sometimes even cooking. See? 
I'm telling the truth. No surprise there. You put your best competencies into practice. This declaration makes no sense. All these tasks can be performed by bots with a lot more efficiency than humans. We slummers would never let our jobs in the hands of petty tin cans. And you can't afford bots. Oh, yeah. Your population is declining at a steady rate. Soon you won't have a choice. Never. The strongest survives. That's how it's always been. Uh-huh. Very true. Next question. Why did you become a detective? And handyman. Whatever. I'm doing it for Graf. Don't. Graf? Uh. Uh, oh, I assume this is your son. No, he's Leah's. In her testament, she asked me to. Hey, I thought you'd remember. After all, you were in charge of the case five years ago. My memory isn't a database, you know. The chief means he's getting old and can't be as efficient as he used to. I guess. Lately, I've been losing my memory, too. Whatever. I needed to make a living for both of us. The police ain't helping us, so I figured a lot of slummers could use my assistance. Uh-huh. <sighs> Next question. What relationship do you have with Sim? He's... was my client. Uh-huh. He was looking for something he lost. The gun? No need to explain. The conversation between the subject and the suspect has been fully recorded as evidence number 2563. So, you know everything. What's the point of this whole interrogation? I'm the one asking the questions here. Focus. Tell us how you met. He tried to call me, endlessly. I believe he found me on the triweb. I've seen his searches. Uh huh. Next question. What have you been doing this morning? My investigation. Be more precise. I went to Sin's home, then to the sewers. Oh, and before that I crossed the border to check the alley in the pharmacy for clues. Uh-huh. You crossed the border. Huh. Uh, you know, I used to be a drummer, so... You still have access. This isn't acceptable. It should have been revoked long ago. Should the main database be checked for this record? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Record found. Revocation request. There is no availability right now. A ticket has been reserved. The process will be performed as soon as possible. Estimate 58 hours and 35 minutes from now. What a slow process. Well, never mind. As long as it's done. Good. That leaves me some time. You mentioned the sewers. Uh, yeah. The gun left tracks that led me there. Tell me about the squealers. Their leader and a few of his minions wouldn't let me pass, so... Hey, but... How do you know I met them? A wild guess. They've been causing a lot of trouble lately. You just confirmed our suspicions. Yeah, you need to do something about them. They're acting like it's their territory and everything. In due time. Next question. How do you think we should handle Sin? It's obvious. Free him immediately. Give him a second chance. He deserves it. Deserves? So, you believe in redemption. You think a criminal can redeem himself and never repeat any wrongdoings again. You're talking about sin as if he murdered someone. It was just a failed robbery. And poisoning a police officer. Nothing important then. I wouldn't say not important, but nobody's dead. Besides... He won't do it again. I'm 100% sure of it. Uh -huh. Agent X598, please give your input on this. There's a 95% probability of criminals committing a new crime within 10 years. This is a well-known statistic. Therefore, we suggest the subject must be having some kind of brain malfunction for contradicting this. Oh, so I'm crazy, huh? For what? Believing no one's perfect? Do all citizens have to believe all the crap you say? Tell me, what's the source of this blasted figure? Even if it were true, there's still a 5% chance to never get in any trouble. 
and ten years is a very long time. Calm down and focus. We're not here to judge you. Yeah, right. Let's move on. Next question. Have you ever murdered someone? Ugh. Please reply. Yeah, of course I've murdered someone. Uh, what the? <sighs> That's impossible. I'd never. I, I couldn't kill someone in cold blood. There's something wrong with your contraption. You gotta believe me. Uh huh. Unless you're considering bots. You've killed bots? They can't be killed. They're machines. Uh huh. Let's be more specific. Have you killed Leah? What? Answer the question! No. Of course not. Say it aloud. I did not kill Leah. The data is confirmed with a 99.998% probability. See? Your stupid machine agrees with me. Uh huh? What does this have to do with sin? You can complain later. This interrogation isn't over. Last question. Who did you really kill? I... Uh, can't remember. Hmm. See? No electroshock. I told you. Must be something wrong with your machine. Uh-huh. Possibly. We agree with the subject. The data of this interrogation is of contradictory nature. Very well. This interrogation is over. Stopping timer. Not too soon. Wait! What's up with those last questions? They're totally irrelevant to Sin's case. We do not disclose our work methods. Oh. I see what you're up to. You're still blaming me for her death. That case has been closed years ago. It was an accident. Then why? Why are you bringing this up? We didn't have this powerful hardware at our disposal back then. I just needed to confirm some details. Well? Satisfied? Uh-huh. What I believe is... Not important. You'll have time to think about it in custody. Custody? But... I thought you understood I had nothing to do with Sin's incident. Maybe not, but you sure have your share of problems. Anyway, the investigation AI needs time to examine your answers. Investigation? AI? You mean an artificial intelligence is gonna solve the case by itself? Uh-huh. Most of it. This is outrageous! I'm... outraged. Do not worry. You're not a suspect for these events. There's not much to solve anyway. This case is crystal clear. Is it? Sin could have been framed. Very unlikely. Let our algorithms do their work. We will release you as soon as possible. The sooner the better. <sighs> Agent X-598, please start the analysis. And tell Agent Ray to come in. Yes, Commissioner. Hmm. Come over on this side. Uh. That's a blind spot. Huh? Listen, I hate this as much as you do. Those AI reliability algorithms, figures and everything, a bunch of crap. No robot should be making decisions in our place. You don't say. But the law is the law. I'm the commissioner here. I need to follow orders. From who? You ask me, Chief? Yes. Please take this man to a cell. Okay. Nutcha! Hey! You're a cat? Uh... Don't be foolish. Surely even you can see he's a reptilian. Yeah, but I hate cats. I'm allergic to cat fur. Yuck! Enough! Screw up one more time and you're fired. Okay, okay! You've changed, Chief. Never threatened me before. Go ahead. First cell. Take a shower. What? In front of you? This is a dry wash. 
No need to take off your clothes. Oh. Germs elimination in progress. Process over. That was fast. <sighs> oh. How did I get into such a mess? <sighs> Graf would be ashamed of me. <gasps> oh, the fair! I forgot! He's gonna kill me if I'm not there on time. 4 p.m. I can still make it. Gotta be there, no matter what. Let's find a way out of this rat hole. Hey, Sin. You okay, man? <sighs> yeah, I know. It's tough, but I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get us out of here. You'll see. I'm tired. Don't mind me. <sighs> Listen, pal. I'm sorry for what happened. Why? Why are you sorry? I'm the only one responsible. I got you involved in this mess. Attacked you. I robbed a pharmacy for precious medicine and miserably failed. I deceived my old pal, RJ, and intended to drug my wife. But... You did it for a noble cause. No, it was all for me. I'm selfish, and now I'll pay the price. The triangle should give me the death penalty. The triangle? Yeah. The members of the government get to decide the fate of prisoners. Wes told me it was an AI. No, the AI does the investigation. The final judgment is in the hands of the triangle. And with all the evidence they've got, it's over for me. I refuse to believe it. You're a good person. Wrong. You can't understand. You're nothing like me. Yeah. I'm probably worse. Huh? Forget it. I'm not sure I should insist. Look. I'm not a psychologist or anything, but what experience has taught me is to hold on to your best memories and dreams. Life out here is more often crappy than not. You can decide to drown, or you can fight to make it better. Not only for you, but for everyone important around you. You deserve a second chance. Just uh, don't do anything you might regret. You've got a daughter waiting for you. <sighs> I want you to promise me. What? Promise me you won't do anything stupid. I... <sighs> yeah. Say it! Scream it! Ah! Uh, won't you leave me alone? Be honest with yourself. You think your life should end here? Like this? Yes! <sighs> no. You... You're right. I want to see her again. If there's any chance. So? What will you do? I... I'll fight. Louder. I'm gonna fight! There. But... I need some time. Of course. Who's RJ? Over there. The guard. Oh. He may be a bit simple-minded, but he was my friend. And I deceived him. Any chance he might, uh, not hold a grudge against you? What do you think? He threw me in the cell like a bag of potatoes. He said the inspector was on the verge of firing him for being tricked like this. Great. Okay, so he hates you now. But I'll need him for my escape plan. Can you make an effort? Not sure what you mean. Just call him whenever I ask you. Okay, whatever. Stay here. As if I had a choice. Some... fur. Now where did this come from? Oh, I know. I had it on my clothes when I showered. It got stuck in the drain. Who knows? Might be useful. Device has outdated firmware. Please update to read the rest of the story. Do you wish to perform the update now? 
go ahead, but you better be quick. Update in progress. The update failed. Error 0x8544123. Unknown error. Restarting now with default firmware. You gotta be kidding me. Corrupted file. What? Corrupted file. Hey, a digital ad. Cool. Can we talk? You said you felt guilty for involving me in this? I am. Then, may I ask a favor? Can you press a button on your panel? Why? Just curious. Whatever. Tell me which one. Second one? I need your help. Can you press another? Ain't got nothing better to do. Maybe the third one. No visitors detected. Hmm. Hey, I can access that sink. Let's see. What are you fiddling with? Look, I was able to open it from this side. Open what? A trap door at the back of the sink. This is our exit ticket. Uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. I think I'm unscrewing something. Aha! Uh -huh. Now it's leaking water. Perfect. Can we talk? Can you... Yeah. The fourth one. Call RJ? I wish I didn't have to, but... Okay. What am I gonna tell him? Tell him there's a problem with your sink. Ah. Well, that's why you messed with it. Yep. You're kidding me! I'm not clear. I don't want to talk to you. Ever! My sink is broken. Can you check? You won't get me with that stupid excuse. It's true! Look! Uh-oh. If the boss sees this... Trouble! Okay. I enter and fix that. No move! Here you go. Cat fur in the hat. What a magician. Yeah, that sink is... <laughs> what the... Uh, two. Huh? My... Uh, two. Head... Spinning... <laughs> what? No time to explain. Get out! But... No! Alert! <sighs> the barrier... is back. Oh, great. All this for nada. Now I'm in even more trouble. At least the guard is out. Does this change anything? Debug mode activated. That voice... Did something happen? And one camera down. Bye bye. I'm free.
Hey, that's a collectible ad. I found something. I can't believe it. Better look again. I always miss the ads. There you go. Go ahead. It's open. No. Huh? It's a mistake. I've got to stay. I need to atone for my sins. But... But... You're not responsible for anything, but me. I'd become a fugitive. <sighs> what are you waiting for? Go! Okay, but I'll come back to visit you. Right. Just be careful. Always. Oops. It's okay. I'm sure no one heard it. Ugh. What's in there? Must have been a fraudster's belongings. Eh, these will be safer with me. I'll get back my things. Darn. They kept the gun and other things. Nice. An ad coupon. Didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. the troublemaker, aren't you? The game is up. Man's over your head. You can't stop me. You're stronger than I thought. And fortunately for us, not very bright. I've been asked to keep you alive. I really can't understand it after what you've done to him. Well, doesn't matter. The final plan has started. I have the situation under control. You better cooperate or else. There. Mine's all set up, too. Say, Graf, I'm intrigued. What does your invention do? Well, this, my friend, is gonna solve our water shortage problems. Partly. Wow. Hmm. Don't tell me. This is a... moisture recycler? Almost. Then, let's say... Does this turn rainwater into drinking water? Nope, but you're getting hotter, Ot. So, are you gonna tell me? You first. Okay. 
It's also a solution to our everyday problems. Just less crucial. Is that a sock? Yup. This is a socks auto pairing machine. Put all your favorite socks inside and it automatically matches them according to size and color. Is that really useful? Well, my parents forced me to do their laundry. So tiring. Wait a sec. That doesn't fit the theme, does it? The theme? Yeah, converting. What? There was a theme? Afraid so. Oh no! That means I'll lose half the points. At least. How am I going to... Hey, Porky and Kitty. What's this crap next to you? Huh? No way. Don't tell me. These are your creations? Back off, Clay. Now's not the time. Oh, they're really yours. Well, no surprise there. Garbage boys can only make garbage. What did you call us? Still, I'm curious. You gotta know your competition, right? What's that piece of rubbish, Kitty? Tell me. No. Ah, uh, come on. I'll know sooner or later. Then wait. Ah! Spit it out, or I break his neck. Hey, are you crazy? Stop it. You're hurting him. I'll stop if you tell me what this piece of crap of yours is. You win. This machine transforms urine into drinking water. Huh? Oof! Are you serious? <laughs> urine... into... water? This... this is ridiculous! It works! You'll see! Wait... you expect someone to... try your machine? There's your piss in it! <laughs> Idiot! Yeah, I'm sure he's never had to drink polluted water. Okay, okay. I'm convinced. Let me try it. What? No! Oh, don't be like that. I'll just press that button. Here. What did you do? Ooh, too bad. It's broken. I... Uh, I'm going to... Graf, don't! No, I won't play your game. What? You won't do anything. If you harm Ott, we'll ask your mom for a DNA search on his clothes. You'll get banned. Hmm. Man, you always ruin all the fun. That was just a little joke. Oh well, I'll be on my way. Just one last thing. Don't even bother fixing it. What? Who knows? The same accident might happen again. If you dare, I, I'll crush yours. Hmm. Stubot. Activate. Hello, sir. Please watch over my invention. I will. Hey! You can't use Stubot like that! Of course I can. He's material for the center, and the center belongs to my family. Isn't that right, Stubot? Okay. Ta-ta for now. The sun is shining. I'll get some due rest. What's his problem? He's the director's favorite, and he always gets the best marks. He doesn't have to act like that. You don't say. Look what he created. Hmm. Oh, so sleek. We're in trouble. Your invention doesn't fit the theme. Mine is broken. And I'm starting to have second thoughts about my choice. There's no way we're going to win this. Don't listen to him. It's an amazing idea. It's too late for me. But we can fix your machine. Possibly. But you heard his threats. Besides, I wouldn't feel right if you helped me pass while you fail. Oh, don't worry. I'll catch up with the next trial. Hmm. There's another way. Remember, we're evaluated according to Stubot. What if we, let's say, use their machines? You mean, messing them up? Like he did? I'm not sure I agree with this. You're right. We're not like him. I'll just fix my invention and hope for the best. But I can't afford letting him break it again. You could watch over it. No, there's got to be something better. Some kind of protection. Giving a shock if he touches it. Hmm. I've got something for you. What's that? A force field. 
it defines a perimeter. By connecting the right stuff, you should be able to get the result you want. I had to use several for my machine, but I had a spare just in case. You are sure? Yeah, take it! You should hook up a detector and an operator on the NUB ports. That's perfect! You're a genius, Ott. Nah, geniuses don't forget the instructions. I'll be around if you need me. Okay, thanks a bunch. Well, to be honest, this solution is a bit convoluted. But this trial is crucial. Anyway, let's get started. A collectible ad? Great! Awesome! I found another one! One more to the collection. Hey, Ott. So, your internship starts tomorrow. Yeah, it's quite exciting. I'll get to work with a real policeman. My uncle is head of the police station. I admire you. I'd be so stressed in your situation. Why? I'm like a fish in a bowl. As soon as I get out of it, I get all anxious without control. Actually, they'll probably stick me around the protocopier all day long. But I'm still looking forward to it. You're okay? Yeah. I mean... I know what you mean. But really, it's fine. If I don't win this, I'll catch up later. You always seem so confident. Even in the worst situations. That's because I've known worse. Hmm. Sorry. I know you've had your share of rough moments too. I'm more concerned about the present situation. Any idea how I could fix my invention? Well, you built it, didn't you? You should know better. Right. I think melted plastic could fix the glass. Do you have some? Afraid not. Sorry. That's okay. I'll figure out something. Thanks again for the force field. Uh, how do I use it again? Hey, I thought you were the most clever out of us. Well, uh... Just kidding. Connect NUB peripherals on the base. I think you'll need two. A detector and an operator. Yeah. In particular, I need something to detect wrong intentions. Got a clue? Hmm, some fingerprint reader, maybe? Yeah. As for the operator, anything that can provoke a shock. Is it really necessary? Definitely. I don't trust Clay at all. Gotta go. No worries. I'll stay here to watch over our inventions. Thanks. Where should I go? Hmm. I know. I'll pay a visit to that crazy inventor. Maybe she can help. Ugh, what a smell. Good thing I'm used to searching through trash. Anyone could get poisoned. Um, hello? Miss Shay? Um, maybe I should get closer. Whoa! What was that? Crap! Oh, that bloody junk is busted again. Hey, watch your tongue. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, the voices are back. Oh, I shouldn't have quit my treatment. Hey, I'm right here. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> you're right. I prefer that. Now, where was I? Wait, won't you help me? Oh, you need help? Why didn't you tell me? I... Never mind. You're Brock's stepson, right? Graf? It's been a long time. Yeah, I'm surprised you remember me. Been busy with studies, and that's why I'm here. Who needs studies? Practice is the best way to learn. And get injured, apparently. Anyway, can I ask you something? Well, my mind reader isn't quite ready yet, so... I guess it's fine if we resort to talking. A mind reader? For real? Just a prototype. I had to stop working on it. I couldn't bear hearing my own thoughts. Like echo on a phone, you know? Um, anyway... By any chance, I need some kind of device to detect wrong intents. Maybe a fingerprint reader. I know it's very specific, but... Wrong intents. Weird. I've got a feeling I built a device like this, but I can't put my finger on it. Look around, maybe? Will do. I've set up a force field. What could prevent someone from accessing what's placed inside it? A short circuit. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Not really. 
The force field would diffuse the shock all around, so it's safe. Unless you have a congenital heart malformation, in which case, you'd die sooner or later anyway. Um, very reassuring. Just keep your eyes open for any sparks. The slums are filled with broken devices. Right. I better go. Wait, if you see Brock on the way, give him that. Earbuds? I've reversed a pair of hearing aids to block out all outside sounds. You can do that? Amazing! My sensors have detected Brock as sleep deprived. I forgot to give it to him earlier. Huh? He was there? Yeah, this morning. Hmm. I'm sorry to ask, but he's out all day and night but never tells me anything. What business does he have with you exactly? Well, let's say he's doing errands for me. Among other things. Other things? I'm sorry. He made me promise not to tell you anything. <sighs> Obviously. He doesn't trust me. He's got his reasons. Yeah, right. Excuses. Always more excuses. Listen, I'll discuss it with him next time, okay? <laughs> That'd be great. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, back to work. Can I have the screwdriver? What's the magical word? I don't know. My parents didn't live long enough to teach me. Don't say things like that. Although that's a valid point. Okay, you can have it. Awesome! Your enthusiasm for a simple screwdriver is wonderful. I wish I had a childhood. What do you mean? A normal childhood, anyway. I'm afraid time goes only one way. Hmm. Who knows? Oh, it's full of small parts. Let's see. Mm, no, it doesn't seem anything will help me right now. But I'll definitely come back to it for my future projects. I guess something dangerous is in there? What are you talking about? There's no danger inside my garage. Not so sure about that. And why the symbol then? Oh, <laughs> that's the anti-intruder detection system. It's outside, not inside. Obviously, that makes a huge difference. Wait, how does this work? If a visitor presses the door button with the wrong intent, it unleashes a counter reply to make sure they can't enter. It's perfect. Can I borrow it? Well, it's very valuable. I spent a lot of time. Oh, please. My whole future depends on it. All right. Rock asked me to deactivate it anyway, so go ahead. But leave the saw. Uh, that saw was the counter reply? I'll have to replace it with something softer. By the way, several people are going to use my machine. I should only target one person. I can't take the risk to hurt anyone from the examination board. Easy. Put that person's fingerprint on it. Hmm. That won't be so simple. A beggar. Don't look at him. Keep your eyes to the ground. Hello, my boy. Oh, no. Please wait. You live here, right? With the detective. How do you know? Are you spying on us? I better call. Look at me, boy. Do you really expect that from an old geezer? I'm alive right now because your dad stood up for me against squealers this morning. He's not my father. Leave me alone. Fine. Farewell. Hmm. Maybe I was a bit harsh. After all, I could be in the same situation if it wasn't for Brock. What did Brock do exactly? Long story short, I owed money to the squealers. They were ready for payback. <laughs> he gave them quite a beating. Did he? Offering help and risking his butt for free. That doesn't sound like him. Maybe you don't know him that well. Well, I know one thing for sure. In the end, he always either gets fooled or screws everything up. My boy, the result never really matters. Only the intent. If you say so. Let's see. Uh, is that flour? What's that doing here? I must have used it for some project. <clears throat> 
Great. What am I doing here? <sighs> Got lost in my thoughts again. I shouldn't wander too far. Hello. Oh, hello, young man. Man? Well, you're no longer a kid, are you? Um, yeah. So, you're... Selling a lot of stuff. Anything you're interested in? Just looking. Talila Day. What? It means you've come to the right place. Might you be lost? No, I'm just, uh... Forget it. Denante, feel free to look. Is this... Yes, this is the untail. Do you want a statuette? No, I don't believe in this. Be honest. I see it in your eyes. You're curious. Here, let me give you this one. What? No! I can't accept. No credit, huh? Look, this is a defective one. I wouldn't be able to sell it anyway. Okay, thanks. Denante. Hopefully no one sees me with this. They might think I've turned into an untail fanatic. What? Huh? Selling without license is forbidden. Oh no! The police! I surrender! I surrender! Please, don't hurt me! Explain yourself! It's true. I'm just selling goods to make a living. Explain yourself! Well, I had no idea I needed a license. Explain yourself! Huh? I've already told you. Oh boy, oh boy. Explain yourself. Something's wrong. This drone must be bugged. It's gonna shoot at any moment. What should I do? Yes. Yes, you were. Now we know what brought you here. Right. Anyway, bye. Wait, don't go. You deserve a reward. I'm good. Nonsense. You're obviously looking for something. You know what? Take a good look at my stand. I'll give you anything you want. Hmm, okay. Whoa! What's wrong with that info phone? There must be a short circuit running inside that button. It's dangerous. Though, I doubt anyone would be stupid enough to touch it. Looks like one of those old wire panels. Wow, they even use screws! Truly ancient. Easy! Now, let's see. What the heck? Who designed this mess? The info phone, I guess. Looks like I can disconnect this wire. Should I? Okay. Is this the good one? Did this work? It's off, but still risky. Now, how do I take that button? I can't really get a grip. Let's see if I can pull this button out. Mm, there! Whoops, everything came off. Well, 
At least I got my button of death. And it's even got a nub connector. Perfect. May I... What are you doing, my boy? Burning that holy symbol. Ah, I forgot. To me, it's just a plastic figure. I'll take my chances. If it's important for you, go ahead. The statuette has melted. Good. It's still hot. I'll use that old piece of cloth to wrap it. It's all sticky. Better use it fast before it gets hard again. I didn't intend to use that stove anymore anyway. Oh no! Truly sorry, I didn't realize I had sullied it. Let me clean it. Don't waste your time for an old fool. No way. My old man always says, it's never too late to do the right thing. My mistake, I'll fix it. There, like new. Thank you. Now go. Goodbye. Hey, that's my favorite chip music band. They're giving away some stickers to promote their next tour. Nice, I'll take one. What the heck are you doing? Um, go away. I need to rest. And stop walking around me. My ears are sensitive. Okay, I'm sorry. Ugh, why do I even apologize? I'm too stupid. In any case, I need a more subtle approach. Mm. Hey! Whatever you're trying to do, you better stop. And stop wandering around like this. I can hear you coming from miles around. Um, okay. <laughs> Another failure. Um, uh, still around? What do you want? I'd like to apologize about earlier. Ah, finally, you're making some sense. I'd like for us to take a new start. And I've got a gift for you. A pair of earbuds. You won't be bothered by outside sounds anymore. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. You're not trying to trick me, are you? Of course not. Look, I'll wear them. See? Hmm. Okay, let me try it. What? I said... Urgh. Will you remove those darn things? Uh, wait. I can't hear you. There. Convinced? Give me that. Hmm. Oh, yeah. A perfect silence. Exactly what I needed. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Beat it! I hope I don't regret this. Good idea, but sticking his finger will wake him up. Besides, the handprint won't hold on the sticker. What did cheap detectives do to get fingerprints already? Okay, just gotta be careful. There, I've applied some flour on his finger. He didn't feel a thing. Very gently. Uh. <laughs> Hopefully I applied enough pressure. There. The force field perimeter should extend just enough to cover my machine. But it's not active yet. Great, it fits. The force field should spread the detection so it's not localized to one point, but everywhere around. Now I need an operator to give a shock to a certain someone. What could fit that definition? The trap is set. Good, only one problem left. I need to target clay exclusively. Works, what a relief. I still need to fix my invention. There. Not perfect, but that should do the trick. Final step. I activate the force field. Perfect. My convoluted protection is almost invisible now. Oh, is it working? I'll know the answer in a few seconds. Oh no, he's coming back. <sighs> what? Hmm, idiot. 
Stubot, I forgot my socks on my chair. Bring them back. Yes, sir. I told you, kitty. Accidents tend to happen. Again? Yes! Oh my! Huh. Ew. He's just knocked unconscious. You sure were heavy-handed. He started it. It's almost time. The examination board will be here any minute now. Okay. I did everything I could. Now I just have to cross fingers and wait for my old man. Look! Look! My parents! They're over there! <sighs> Unfrozen mode. Mm, shoot! Uh, did something happen? I, I could swear you moved. Oh, a freezing gun. So, am I in trouble? I did not expect you to escape. I have clearly underestimated you. That said, you messed up your cell system, neutralized one of our agents, and violated the law. Well, sorry about that, but it's your fault. I shouldn't be here. I just... Shut up! <clears throat> I require your assistance. What? Here's the situation. Listen carefully. This is confidential. Due to recent events, I had to fire Agent Roy. Huh? Why? He screwed up too many times. Today, he fell for your tricks. I cannot allow my agents to have their weaknesses so easily exploited. Well, it wasn't that easy. In addition to this, several of our AI agents are out of service. Finally, and this is hard for me to admit, but we are similar, you and I. Old school in a technological world. I've told you. I have no confidence in algorithms solving the cases. The only human agent remaining is myself. Soon, I won't have a choice but to rely entirely on those gadgets. I won't let this happen. I've become skeptical about their behavior. I need to keep an eye on those bots. So, I can't keep running this department all by myself. I need your help. That's... Unexpected. Certainly glad I'm not the only one who thinks those thingamabobs are creepy, though. Give me some time to think. This isn't a choice. It's a cherry. Huh? A cherry? A cherry. Cherry. Yes. It's a request. Are you okay? It's been a long day. Anyway, as per regulation 14-3032, in case of understaffing, the highest ranking officer can requisition any citizen for help. Hmm? Why me? I've seen your actions today. Despite some aggressive tendencies, you've solved Sin's case remarkably well. You didn't blindly trust your client and uncovered the truth via uncommon methods. I've met so many detectives over the years. You are one of a kind. We've known each other for a long time. Currently, you're the most qualified person I can trust. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, so, if I accept... It's not your decision. Whatever. What kind of compensation can I expect? None. None? Working for free? But... Only temporarily. You'll manage. Easy for you to say. You're not drowning in debt. This is effective as of now. Immediately? Wait, what time is it? 5 p.m. 5 p- Oh no! Graf's fair! I need to leave! This is an accept- I'm begging you! Graf, he's gonna kill me! I'm no good for you dead, ain't I? This seems like a slight exaggeration. Look. Don't care what I gotta do to get out of here. If you prevent me, I'll force my way through. <sighs> Alright. You're free to go. See ya. I need a rest. Time to recharge the batteries and prepare for tomorrow. <sighs> I'm... 
Here. Mm, you're late. Uh, I know, but you see, I had a lot of trouble. So, hey, wait! Where are you going? Uh, 6 p.m. Six new messages and seven missed calls. Oh no. Uh, wait for me! Graf, please, talk to me. <sighs> Got a message from the school, but I... I need to hear it from you. <sighs> Simple. They've decided to advance the year's trials this week and made the science fair a part of it. You weren't there, so I got a zero. Zero. Nil. Nada. Zip. Oh, look, I'm... Sorry. That's all you have to say? You're sorry? I told you! You needed to come! You broke your promise! Again! Well, I did come. An hour late! I know. What's your excuse this time? My investigation took an unexpected turn. I ended up in jail. I had to escape to... Jail? Are you a criminal? Is that what you're hiding from me? No, of course not. I can explain. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Do you even realize? I killed myself working on this project. Made sure everything worked well. All this work. The hours I poured into it. All for nothing! Because of you! Uh, I hate you! Graf. Uh, great job, Brock. This time you really blew it. <sighs> I still can't believe it. Because of him, I failed this test. I'll never get my diploma. Forever and ever. I'll stay a lousy slummer. Like... <clears throat> I need to clear up my head. Hey, maybe Odd is online. Oh, I'm craving some team match game. He's not. Darn. I guess he's preparing for his training course tomorrow. Too bad. I could really use a friend right now. Hmm. Parents ruin everything. Topic. I hate my parents. I'm not the only one. Interesting. Maybe they'll be interested in my own story. I need to find a way to redeem myself. Somehow. Tomorrow, the school. No matter how or what. I gotta convince them to put the blame on me and give him the mark his work deserves. But gotta do something right now, or I'll never be able to sleep. It's getting late. Hmm. I wish you were here, Grandpa. You always knew what to do for me. Hmm. I know. Grandpa always said, Eating is the best stress reliever. I'll prepare dinner for him. The best food he's ever had. Nobody can resist my cooking. Now, let's see what I can gather. I forgot. I still haven't gone shopping. This is all I could find. Guess I'll have to make do. Cooking time. And submit. Hmm, <sighs> maybe I'm being a little too harsh. When he told me he was stuck in jail, was he for real? Hmm, probably. No reason to lie about something like that. But why? I don't like this. Maybe I should have let him explain. Of course, that's him. What part of leave me alone does he not understand? Raf, can you come here, please? I won't talk about it. Promise. Okay. Look, I'm sorry for... Nah, don't say anything. 
It's all my fault. But still, I shouldn't have said that. No worries. I prepared dinner. Well, to be honest, I don't feel like eating right now. I just can't help thinking about, well, everything. Come on. No one can think properly on an empty stomach. Please. Okay. Here. Mmm. This smells so good. Quick, I'm starving. Hey, I thought you said... Doesn't matter. Give me some. <laughs> no way. What? Is it bad? Oh, great. I knew I shouldn't have put some. It's delicious. Is it? Uh, say, you're right. What's your secret? No idea. I had very few ingredients left. You know, no time to go shopping. You're a magician, then. Uh, thanks. I'm glad you like it. Actually, it's funny. I thought I'd cheer you up, but it's the other way around. You never stop surprising me, son. Mm. You know, this meal, it kind of reminds me of... Your mother? Mm. She never had any time for cooking. But when she did, it was wonderful. Just like you. I mean, you're the same with cooking. No free time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. About what happened. Wait, not here. This time, it's my turn to surprise you. Follow me! Uh, where are you going? <sighs> I didn't expect to climb all the way up here. Won't you tell me where we're going? Right here. I wanted you to see this. Uh? See what? Hmm. Let me ask the question properly. What do you see? Well, I see trash, the polluted haze, despair, and misery. Just as I thought. You keep looking at the ground. But you know what they say. Every coin has two sides. Raise your eyes to the sky. The sky? Whoa, you're right. This is pretty. Yeah, it hasn't changed. No matter how much our technology pollutes it, the Earth does its best to remain magnificent. Ah, uh, you and your mom, after we met, we used to go here every evening. Both of us had busy lives, but this was our highlight. Each day, we would spend the little time we had talking. Talking? Really? <laughs> well, most of the time, anyway. <laughs> I... I want to ask you something. Is it wrong if I can't remember her? Not just her, but my father, too. Forgetting my parents. Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. Actually, to tell the truth, I'm the same. I have erratic memories of the past. Sometimes I ask myself, what did her voice sound like? What did her smile look like? If it wasn't for this picture I saved, I wouldn't even recall her face. Yeah, I've checked through all the Triweb. Our family pictures, video clips, documents. They were all stored online in one place. When the national power outage happened, all our files were just gone. As if our entire existence up to that point had been erased. Not just ours, but the whole city. The only memories left are in our minds, and they're not even reliable. You're wrong. Our mind is the most precious and trusty belonging in this day and age. There's a simple explanation to all this. We both went through trials and tribulations. Sometimes our brain tends to block bad memories as a protective shield, so we can keep living. You talk exactly like Shay. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, I wish I could remember. You know, I do remember one thing. Really? What was it? You. The fire was still burning. I was laying down outside, regaining consciousness. You were there, watching over me. It's been a long time. Look, 
I'm aware we don't get to spend a lot of time together. I know. Don't worry about it. You're doing what you can. I wish things were different, but I need you to know I will always stand by you. Tomorrow, I'll meet your director. I'll fix everything. You mean validating my rating? Yeah, I will. <sighs> do you still trust me? I do. Uh-oh. Hello? Oops! If you don't come immediately, I swear I'm gonna- Hang on! I'm on my way! Uh, Who was that? I, uh, um, I'll explain later. <sighs> Some things never change. <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm here, ready. Chill, bro. The fight starts in 10 minutes. Huh? But you said... I used my bending time capacity. Bending time? You were late, so I jumped back an hour to get you earlier. But that's impossible. Is it? We can imagine it, right? Doesn't that simple fact make it possible? No, you're confusing me. Okay, okay. You're right, I didn't. After all this time, don't you think I've learned a thing or two about you? The only way to get you here on time is to never give you the right timing. Ugh, I fell for it again. Good thing you always seem to forget. Still, bending time. Wouldn't it be convenient? There are many interesting theories. Uh-oh, here comes Miss Science again. Well, you've got ten minutes to kill now, don't you? Been a long day. I could really use a rest. Oh, very well. If you prefer spending this time doing nothing over enlightening your spirit, that's your choice. Actually, you made me curious. Enlighten me. Good. First of all, let me ask you this simple question. What is time? Well, uh, it's some kind of measurement. Like, I weigh 220 pounds and you weigh, um, how much do you weigh? Bro, you're as clueless about women as you are of science, aren't you? Anyway, I see what you mean. Time is a constant, right? For instance, fixing this tablet takes me one minute. Meanwhile, you're up on the trash mountain looking down on my garage. When I'm done fixing it, how much time has passed for you? Well, one minute? Wrong! What? Time is relative. It can vary for different observers. In my example, it will almost be one minute spent for you. Almost, but not exactly. There will be a very slight difference, maybe just less than a nanosecond. It's especially true when you're higher, thus not subject to the same gravity, like you on the mountain. Think about satellites. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellites' increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make their clock gain about 50 microseconds a day. So, basically, you're saying that I could get older faster than you? Exactly. Maybe less than a second faster in an entire lifespan, but the difference exists. It's called time dilation. Does it matter? Yes, because it means one important thing. Time cannot be dissociated from space. You know how every object has three coordinates, height, width, and depth? These are dimensions. Well, time is the same. It's called the fourth dimension. It's hard for us to imagine. Time is an illusion of our mind. If we can move an object into space, why couldn't we move it into time as well? But how do we do that? Not the slightest idea. By moving into space, close to the speed of light. The speed of light? Hey, have you been to school? Everyone knows that. Now that you mention it, Grandpa and I, we often watch the stars at night. He told me that we observe them as they were millions of years ago. Yes, that's because light is an instant. A star's light takes a lot of time to reach us. Right now, how you're seeing me is the only reflection from my older self. Oh, so you're actually younger? That varies according to your perspective. There's a delay. It's so tiny, our brains can't notice. 
But that doesn't make anyone travel in time. It's just looking. Right. We're standing still. What happens if we move? Say you have a twin. I do? Of course not, silly. One bro is already too much for this world. Hey. But let's assume you've got one. While you're staying on Earth, your twin is traveling inside a spaceship at a very high speed. Years pass. One day he comes back. And to your surprise, he's much younger than you. Hey, that's not fair. But true. The twin has aged much slower than you. Time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to another reference. So, in a way, we can say that the twin traveled to the future. That's fine, but I wouldn't want to go forward in time. It'd be awful. All the people I know would be... Old or dead? Can we go back instead? Is that possible? Notice what I said. To go into the future, we'd need to reach a speed close to the speed of light. Now, what would happen if we could exactly reach the speed of light? Well, I guess we would disintegrate. Our body couldn't take it. Neither would our mind. We'd go crazy. Possibly, but you're making a common thinking mistake. You wouldn't need to move straight forward to gain speed. A vessel could be moving back and forth, increasing progressively and ever so slightly, that the movement itself wouldn't be perceived by the mind and body. You mean, like our reflection previously? Yep. Space in the vessel would shrink, including all objects inside. And suddenly, BAM! You reach the speed of light and enter a wormhole. From there, you get access to the whole world's history. You can land anywhere you want. Or should I say, any time? Exciting, Uh uh-huh. Can you just picture it? (sighs) Right now, the only thing in my mind is a headache. Uh, uh Uh-oh, we may need to go back in time, all right. Why are you saying that? Because it's time. Quick, in the cabin. Are you... Um, your opponent? No, it was supposed to be. What? Never mind. Let's rock, Croc. Huh? You... You're a... Darn! You blew my cover. Shay, I gotta go. What? No way. Not an option. I I can't hit a lady. Well, I am one, and I'm telling you, smash her down. Don't be a gentleman. I can handle you. Very well. I won't hold back. Hit, hit. 
Sorry it came to this. You're a skilled fighter, but don't worry about it. I wasn't here for the money anyway. Then, what for? Goodbye. Huh. Well, I won. What a day. Done. No one can withstand my fists of steel. This should cover some of your debt. Why do you always have to ruin the fun? Well, bye. Hey, you're making it sound like it's an everyday job. Isn't it? I'm risking my life for some credits. Nah, you can't die. What? Why are you always so confident I'll never get killed? Or worse, like this morning when you sent me to hack a border post full of deadly bots and lasers. Or when you set up that giant saw that I barely escaped from. I was lucky to make it out alive. What a silly question. <laughs> That's because I know the... Mm, I mean... I know you. <laughs> I believe in you. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Shay. You're a great friend. No problem, bro. This place is dark. Let's move on. Mines? Oh boy. I hate those. Better watch my step. A window? A porthole? Ah, in any case, it's shut. Let's see. Well, I thought there was light coming out, but I can't see much of anything. Hey. Wait, I can hear... Is someone there? Voices. They've stopped. I have an awkward feeling. Maybe I shouldn't look. <gasps> what the heck is this? <sighs> hmm. Wait. There's nothing here. <sighs> I must be imagining things. This is... unlike the others. Why is that window position so low? I, uh, I need to take a look. Huh? <laughs> Graf? Don't cry. I'll get you out of here. Dad, where are you? I'm here, Graf. What are you doing in this cell? Help! Don't worry. I'll help. Is there any way to open from your side? <laughs> hey, can't you hear me? Uh, who's there? It's me! Uh -huh. It's Brock. I'm... 
I'm here for you. No. What? No, you're not. Get away from me. But, Graf. Help! Somebody help! Shh! Stop screaming. I'm not gonna hurt you. Huh? Oh gosh. I hear footsteps. What should I do now? It's him! They're coming for me. They want another round. All right, bring it on. Coming back for more, eh? Quitters. Huh? Graf? Oh no. Don't move. You're surrounded by mines. Uh, you did this. Did what? Don't. W what should I do? Please. Go away! This, this can't be happening. I'm, I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. No. Uh, another dream. Uh, Graf isn't around. I better get up fast. Can't see from here, but I bet the sun has been up for ages. Hello? Detective, you've got a situation. I need you at my office. What? Right now? Immediately! I was afraid you were gonna say that. I will expl- Sorry, what? I said I- uh, I can't hear you. Poor connection. You got a metallic voice. Anyway, I'm coming. Stay right where you are. Darn! I forgot! I promised Graf I'd fix the situation with his diploma. What if I don't make it to the police station in time? Wes might put me back in a cell. Or worse, what should I do? Yeah, I'll always find a way out. But I can't afford to disappoint Graf again. Let's go! I was afraid it was gonna say that. Fingers crossed. Just one letter. A bill. Of course. Hmm. That's the rent. Why does it always seem to come earlier each month? Gotta find 500 units fast. My boy! Watch out! What? Out of my way! You? You're the one who's got a scram! Didn't you learn your lesson? Didn't come here for ya. That guy owes us money. You won't lay a finger on him. Count your teeth, Croc. 
you're gonna lose a lot. Try me. Guys? Not again. What's up with that guy? Why can't we crush him? Don't care. I won't have him get my skin. You okay? My boy, you're amazing. You would do well in the military. Me? A soldier? <laughs> uh, I can't follow someone else's orders. I can barely follow my own. <laughs> I know you can. Just a feeling, but you seem to know a lot about me. You sure we've never met? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe in another life. Hey, how are you today? I've spent a horror... Well, I'm still alive, thanks to you. Glad to hear. I still need to find a doctor. But they all live in the drums, and I don't know any I can trust. Hopefully I'll meet one today. I've gotta go, but I'll be back soon. Be careful, boy. Hmm. Ah, uh, where are all the students? In trial. Trial? Where's the director? I am. Wait, what? Mr. Brock, isn't it? Tutor of Graf. Yeah? We met a few years back, when you sought to have Graf join this program. You pleaded his cause. I'm surprised you don't remember. Sorry. My memory keeps failing these days. <laughs> How lucky. Huh? Anyway, Graf is quite the exemplary student. Which explains why we never had to meet during all these years. Until now. Yeah, that's what I'd like to talk about. Please, I can see you're stressed out. Feel free to ask me any questions. So, the science fair contest became a final exam? Correct. Last minute events forced us to move the exams period ahead of schedule. You worked hard on this project. I heard him at night, whispering, hammering, trying many ideas. In the end, he got nada. Just because I wasn't there on time. This isn't fair. I'm the only one to blame. Unfortunately, this is the rule. The responsibility between parents and children is shared. Statistics indicate badly raised parents will not instill enough good values to the next generation. Being punctual for such events is an important criterion. But your stats do not cover extreme urgency situations. Such as? Uh. Does locked up in a cell count? A cell? Long story. But the important part is, it wasn't my choice. Sometimes there are events out of anyone's control. I just can't live knowing I screwed up my boy's future. Please, forgive him and restore his lost points. I'll do anything you want. Uh, this... Mm. This necklace of yours. Get rid of it. Huh? What do you mean? I guess it 
no longer matters now. Just listen. There's something. Something you can do for me. Yeah, anything. Tell me. Uh, my son. The day he'll get his diploma, I'd like to give him a special present. A present? So, where are Graf and the others? The trial takes place in another location. Okay. Hopefully nothing dangerous? We live in a dangerous world, Mr. Brock. They need to be ready to face any eventuality. That's not very reassuring. Don't worry. You'll be informed if anything happens. Ah. I'd like to hear your opinion about Graf. He's generally a very good student, albeit reserved. He just seems to lack trust in himself. I know. When we get some free time together, I'll work this out with him. Good. I was under the impression he didn't have much interaction with you. Well, you know, I have a busy life. Let me remind you, Mr. Brock, this is your job as a parent. Our establishment shouldn't be a substitute for parental education or forging personalities. As if I asked to be a parent. Sorry for my, uh, most likely embarrassing curiosity, but you're a female robot? Yes. I, uh, had never seen a robot talking and behaving exactly like a human before. You're different. I'm a special model. Are there others like yourself? Well, just one. Much more sophisticated than I am. Actually, you've already met it. Did I? How can a robot like you exist? I mean, why is the government not producing more bots like you, instead of stupid tribots? Very simple. We weren't designed by the government. Our creator left us after making us. The conception plans disappeared along with him. How come no one has studied you then? Uh, sorry, I cannot tell you more. Okay, that's a shame. You would think humanity would benefit from more advanced AIs. Or not. I can't help but feel uneasy. She's so creepy. Why were you designed as a female? I mean, that's not a common thing for a bot, either. You're aware of our civilization's birth ratio issue? With so few females in the world, our creator probably wanted to offset this. But you cannot give birth, can you? <sighs> Not anymore. Anymore? I mean, no, no, of course not. A robot can never give birth to a human. Nature would never allow this. Wait a minute. I remember Graf saying he had occasional trouble with the director's son. But if you're the director, then... Clay is my adopted child. Hmm, makes sense. Totally not. How the heck can a robot raise a child? You mentioned a present? Yes. I wish for a self-modifier chip. Self-modifier? Robots and humans, we're not so different. Humans only use a very small portion of their brain. Not only this, most human genes are actually composed of junk DNA. Traces of evolution left behind. I don't get it. Well, all robots are created with a far broader range of capacities than what they're used for. Despite being a custom model, I was built with the same base. I can only perform the tasks I was designed for, with performance safe for my hardware. You mean... I want to improve my capacities. Is this allowed? Surely there's a reason why robots are limited after conception. You're right. This is why I need you to be secretive about this. I, I want to make this a surprise for my son. Hmm. I won't pretend to understand how she's going to use this present for her son, but if finding this helps Graf, I couldn't care less. All right, you got this. Good. In the meantime, I'll consider yesterday's events having never have happened. If this can reassure you, this chip cannot bypass set permissions. I'm not going to kill all humans on Earth. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, nice. So, any clue where I might find such a thing? Also, why me? As you can guess, this isn't some hardware piece you'll find at every corner store. 
You're a detective. I trust you. Right. Why does everyone see detectives as almighty beings? So, a self-modifier chip. Ain't there many models? How will I know if I have the correct one? Do not worry. I'm compatible with most Tribot peripherals and chips. If necessary, I can build the required adapters myself. Good to know. Wait, in that case, why don't you directly build the chip yourself? Impossible. Humans designed us with a number of unbreakable fail-safes. For example, no AI-capable bot can alter itself or another, nor create an item for this use. As such, only a human can make them. You must have heard about the bot liberation movement. Those hippies fighting for robots' rights? Correct. Only a handful of drummer humans participated in this, until they were disbanded years ago. They've designed chips offering us a variety of settings to tweak, but not exhaustive. The creation of such chips still requires a human hand. I understand. I think a handful of humans making these? Looks like a chase for the grail. But I must succeed. Hurrah! Thank you for your time. I'm at your service. Hey, uh, what's up? I didn't expect you so early. Change of plans. I gotta go. Hey, wait! What am I supposed to? I will assign you a mission later. Man. No wonder that guy's surrounded by bots. He's as cold as them. Well, no point waiting here. I better do my part for Graf in the meantime. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Oh, I hope it'd be more useful. There you go. Nice, an ad coupon. Hey bro, what's up? Well... Sorry, I'm super busy here. Can you come back later? What? But... Oh! But maybe you can help. You see, I'm looking for some materials. But my usual provider is on vacation, so... What an idiot! At a time like this. Well, I... Anyway, you should find everything around here. I could do it myself, but... You know, I'm working on a project of utmost importance. Well, you know, you know... That's an expression... Uh, of course you don't know. At least not yet. Stop. Uh, mm. Can I just get a word in? Oh, um, sure. Need help with something? Actually, yes. Gotta finish this super important project for tomorrow. And it's nowhere near complete. Oh, time flew by way too fast. Relax. It's not as if your life depends on it. Not just mine. Yours too. And maybe even the whole universe. Huh? Uh, just joking. <laughs> anyway, I'm lacking some pieces and materials. Some of them are crucial. I could order them new through the express delivery tube, but... But you're as broke as me. Almost. Besides, we're surrounded by junkyards full of hidden treasures. So, what do you need? Here, I've transferred the list to... <laughs> that antique device of yours you call a mobile. Okay. Can't promise to look into this right now, but who knows? Might stumble upon some of these along the way. Hope you pay good money. What? You want to get paid? Of course I do. I'm doing all of this for you, Buster. You want to be more grateful. Huh? Oh, um, okay. I'll pay you on a case-by-case -case basis. And by the way, take this. Is that a super-duper high-tech remote controller? Nope. Just a high-tech radar. I programmed it to locate the pieces I need. Just hold it and open your ears. 
The noisier it gets, the closer you are. Awesome. Keep in mind, I need the pieces before this evening. Now scoot. My time is precious. Hey. Oh wait, before I forget, let me reset Bolt. Just a sec. Is he okay? Positively. Whoa. I'd be delighted to help you, Master. Nice to see you doing well. So, will you help me collect those materials? No, I'll help collect ads. Huh? Just ask me. Hey, there's something you've been looking for. Right there. You're sure? That's what your thingy says, anyway. Does this look like a crystal controller to you? How silly. I forgot to check if I got one in the garage. Well, I'm still gonna be paid for it, right? Um... I hate it when I don't get a reply. Hey, I got some of the thingies you requested. What do you mean, some? I need all of them. I'm doing the best I can. It's been a crazy day. Whatever. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I can work with these. Not bad. Got a minute? Nope, but go ahead. I need a self-modifier chip. Any dice? Huh? <gasps> no way. You? I, I could never tell. Huh? What's your secret? Oh, I know. You've been made up of data gathered from the Triweb, huh? You don't look so good, though. Here, have this charging cable. Hey, I'm no machine. You're sure? You're the real deal? Aw, what a disappointment. I could have you at my disposal at all times. So? So, what? My self-modifier chip? Oh, that. It's a very specific kind of device. I couldn't make one, but I know a guy. The Gloom. He might help. Gloom? So, who's this guy who can help with the chip? The Gloom? He's into many illegal activities. Hacking and unauthorized electronics are his domain. I had to resort to using him a few times. And here I thought you were irreproachable. I am. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Not blaming you. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. How can I locate him? No idea. Hackers don't particularly want to be found. Not by the authorities, anyway. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Oh, gosh. I told you I didn't have the time. Oh. oh, but I just can't refuse you when you make that face. I'll locate him for you. Through my previous contacts, I can trace his signature on the Triweb. Awesome. You're a lifesaver. Ain't that the truth? When it comes to life-saving, pretty sure you'll return the favor soon. Hope not. That means you'd be in danger. Um, hmm. Actually, it was easier than I thought. Here's his current location. Thanks. You're the best. Somehow I doubt this statement is true, but I'll take it anyway. Just be careful, okay? He's always hiding in the worst possible places. Did you forget who you're talking to? That's what I'm afraid of. Believe me, this is a bad idea. I've been through a lot of situations. I'll be fine. Maybe not this time. Ah, oh, come on. I'm serious. I still need you alive in the immediate future and in the, the present. Hmm. Are you okay? You're saying a lot of weird things. Even more than usual. I must be tired. Still got a lot to finish up. No, if there's anything, you know you can tell. Please don't insist. I gave you the info you needed, didn't I? Fine. Gotta go. Okay, don't forget to train regularly. Aha! Oh, the 
Wow. The hacker should be around here. I better find him quickly before he gets sick. Going somewhere, crack? Go away. I don't want any trouble. Ha! Ah. Then you shouldn't have caused us trouble in the first place. What? Don't play the fool with us. You show no respect to the boss. You attacked the boss. And humiliated him. Yeah, I remember. He asked for it. No one attacks the boss and gets away with it. Get out of my way before I... Before you what? You can't escape us. You're gonna get the beating you deserve. Oh yeah? I beg to differ. Come and get me. You're dead meat! You're not gonna get out of here alive. That's what we're gonna. Oh, no way! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> got ya! Now who got humiliated, huh? It's humiliated, you dumb. Yeah, well, he's all stiff and cold. Let's bring that caucus to the boss. We'll get a reward. Yeah! That smell, and that familiar sensation of, like I lost a fight? Left to die? Ah, uh, better move on quick. Got a bad feeling about this place. Oop. Yeah, I could have a use for that string. Ripped in half. Oh well, that should be enough. Oh, I didn't have that one. I'll take these wings. Who knows? They might come in handy. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice. An ad coupon. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. <clears throat> nice. 
Nice. An ad coupon. Ah, for some reason I knew there'd be cables underneath those pipes. RJ? You! Because of you! All your fault! You mean... Ah, I get it. Wes did mention firing you earlier. Yeah. Then... Uh, how come you've still got your police attire? The boss Wes wanted me to keep him. Is that so? Who are you working for, then? Not your business. Oh, come on. It's obvious you're guarding this entrance. Get lost! Uh, he won't tell, but... Two to one, the man I'm looking for is inside. Let's say... I'm not me. You... not you? Yeah, I'm someone else. Oh! Can I enter then? No, you're a croc. No croc allowed. But I said I'm not me. Stop confusing me. Listen, I'm truly sorry you lost your job. I never meant for this to happen. Holy baloney. Just needed to get out of that cell, by any means possible. You see, I have a son. Don't care. I made a promise to him. I just couldn't break it. Liar. No use. Gotta try something else. Look, over there! A flying pink elephant! Oh? Can enter. Uh... Hey, where is that elephant? He, uh, must have flown away. Oh. What was that? Yeah? Well, you got what you deserved, you fat meanie. What? Oh, did I say meanie? I meant menial. Mm. You're so ugly. I bet your mother suffocated when she gave birth to you. Mm. Guarding is the perfect job for you. With so much fat, no one could move you out of the way. Oh man, I'll buy you a toothbrush. With such terrible breath, you obviously can't afford one. I give up. Good. Uh, no reaction? Oops. Uh, nice job, soldier. You didn't move an inch. Mm. I guess he was never in the military. I'm an elephant. Oh? Okay. Come. <laughs> Wait! You're a croc! Not an elephant! Liar! Uh, but... Out! Ah, uh -huh. it almost worked. Relax. You shouldn't worry. After all, you found a new job, haven't you? Yeah, many people can have a use for a big guy like yourself. A use? Use me? Ah, uh, uh, I didn't mean it like that. Sorry. We're still friends, right? Friends? <laughs> uh, it's raining splutter. So... Two bananas walk into a bar, and... Shut up! But it's a good joke! Enough!
Croc! Broke your neck, you fool! Oh, no! I am a killer? You... You ruined my life! Even more! I hate you! Okay, so I can't enter. At least let me take a peek. I don't have one. <sighs> so, two bananas walk into a bar, and... Shut up! But it's a good joke. Enough! He's okay. Just stunned. I hate doing this, but... You forced me, buddy. Glad I made it out alive, though he packs quite the punch. What the... Who the heck are you? The Gloom, isn't it? I need your help. You shouldn't be here. How did you get past the guard? Well, he's, uh... Incapacitated. Oh, uh, please, don't hurt me. Ah, uh, don't be silly. I said I need your help. Um, oh, okay. So, what do you want? Well... Come on, you're wasting my time. Oh, what a change of attitude. 
I'm looking for a very special item. <sighs> all right, all right. But first, put your hand here. Why? Just do it. Okay. Now, let's see. Ah, my database search returned some results. Uh, what? What's wrong? You're a... a cop? <laughs> well, not exactly. Nope. Oh gosh, just by luck, an exterminator agent. Come on, I'm not gonna harm you. Your file says otherwise. Believe me, if I wanted you dead, you'd already be. Wait, that's not what- Oh no, uh, please don't put me in jail. It'd be a waste of my great intellect. That's not what you think. I'm no cop. Uh. The police are understaffed. I'm a detective. They just needed my help. Hm. Cops are detectives. I hate both of your kinds anyway. Always messing with the lives of people trying to make an honest living with the black market. Let's forget about all this and focus on my request. What makes you think I'll help you? Isn't it clear by now? You're alone. Your security system failed. And I'm, uh, let's say, stronger than you. Good point. All right, what do you need? A self-modifier chip. No questions asked. Fine. I can get you one. But these don't come cheap. It'll be 100,000 unis. One hundred thousands? You gotta be kidding. Hey, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Do you even have any idea what trouble I'm getting into in order to get one of these? This means you already have one here? Eh, me and my big mouth. Give it to me. No way! Give it, or else I might have to... Ah. Okay, okay, then 10,000 unis. It can't be any lower than that, that's how much I paid for it. No, I can't afford that much. Surely I can offer you something else. Hmm, wait a second. That pendant you're carrying! What about it? To most people, this is an ordinary trinket, but I have a good eye for these things. I've seen that material before. It's made of heptamide. Heptamide? A very powerful alloy. An ounce of it can light up a whole city for a year. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious. Give me that. No way. I'm not giving it to you. It has high sentimental value. Sentimental? <laughs> no is no. Find something else. Hmm. Then? I know. You're a cop. I said it. I'm not, really. Doesn't matter. You must have access to it. To what? The mainframe. There's a reason why I have those killing machines. Sure. You do illegal stuff. That's not it. The cops, they have a file on me. It contains my signature and other personal info. Due to this, all drones, cameras, and tribots automatically detect and report me. This makes my life impossible. I can hack into the system, but even a genius like me <laughs> can only get read-only access. If someone would remove that file... You could escape? I'll be free. No more bots following me at every corner. Ah, sounds good. But how am I supposed to do that? You're a cop. Getting access to the mainframe should be easy for you. Uh, not so sure about that. Get that file erased, and that chip is yours. Hmm. 
Won't there be a password or something? Yep. Face recognition. Find the computer owner's face and use this awesome app of mine. Face Builder Hacks. Easy as pie. Let me transfer it to your phone. <clears throat> yeah. The heck? That phone of yours. What kind of ancient technology is this? The firmware and OS have been outdated for decades. Who cares? It works. Seriously? Okay, take this phone. This has the app installed. It'll generate a holographic mask you can use to enter the system. For this, you'll need both a front-facing picture and a three-quarter view of someone who has access to the system. Front-facing and three-quarter view pictures. Check. Now, scoot. Don't you dare flee when I'm away. Remember, I'm a detective. I've found you once. I can do it again. And that day... No. Yeah, okay, uh, not moving. <laughs> Staying right here, stuck on his chair. You better. Oh, I didn't have that one. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Coupon. Hello. Please stand on the appropriate floor panel for assistance. Floor? Panel? Yes, please do, visitor. I don't have time for this nonsense. Wes said I should meet him this morning. Checking. Affirmative. He had been awaiting you before leaving for an urgent mission. He required you to stay here and wait for his return. We always follow the Chief's orders to a T. But he made me a temporary cop. Checking. This information is true. However, you do not have the required permissions to access the Chief's office. Bummer. Where is he? This information is confidential. When does he come back? This information is confidential. Obviously. Well, I can't just sit around indefinitely. Hmm. Meeting Wes yesterday. This sure brought back memories. He was the inspector in charge of investigating Leah's death. All this time, I've been convinced he's been hiding things. This may be my only chance. I need to find a way to enter his office. My office. We will welcome you 25 hours a day, every day. Stay here to order a drink. Was that... Wes's voice? Affirmative. Our chief has a lot of respect for our visitors. He insisted that he record these informational messages himself. That's, uh... unexpected. I wonder... What's your job at night? Guarding the place. Cleaning the rooms. Preparing the planning. Validating rules, ordering materials, killing the prisoners. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. Wait, what did you just say about the prisoners? Dealing with the prisoners. Look after them. Right. We do not like you, but are required to ask anyway. Would you like a drink? Take. Whoa, it's flowing all right. A real waterfall. Gotta be careful not to spill it on my beautiful coat. Beautiful? If we could laugh, we would be rolling on the floor right now. Hey, you're a bot. And blind. You're not supposed to have taste, but I should. Exactly. And... Mr. Pork? Please. Enter. May I visit the inside of Wes's office? We're sorry. Visitors are not allowed in this area. I thought so. 
Then, may I visit Sin? He's in jail. Are you a relative? Uh, a friend. Request rejected. Hmm. <clears throat> Mr. Pork, please enter my office. Check in. The Chief's order is confirmed. The office is unlocked for you. That means I can enter? Affirmative. Great! Advanced AI's my foot. Open all the time. When all the personnel are bots, that's not hard to achieve. We do not understand your query. Please reformulate. This wasn't a query. Just a rant. We do not like you, but are required to ask anyway. Would you like a drink? Um, hello? Oh, Mr. Brock. What are you doing here? Do we know each other? You bet. I'm Grav's friend. Oh, yes, you're, uh, um, hmm. Aunt. Sorry, my memory's faulty. That's one common point you share with Graf. Forgetting things is his specialty. Does he? Yeah. One day, he even forgot our teacher's name. You're his da- Um, tutor, right? Uh, yeah. Any idea where the chief of police might be? Uncle Wes, he's out right now. Uncle? I heard him referring to an issue with tox-out pills. This will probably take a while. All right. I'm sorry to ask, but are you... A hybrid? Yeah. Every child inherits a race from either the father or the mother. Except me. I inherited genes from both of my parents. I've heard this happens once in every thousand births. Maybe even less. Might be a mistake of nature. Might be the pollution. All I know is... You're special. You bet. No matter how kind people try to be, they always look at me differently. This used to make me mad, but I got used to it. Yeah, I know the feeling. What do you mean? Long story. Hmm. If you don't mind, I've got a question too. What are you exactly? Croc or Gator? Wish I knew. You don't? Yeah. Trying to solve mysteries and yet unable to find the truth about myself. Poor excuse for a detective, huh? Don't say that. You're just too busy helping others. Someday you'll find out. I'm sure of it. Thanks. I was supposed to be comforting him, but he ended up comforting me. Boy, I almost wish he was my son. Oh, what's wrong with me? I, I shouldn't think that. Graf is a good boy, too. He's just... more difficult, too. You okay? Yeah. I have another question. Shouldn't you be at school? The Konsk? Nah, I'm on internship today. Ah. <sighs> hmm? Anything wrong? You look like... Nothing, I'm fine. Uncle Wes said I should stay here until he comes back. It's my first day. I have to make a good impression. I've seen that face before. He needs to pee. So, uh, Wes is your uncle? Yeah. It's so cool of him to accept me for this internship. Do you know him well? It's funny you'd ask this. To be perfectly honest, not that much. He's always super busy. I guess this comes with a job. He comes to family reunions, but... He always ends up leaving for an emergency before even touching his plate. By the way, what business do you have with him? Your uncle uh, kind of forced me to join the police temporarily. Seriously? Well, it's not such a surprise. You're an expert. Graf told me about you. Is that so? Yeah. Actually, he'd love to know what you're doing during the day. But he's certain it's awesome. He thinks detectives are super cool. And so do I. Is he talking about the same graph? Listen, I need to use your uncle's computer. What? Why? It's a bit of a long story, but this will help Graf. You know, about what happened yesterday. You mean Graf losing the contest because you arrived late? 
Yeah. You shouldn't feel so bad about it. I'm sure you did your best. Besides, Graf can still take his exam. He's very clever. Still, I gotta fix my mistake. And for this, I need to access that computer. I don't really see the connection, but if you say this will help... Definitely. Although, I promised my uncle I wouldn't move from here to look over his office. And that's only my first day. I know Graf's future is at stake, but mine too. I can't take that risk. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. I'll find another way. Sure. But do I really have a choice? Say, uh, may I borrow your computer? I'd like to connect to the police main server. Sorry, Uncle West did not give me access. Besides, I doubt he would trust you with this. I've heard you're, um, clumsy. What a reputation your uncle is giving me. Actually, I heard this from Graf. Oh. What about the tox out pills? I'm not sure, but apparently there's a shortage going on. A shortage? I took mine this morning, so I'm good. At least for today. Don't worry. I messaged Graf this morning. He has one, too. Good to know. What about you? Well, I'm just sort of immune to it. What? Immune? To the pollution? Seriously? Yeah. No idea how. One day I just realized the haze didn't affect me, so I stopped taking them. I had never heard of anything like that. Even drummers aren't totally safe with the dome. Don't tell anyone, okay? The last thing I want is to be transformed into a laboratory croc. My lips are sealed. See ya. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you should, um, you know, let it go? You noticed? Can't. I, I said... I won't touch anything. Cross my heart and hope to die. Huh. No, I... I always keep my promises. I can hold. No big deal. Ah, I pity him. Seems like you're stuck here, huh? I'll get you a drink. I'm not particularly thirsty. Nonsense. No need to be polite. I'd never let a youngster die of thirst. Oh, okay. There you go. Some water. Thanks. The water keeps flowing. Yeah. Cool, huh? Ugh. Oh, I didn't have that one. There you go. What's that box thingy? You don't know. A try home. It's a virtual assistant. You can ask anything. Uncle Wes lent it to me while he's busy. Sounds cool. Can I try it? Sure. Hello. You're a new user. What's your name? Who cares? Now registered as Who Cares. Whoops. Welcome. As a free customer level guest, your permissions are restricted to changing the room environment. Currently installed environments, space, waterfall, mountain. Which environment would you like? Whoa, how luxurious. Would you like to install new environments? Special offer, get new environments for 500 UNIS each, limited to the first 10,000 customers. Get it before it's gone. You may also get the season pass for just 1,500 UNIS. This is the best way to ensure you'll get the new environments as soon as they're released. Uh, no thank you. And stop your blabbering, peddler box. Mr. Brock? What are you doing with this chair? Trying to get it loose. Okay. There you go. Fits perfectly. Well, 
more or less. Hmm. Odd is making a weird face at me, but I think he's too busy restraining himself to feel concerned. I can't. Good. Now I better act fast. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Glad to see even someone as stiff as Wes can make such a mess. Could there be something interesting in there? Ah, various electronic equipments. Uh, got no idea what most of these are. I'm not a technical junkie. Ha! Here's something I recognize. A printer. I hadn't seen one in years. Back at school. When it was still called school. I'd feel old. Anyway, I got it out. It's off. No juice. Obviously. Wires from various equipment are all tangled up. <sighs> Here's the wire. Now I need to hook it up. What happened? There are some stains all over that socket. Even on the wall. Looks like it burnt. A power overload? <laughs> it's recent. Did someone put his finger in it by any chance? Nah. No one would be stupid enough to do that. Hmm. Seems to be the only socket around. Hopefully it still works. Yeah! Ready to give birth to paper babies! Okay, time for my favorite activity that I despise the most. Using a computer. Ooh. Nice! An ad coupon. idea. Hmm. There. But it's not enough. Where am I gonna find a front view of the old man? Documents? They still use paper? Uh, a bunch of legal stuff. Staff contracts. Whoa! They're all dated from years ago! I guess Wes doesn't tidy up very often. Hmm. Huh? Some... drawings? They're weird. And... crossed. I can't even make out what they're supposed to be. It's like someone tried to draw a suspect but couldn't. No matter what. That must be all. Oh? Something stuck beneath all this paper. Got it. Ah. <sighs> There's a note attached to it. Hey boss, I've noticed you stopped sketching for suspect search recently. Why? It's such a shame. You're the best artist among us. Regardless, here's something I came up with. It's all based on pictures of ourselves. I figured this could help you until you get your skills back. Hmm. Looks fun. Oh, it's still got some energy left. Nice. I heard something. Hey, it's totally a picture of Wes! Let's get a picture of that. Picture! Oh. 2D picture analyzed, 3D model generated. The device is now displaying a holographic image of Wes. Nice! Yes! It worked! Hmm... Not much on this computer. I'm curious. What's in the trash bin? Two folders here. D. Silver and R. Filch. Darn. They're corrupted. I can't access the documents. Filch. Why does this have a familiar ring to it? Let's try this other icon. Lots of names here. Maybe some list of criminals? Yep. Found it. The Gloom. How do I select it? Oh yeah. 
Graf showed me once. Uh, there. And delete. Hmm. Is this enough, I wonder? The hacker phone. It's ringing. Uh, hello? Anyone around? No, but... This is a secure line. Good job. Wait, how do you know? What do you think? I set up a watch notification in case of any changes on my file. Whatever. Will you respect your end of the contract? Yeah, the chip is yours. Though I don't feel safe with you carrying it all around. Tell me who, and I'll send it via a secure way. The slum school director. Got it. Oh, and this phone is going to self-destruct, like, right now. Whoa! So much for recycling. What a waste. Better get out of here before... Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, uh... You said you needed me, right? Don't worry, Uncle Wes. I watched the place, just like you asked. Huh. And that explains why you were outside. Sorry. I had to go to the toilet. But only for a minute. I just came back. Besides, you know, Mr. Brock is a good person. Is he now? Enough with the suspicions, Wes. I came here to help. Whatever. There are more urgent matters right now. We have a situation. An important scientist has disappeared over Engineer Lab 21. Unfortunately, I have other business to attend to, so I'm sending you. Along with my nephew... What? I'm going on a case. In the drums. Yes. I gave you special permission to access the dome today. I need someone trustworthy to watch over that detective. I'm right here, you know. An air car is ready to take you there. Awesome! I can't wait to learn from you, Mr. Brock. Don't get your hopes up, nephew. All I ask is that he doesn't screw up like he always does. I'll prove you can trust me, you old weasel. Come on, Hot. Let's go. Uh, can't believe they actually drugged us. This must be a test room. Am I trapped here? I should take a look around. What's a weight doing here? It's not so heavy. I should take it. A weight. A collectible ad. Great. Another one. Isn't there something embedded in that wall? Ugh, I can't get it out. Ah, my hands! Hey, the weight fell. Who would have thought this would actually work? If using your brain doesn't work, use your fists. Thanks, Brock. What's this? A key lock? No way! My key works? I guess those trials are custom made. Nothing's happening. Wrong weights? Huh? 
How many of these are there? Awesome! I found another one! needed to use my own weight. And here's what was below. Hmm. One more to the collection. I'm afraid I'm pretty bad at comparing the weights of... Well, weights. Weird shape. Rusty golden token. Some kind of reward?
I won? Another triangle token. Looks precious. It might help to get out of here. The number 17 is written at the base. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to tell how much each weight is. It's obvious. I'm supposed to place some weights here. <laughs> Weird. A bunch of impacts on this wall. There's some idea, but how exactly should I use it? Hmm. There's some idea, but how exactly should I use it? Let's put something here. I guess this is the last one. A static hologram. Is this significant?
I was hoping something would happen. What did I do wrong? Hmm. Judging from that symbol, and considering it's close to what appears to be an exit, this button must be for quitting. No, I can do it! It fits, but I don't know. Finally! There you are! Took you long enough! It's here! The building right in front of us! Watch out, Mr. Rock! Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Where are you going, Mr. Brock? That elevator thing. I didn't have that one. Lasers. Hmm. Maybe we sh- Huh? Someone heard us. Let's enter. Who are you? We're here to investigate. No kidding, man. The chief of police said he'd send his best investigators. I didn't expect to see a darn croc and an ugly boy. <laughs> Watch your tongue. We're here to help. Uncle Wes sent us. You can call him to check. No point. I know the old weasel. I shouldn't be surprised. No time to waste. Fill us in on the situation. Yeah, I should have guessed it wouldn't take time for that either. One of the two engineers living here has disappeared. Living? Aren't they supposed to work here? Same. They never leave the place. What makes you think the situation is serious? I do regular room checks. During my last one, I just couldn't find Dr. Hush. Couldn't he just be hiding somewhere? Man, don't take me for an amateur. I I've looked all over the place. Besides, the guy's medical device has stopped indicating any vitals for hours. <laughs> Maybe he arranged his escape and left while he didn't look. Impossible. As you've seen, lasers block the entrance constantly. Even the engineers aren't allowed to leave without permission, which is by request to us agents. Well, Dr. Hush didn't make any such request. That place sounds like prison. Nah, I know those intellectual types. They don't mind dedicating their whole life to working on their crazy projects. She is a good example of that. I'm pretty sure they asked for it. The croc is correct. They said to me once that studies have proven this way of living enhances creativity. To me, that's just an excuse to do whatever they want, but the heck do I know? Barriers are for their own protection from outside threats. Yeah, totally not paranoid. You should know. That fits the description of most drummers. Can't blame them with all those drones roaming outside. But they created this situation themselves. Are you the only guard in this place? I prefer the term security agent. Whatever. Answer the question. Fortunately not. I couldn't stand being here all day. But there's only one of us at a time. The scientist was there when I arrived this morning. He disappeared during my shift. Has this situation happened before? I don't think so. I mean, those scientists may be crazy over the edge. They're locked up in here, so that limits the possibilities. Anything you can tell me on that missing engineer, Dr. Hush? Just your average scientist in his 40s. Pretty sure his only family and friends are his bot prototypes. Bots? He's making them? Not exactly. He specialized in AI programming. He occupies the room on the left. When was the last time he was seen? I arrived this morning at 3 a.m. When I take my shift, I always check on him. He was there, 
So, you saw him? Are you certain? Yeah, in the flesh. Did he exit his room after that? Yeah, I saw him go to the restroom. His medical tracking stopped at around 5 a.m. That thing isn't very precise, so uh, it could have been one or two hours before or after. What? With all the advanced technology available, you'd think this would be accurate. It's called living privacy. Even if you're dead? I won't pretend to know your job, Croc Detective, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. You better darn well be alive. I can't afford losing my job. About Dr. Hush, what else can you tell me? Don't know. You'd better take a look at this room. That should tell you more about the character. Got it. You mentioned two engineers, didn't you? Yeah, Dr. Mink is the other one. He's working on nanobots. Kind of the I-know-it-all type. How do they get along? They don't. They're like cats and dogs, always bickering over stupid things. Yet, they've never asked to be moved to another lab. I guess it's just a game of rivalry. Uh, let's hope so. Anyone else here? Nope. All visitors are required special permissions, and that includes drone deliveries. No one entered or exited the building, until your arrival. Why would you need deliveries if you've got a pipe mail in the hall? Some packages still can't pass through there, you know. Could somebody use it to escape? No way! You'd have to be cut into pieces. And that would surely leave some traces around. Ooh, right. Are you certain there's no escape route? Yeah, the windows are fake. The labs are not connected in any way. They made sure of this when building the place. The only access is the main entrance you came from. Never has been any other way. Never say never. Take a gamble? I'd bet a hundred unis on this. <sighs> I usually wouldn't say no, but can't afford to take that risk right now. Shame. I've been meaning to ask, what's a squealer doing here in the drums? None of your business. Just mentioning. I thought your clan had been banished from the whole country. What clan? I'm forbidden from regular jobs just because some others screwed up years ago? Well, I, uh... Shut up. You know nothing. I hate people like you. All focused on looks. Empty brains. Ooh, seems like a touchy subject. Better not insist. Is he hiding something from me, though? I'll have to find out. I'll take a look around. Not too soon. You better solve this fast. I was supposed to finish my shift one hour ago. I won't get paid for this overtime. Hey, that's a collectible ad. <clears throat> nice, an ad coupon. Nice flowers. These make me feel nostalgic for some reason. Uh, whose room is this? Dr. Hush's. The guy who disappeared? Let's have a look. Oh, I didn't have that one. Some information is displayed. Tidy. 90% charged. Do not disturb until charge is complete. It's apparently been charging since 5.10 in the morning? That's Dr. Hush's? Seems locked. Some kind of grease spot. Tastes like coffee. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Energizing biscuits. Dr. Hush must have been eating them before disappearing. There are crumbs all over the table, even on the floor. You'd think scientists would be less clumsy. I know this model. It was pretty popular 20 years ago. 
looks ugly. What could have made them so popular? Beats me. Oh, so this adds some kind of ramp? Huh. This bot is the one displayed on the screen? I'll try turning it. Warning! Do not disturb until charge is complete. Oops. You should listen, Mr. Brock. Otherwise, we might damage it. An animated painting. What's in there? Nothing in particular. Nice! An ad coupon! Parts for experiments, maybe? Looks rough. You'd think such valuable personnel would get decent quality mattresses. It won't open. I hear music. A loud beat. Pretty catchy. Go away. I'm busy. Huh. Open. Now. Hey! Who the heck are you? Such a nice way to introduce yourself. Mind if I enter? Uh, of course I mind. I'm in the middle of something important. Like dancing? I'm here to... Get out! <laughs> Stop it! I'm... You're gonna break the door! <laughs> hey, why didn't you open up? I... I... Answer the question. I, I was... busy. Huh? What the... Guard! Hey! What's going on? <gasps> Dr. Hush? Oh, this is impossible. Oh my gosh. Is he? Hmm. Well, case solved. But that doesn't make any sense. So much for looking all over the place, huh? I swear, he wasn't there. It's true. What the heck is going on here? I'll tell you what. Dr. Hush is dead as a doornail. That can't be. A murder in the drums? Now I get it. Mink, you wouldn't let me in when I checked this morning. Seems like you had a very good reason for that. Are you accusing me? You're out of your mind. There's a corpse in your room, man. What do you have to say about that? Now, now, relax. This murder case is in my hands. Let's not jump to conclusions. Guard, block all exits. Already done, Big Snout. Then block all communications from outside. Nobody enters or exits this building. And no data either. On my way. And you, stay here. Don't move an inch. Oh, you can't be serious. I've got a ton of work ahead. I'm late on schedule. Hmm. Oh, of course a simple mind like you wouldn't understand it. Your colleague is dead. At this stage, all I can say is that you're a suspect. But even if you're innocent, what do you think might happen if I don't find the culprit? Who's to say you're not the next one on the list? Ooh. Mm, rats. Even dead, that guy keeps aggravating me. You're the only one who can explain the tech-savvy stuff, so... I'll save you time. I'll follow you around so you can keep an eye on me. Good. I'm impressed, Mr. Brock. Even with all that, you keep your cool. Uh, yeah? Did you already solve a murder case before? 
Not that I can remember. Um, but I watched some noir livies when I was young. Seemed like the appropriate things to say. Oh. Well, you're still pretty cool. Thanks. Uh, why is this happening to me? Can't I have a normal day for once? That power socket. It's burnt down. Oh, that's right. I tried hooking up an ancient bot the other day to help me with handling materials. Bad idea. It fried as soon as I hooked it up. What bot? Does it matter? I threw it away a week ago, so it's irrelevant to what's happening. All the other bots in this facility are modern. You mean only old bots can cause this? Yeah. Manufactured pre-autarchism day, I'd say. Interesting. Flowers hanging from the ceiling are leaking into this sink. The juice from Hengalus Wallace boosts focus and memory. Oh, and it's so refreshing. I just can't do without it. Want some? Definitely. Help yourself. Hmm. Feels like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's eating cakes with all the flavors in the world. Right? Hmm. What? Wait! Don't do this! Too late. You have any idea what you've just done? This was my ration for today. Now I'll be all out of juice. I... I'll have to lick the whole surface of the sink this evening. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's an addict. Hey, there's an ad stuck in the drain. Is that blood? It looks stretched. A ray of light? Yep, ten feet of enjoyment. Ever heard of ray therapy? The hot temperature reduces stress and prevents aging. Could this be used to hurt someone? At maximum power, it could burn your skin. Not killing someone, though. Maybe if you were to spend years underneath it. Oh, don't tell me. These are... Ah... Uh, things. Nanites. Also called nanobots. Yeah, close enough. What are these for? Are you serious? We've been using them for ages. Now that you mention it, I think Leah used them in conjunction with medicine. Yes, their main usage is health. Inject them, and they can repair your body from the inside. Neato! Well, there's a recurring rumor in our nanobot community. A scientist would have succeeded to take direct control of a host through the use of nanites. Sounds scary. Indeed. But let me reassure you, this never happened. If someone had truly made such a discovery, He'd be the most famous scientist in the world! So you didn't? I wish. Oh, I didn't have that one! Watch out! Huh? I'm working with acidic solutions. You better not put a finger in it. May I put a leg in? No! this. Why? Does it bite? Don't play stupid. Can't you see that's my work tablet? It contains confidential information. So? Do you have any idea what could happen if it fell in the wrong hands? No, but I'm the detective here, so I'm not giving you a choice. Okay. Go ahead. Put your greasy hands on it. Uh, I can't do anything. Is it locked? Yes, obviously. There's security. Well then, unlock it. No. What? Listen, buddy. I'm in no mood for jokes. So do your part, or this little friend of yours may accidentally end up stuck in your face. <laughs> if you insist. Hm. There. So? On second thought, uh, I can't understand any of it. Let me see. Hmm. 
At first glance, I don't see anything suspicious. This is some research data on power efficiency of nanites. Okay. In any case, I don't see any blood on this tablet. Unless it's been wiped off. I doubt this is a crime weapon. No! You think? Can't exclude any possibility. Hey, that's a collectible ad! Blood? That would make sense if it bumped into his head. What's this? Some kind of apparatus? Ah, oh, I see it now. That's one of those old-fashioned lamps, right next to the body. Looks like he's been hit right there. With enough strength, could be enough to kill. No breathing. Poor guy. Looks like he was bludgeoned from behind? I should take a closer look at that stain. Blood here? Maybe it got there after the impact. He's not holding anything, but... Uh, there's some black stains on his fingers. Hmm. I can't see anything important. Nice hands, though. Empty pockets. I've rarely seen dead bodies but I would have thought he'd be more stiff. Dr. Mink, I have a few questions to ask you. I was afraid you were going to say that. But first, please swear to tell the truth. Of course, I always do. Liars always end up contradicting themselves and revealing the truth. I do not want to waste time, neither mine nor yours. Very well. You're a doctor, right? Depends. I need that medical prescription cancelled or something like that. You mean updated? Yeah, that. Well, I'm not that kind of doctor. Darn. But you're in luck. I've got just the thing. You do? Great. Give me this. There you go. Already? Thank you. You're a lifesaver. And I mean... Literally. Take this into consideration when solving this case. Uh, that wouldn't be very neutral. But I'm grateful. Thanks. Sure. How long have you been working here? Since I majored in research. About five years ago. We've both been selected to join this high-ranked facility. The kind of opportunity that you can't turn down. So you've known each other for a long time? Yes, although we've never really been close. Does this mean you don't like each other? No, that's irrelevant. We just do our jobs and are entirely dedicated to it. We dedicate our lives so that humanity can progress. No friends? No family or children either? <laughs> Loving a single person. Raising a handful of individuals. We cannot afford to live such a petty life. We will be immortalized for our work forever. It will impact the lives of thousands, possibly even millions. But, but, but. No, but. I made this choice years ago, and I never regretted it for a second. What a sad way to live. So, uh, what kind of scientist are you? I specialize in nanotechnology and biology. Anything that can help humanity to live longer. We've been studying them for decades. However, a groundbreaking discovery was made in... Uh, sorry, Doc. I'd prefer to stick to the matter at hand. <laughs> what can you tell me about Dr. Hush? He's my... Well, he was my colleague. He was dealing with macro-robotic, while I'm dealing with nano. We've been selected to work in the same building, as we're complementary. And how is your relationship lately? I see where you're going. Yes, it was a bit tense. Why? Well, the government started shifting the funding to scientific projects. In particular, they reduced the budget for nanotechnology projects in favor of AI research. So this directly impacted your experiments? Listen, that's true. We've always had some disagreements. 
but even with the budget alterations, I didn't hold a grudge against him. Actually, he's the one who changed. He barely talked to me anymore, and when he did, the situation got tense. Lately, I could swear he was even trying to avoid me. I just figured he was too busy. But now, oh, I could never imagine he would end up like this. Any idea what could have happened? Honestly, not the slightest. I was here all day. He wasn't. I'm sure of it. Well, the corpse is in the middle of your room. You should have seen him enter at some point. No, I, I swear. It's like he magically appeared behind me when you entered the room. Magic, huh? I know how this sounds, but you've got to believe me. Right now, I don't believe in anything other than facts. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. What? Are you crazy? What's that? A vent? Yes. We're stuck in here all the time. The air has to recycle somehow. I heard some sound coming from the room earlier. Must have been output from there. I guess Dr. Mink was listening to music? What's in there? The restroom. I'll have a peek. Nice! An ad coupon! What are you doing? Just checking what could have sunk in there. Smells like coffee. Great. Inside, there's tons of coffee. Powder, more precisely. What did you expect? Dunno. A toothbrush, maybe? Toothbrush? Like a brush to clean our teeth? How silly! Why not a feed brush, then? Their water is so full of chemicals that they lost their need for it. Oh, I didn't have that one. But restroom doesn't have its coffee machine. Knowing them, I bet this produces other drinks too. No, just coffee. Really? We don't need anything else. Designing it for other uses would be a waste of resources. Uh, good point. One for the glory. Hey! You can't steal that! Not stealing. I'm, uh... gathering clues. <sighs> A map of the building? I'll take it. It's hard to believe high-tech facilities still use hard paper maps. Makes sense in the eventuality of a power breakdown, though. A trash grinder. I wonder why the blades are so close to the surface. That paper didn't get totally destroyed. Hey, I recognize it. That's the wrapping for McFlee's flagship ant burger. With extra tomato sauce. My favorites. What do we have inside? Huh? A button? That's all? Of course. What did you expect? Usually our health chip will detect any problem and send whatever we need immediately. This button is only for use in extreme situations, which are technically unthinkable. Like a power outage, a meteorite falling down, or even... Hmm. A fire? Yes, even less probable. Press this, and you'll get a package delivered to the closest pipe to provide health cure basics. If such a situation happened, would you even know how to use that minimal package? Hmm. Probably not, but who cares? It's not like it's going to happen anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing? Try pressing harder. 
Remember, this is for emergencies. Hmm. I heard a sound. You sure? All I could hear was a bomb caused by your fist. Only one way to find out. So, where's the package? An energy drink? You gotta be kidding me. Wait, I thought communication was out. Hey buddy, you pressed the emergency button, didn't you? Emergency calls are never cut off. Oh good, I'm always thirsty. The recipient for the pipe? Huh. As empty as my willingness to examine it. I'm thirsty. This isn't exactly a vending machine, you know. Who cares? As long as I get what I want. An ad? Uh, and here I thought I couldn't be worse than the first time. Dr. Mink, just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others. That thing, it's blinking green. Does this mean... YOLO! No? Huh? You seem surprised and unsafe. Do not worry. I do not fight. I am glad to see a new face. It has happened zero times since I was born. Oh, so you're... Dr. Hush's assistant. Tidy. I tidy things up, left, down, right. Yup, yup. I see. Mind if I ask a few questions? I do not, do not mind. So, Dr. Hush built you? Yup, yup. He's my daddy. We love daddy. Where's my daddy? Um. He's dead. Hey, show some compassion for the little guy. What guy? He's a piece of junk. Daddy dead? Well, seems so. We're trying to understand what... Dead daddy! Daddy dead! Dead 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 daddy! Uh, I thought you'd be... A, a little less joyful? Told you. The thing has no feeling. Oh! Oh no 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 no! It means no see daddy again? Dead daddy? <sighs> Look, uh, I know it's hard. Well, maybe not, because you're not alive, but anyway, I gotta ask, did you hurt your daddy? Hurt daddy? I cannot! Not, not, not! No way! Uh, why are you smiling while saying that? Oh, uh, bug, bug! Changing expression! <laughs> Dead daddy! <laughs> I uh, just can't analyze it. It... Him... Uh, <laughs> I don't know anymore. He's telling the truth. How can you tell? He keeps changing his face. Daddy is good. No. Daddy is best. I couldn't care less about his body language or that spouting nonsense. No robot can harm his creator. Ever. That's the golden rule. Care to elaborate? When did you see your daddy for the last time? Morning, 5.04. What was he doing? Daddy, away. Exit room. Did he say anything when leaving? Yup, yup. Retrieving record. I need to settle things with Dr. Mink. What? This is impossible. Dr. Hush never even came to my office today. Then how do you explain the fact that he's in your room currently? 
I don't know, but that bag of screws is lying. I'm gonna tear him apart until... Calm down, or I shall calm you down myself. <laughs> what were you doing at the time, Tidy? Charge! Power to Tidy! Wait, you said you recorded Dr. Hush while you were charging? That's weird. You were totally shut off when I first found you. Tidy, several phases of sleep, like human. Dr. Mink, is that even possible? Yes, we don't shut off machines immediately to compress the data of the day. The same way, it takes several steps before full awakening. But you still shouldn't listen to that bot. It's trying to confuse you. Did your sensors record anything else? Nothing unusual. Hmm. Surely you've seen all those fantastical lives with robots rebelling against humans. Years ago, when the scientific community started designing bots, they took this into consideration. There's a golden rule. It's implemented in the hardware, encrypted deep within their AI core, and replicated throughout all their parts. No robot can attack their creator. That's true. We've learned this at the Konsk. We do not. Love Daddy, we do. Okay, so they can't harm their creators. But those pieces of junk sure can harm me. I've had to get my way through Tribots more than once. Of course, there are varied levels of permissions. Permission to tidy. Shh, stay here. For standard bots, close family and friends are included in a second layer to that rule. Police and military Tribots are designed for battle and may attack anyone who is considered a threat. This varies according to model. However, the golden rule is always there. Besides, we've never had any accident. <sighs> never say never. Life has taught me. There's always a first to everything. What makes you so certain that Dr. Hush respected the no-killing convention? Simple. An algorithm thoroughly checks. Algo? Rhythm! Dance! YOLO! It's hardly the moment to dance, Tidy. Anyway, if he didn't comply, he wouldn't be able to communicate with the exterior. Okay. Tell me, what can you do, Tidy? Tidy can tidy! Yes, and? Tidy can stretch arms! Like this! Or this! That's pretty cool! I admit it. This must be useful. Hmm. Can you bend them? Ridiculous! Bending robot? No. Vertical. Horizontal. No bend. Daddy cannot. Try. No make. Work. Now. Dead, Daddy. Um, Tidy? You're bending them right now. Oh, uh, yes. My mistake. Cannot bend while extending arms. Oh, so what's the exact use? Moving arms, very efficient. No full body move. I see. Must be more practical to grab things scattered in a room. Anything else? Tidy can carry objects, do repairs, make phone calls. Tidy has sensors to detect humans and objects. Calculate shortest path. Useful to bring the coffee, I guess. Also, Tidy can strip clothes. Uh. Daddy likes getting naked. What did he just say? Please, naked. Uh, no, no, that won't be necessary. Either he's got a screw loose, or Dr. Hush is an exhibitionist. I wonder. Mr. Brock, what are you writing? Well, uh, it's a clue, so... Daddy, all naked. Yup, yup. That should be enough for now. Enough, 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 enough. Got work to do. Wait, I forbid you to touch anything. 
Now, Daddy, not listening. Get lost. Yup, yup. What? You little piece of... Tidy, stay here. You should not mess with anything right now. Okay, Minky. He obeys you? Of course. Can't say I like it, but that thing is useful. I'm in his close acquaintances list. Oh well. As long as he doesn't move. You okay? Well, I didn't expect to investigate a murder on my first day. It's both neat and kind of scary, knowing there's a killer around us. You don't mind me staying close? Of course. Thanks. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. What's your relationship with Tidy? He's the maintenance bot. He just comes and goes doing housework. Did he come today? No. Until your arrival, no one entered my office this morning. Are you certain? Hmm. Actually, the guard did check if everything was okay, like he always does, but he didn't enter. I've noticed the doors close automatically. How does Tidy open them? Just like us, he pushes the buttons. Free to roam around then? Yes. Well, except my room. I deny him access. He must knock at the door first. Then I allow him entry. How come? You know, I don't want a bot bursting into my room in the middle of the night. That would be creepy. Says the creepy scientist. You said Tidy was lying. Is a bot truly capable of lies? Usually, no. But I never programmed it. Keep in mind, Dr. Hush was doing AI experiments. This could also be the result of a bug in the core. Tidy could believe what he says is the truth, based on false information. But you heard the recording. It was Dr. Hush's voice, wasn't it? Hmm, I don't know. Yes, it sounded exactly like him, but... Oh, there must be some explanation. Yeah, I just wish you'd give me one. I'll look around for clues. You better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. Hmm. Art seems to have an idea. Let's see what he's got. What do you think so far? I've solved this! Really? You haven't? Uh, well, I'd like to hear your conclusion first. Okay, let's gather everyone in Dr. Minx's room. So, what's going on? Found the culprit? I'm going to let my colleague here explain. Huh? Me? You said it. You've solved the case, haven't you? Um... He's just a boy. No, it's true. I can explain. All right, so... This is a closed-door murder. As you know, no one could enter or leave this place without being noticed. Which means... Only one of us could have done it. Yes. The body was first seen when we entered this room. It appears Dr. Hush has been struck on the head and died due to the impact. Considering there's blood on the lamp located right next to him, this must be the murder weapon. This lamp belongs to Dr. Mink. This implies the murderer had access to it. I don't like where this is heading. Dr. Hush was last seen alive by his assistant bot Tidy at 512. He never came back to his office. So where did he go? The possibilities are limited. Again, he could not leave the building. The only exit has an impassable power barrier. He couldn't have exited his room and stayed in the hall. It wouldn't make sense, and Mr. Guard would have noticed it. Hmm. Any comment? No. I was watching the whole time. Nothing unusual happened. Let's continue. 
Dr. Hush could have gone to the restroom and been killed there. But that leaves one problem. We didn't find his body there, but in Dr. Minx's room. This means he would have had to be carried to the next room without anyone noticing. If he somehow got carried out of the restroom, Mr. Guard would have noticed it. We've checked the restroom. There's no access between it and Dr. Mink's room. So that leaves only one option. Dr. Hush went straight from his office to Dr. Minx's. Nonsense! He never came here. And yet, here's his body. How do you explain it? I... don't know. I considered other possibilities. Maybe Tidy got involved somehow. After all, he's free to roam between the rooms for his cleaning duty. However, he could not access Dr. Minx's room. He's required to knock, and you need to open it. That didn't happen, right? No. Unless he used Dr. Hush's hand to open the door. Carrying it in the hall seems improbable. The guard was watching. As for you, Doctor, you didn't see or hear them enter. How about you, Ratty? I bet you killed the doctor in the hall and plopped his remains into my room behind my back. Who are you accusing me now? Why'd you think I called the cops if I was the murderer? To disculpate yourself. That's why. You dirty rodent. I'll lose my job because of you. Calm down. I thought about this too. But that idea seems doubtful. Do you seriously think he opened your door with Dr. Hush's body in his hands and then threw it all the way there without you noticing? <sighs> Which leaves only one person who could do it. You, Dr. Mink. Ah, you're out of your mind, boy. I said it. I've never killed anyone. Drop it, Mink. You're done for. Drop? Up, down, left, right. And what would be my motive? Very simple. Mr. Guard mentioned hearing constant arguments between you both. We've been bickering over the past five years. That's no proof. Remember, Tidy's recording. Dr. Hush came to your room to settle things with you. He must have been fed up of hearing you complain about the budget restrictions on your projects. Do you seriously think this is a valid reason to kill someone? You're right. It wouldn't. For ordinary people. But you're entirely focused on your work. This is all your life. You can't afford to lose it. Dr. Hush profited from a higher budget while yours decreased. Tensions moved up a notch. You couldn't take any more. You grabbed the closest thing within reach. Your lamp. And then, bam! Ah! This was most likely an accident. You hadn't prepared for this. So you didn't know what to do with the body. Panicking, you hid it under your bed. This would give you time to think. Under the bed? Only an idiot would do that! Seems like the best hiding spot to me. Guard, what do you think? You check the room regularly, right? Hmm, I did, but the weasel wouldn't let me in. If the body was under the bed, then yes, I wouldn't have seen it from here. You can't prove any of this. Sure we can. Right there. A trace of blood on the floor, exactly between the bed and the body. Why else would that be there? What the... It's true! There was only one way to make him disappear without anyone noticing. The acid canister. To liquefy the body and pour it down the sink. No! I never... These are for my experiments. When we arrived, you would just move the body out of your bed to throw the deadly substance on the poor chap. Remember, Mr. Brock, he wouldn't let us in. Which makes perfect sense now. Mr. Detective, please, don't tell me you agree with this. Hmm. Hmm. So, have you been paying attention? You know, I've been wondering something for a while now. What are you looking at? Your tie, Dr. Mink. There's a red stain underneath it. What? Hey, the croc is right! But wait! This isn't what you think. I... I ate an ant burger this morning. I wiped the stain away. I just forgot to check under here. 
This is tomato sauce. Are you taking us for fools, Mink? Hey, wait. What the heck? <laughs> My tie! You licked it? Mm. At least. You believe me now, don't you? <laughs> Oh my, what are you doing, Mr. Brock? Brocky is gross! Mm, just as I thought. This is no blood. Told you! Not just on your tie. There's no blood on this corpse. What? The heck? Are you serious? Check it for yourself. No, I believe you. But then, my theory... Has faults, I'm afraid. Gigantic ones. Oh. I had a feeling this seemed way too perfect. This case is more complex than we thought. Someone's been trying to cover himself. What a relief. However, this means we took the wrong approach. Don't tell me. We need to re-examine this place from top to bottom. No way! Are you aware I'm not getting paid right now, Croc? Oh, I should be home sleeping! I don't care. This may be one more hour of work for you, but this could mean the death penalty for the one sent to jail. Exactly. And your insistence to leave makes you even more suspect to my eye. Ah, better be gone before I... Tidy. You better go back to your room. And no tidying, okay? Tidy follows orders. Gone. No tidy. Thank you, Mr. Detective. You saved my skin. Don't congratulate me too soon. You may still very well be the culprit, just trying to confuse us to appear innocent. Hmm. I'll just have to put my trust in you, then. When you're done, and you've got a plausible theory that doesn't involve me this time, come and see me. Come on, Nod. We better examine each and every detail thoroughly this time. Yes, sir. Got more questions. Do you believe Dr. Mink has the profile of a murderer? Hmm. Possibly. I could feel the tension between them lately. In any case, I don't know what happened. When not claimed you'd have noticed if Dr. Hush had stayed in the hall, you hesitated. <gasps> you didn't watch the whole thing, did you? No way, man! I'm a professional! But still a human. Don't you have to go to the bathroom sometimes? I don't. Only the most capable are selected for this job. We can't afford to miss anything. Hmm. Can you swear it, then? No one could have went by without you noticing? Yeah. Yeah, I swear it. I, I was there the whole time. Watching. <sighs> he doesn't sound all that confident. Listen. Earlier, you affirmed Dr. Hush exited his office for the restroom. When did this happen, exactly? Hmm... Can't remember. Sometime after I arrived. This is crucial. I need you to be precise. Hey! Do you know what kind of job this is? The same boring thing every day. No surprise, no action, nothing ever happens. Well, usually. Oh, how lucky. Uh... Never mind. Make some effort. What happened the last time Dr. Hush exited his room? When and where did he go? Told ya! Ugh, my brain wouldn't register such trivial things. But there's a way to find out. What's this? The door monitoring. What? You keep a registry of door openings? And you're only telling me now? I thought this wouldn't be important. Not important? How the heck are we supposed to run this investigation without all the information at hand? Hey, lower your tone. I'm the boss here. This is highly confidential data. Only security agents are allowed to access the reading device. But I'll make a special exception. Check it. Stay put. I don't have all day, you know. What am I looking at? This is today's monitoring. That thing records the time each door was opened. 
and some icons to differentiate an entrance or an exit. I see. An arrow on the left for an entrance, on the right for an exit? Yeah. There's also the identity of who opened the room. Everyone's recorded. What about Tidy? The maintenance bot. Yeah, tracked as well. Okay. Okay, let's study this. Dr. Hush's room. If I'm reading this correctly, Dr. Hush was last recorded at 5.04, then disappeared. Wait a sec. Why did you open that door at 5.10? Told ya, I checked the rooms regularly. Right after the doctor went out? Uh, seems so. My memory is confused. Hmm. The restroom. Hmm. A lot more activity than I expected. Uh, Tidy was last recorded entering there at 4.24. Nothing later. Even in the other rooms. Dr. Mink's room? What a surprise. Despite the corpse being in Dr. Mink's room, not much activity was recorded there. Basically, Dr. Mink went out, then came back a little later. The time matches the restrooms. I guess he simply went for a rest? In any case, Dr. Hush never opened the door. Neither did Tidy. That doesn't make much sense, but at least it confirms Dr. Mink's statement. What's this fourth door? The main entrance. Wait, didn't you say no one came or exited the place today? Then how do you explain these records? That was you. At 4.38? Uh, um... Wait, I know! That was me. I took my shift at 4.38. Is that so? Again? I'm gonna solve this myself. That'll be faster. <laughs> You better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one. A mystery can only be solved by gathering truthful information. Don't you agree? Sure. Then why are you lying to me? What are you talking about? Don't play fool with me. Some of your statements are clearly contradictory. Oh yeah? Can you remind me, when do you take your shift? Three o'clock, every day. Interesting. Then how do you explain entering the lab at 4.38? What? I didn't... Check the monitoring. What's written? 4.38? <laughs> Besides, the arrow indicates an exit, not an entrance. You owe me an explanation. Uh, all right. I admit, I did take my shift at 3, and the door was indeed open at 4.38, but I didn't lie. It was me. We're not only agents. We also do secretarial work. By 4.38, I received a call. We're required to pick up and reply to every call we get, but it didn't work. What do you mean? It's a high security building, so uh, external calls don't work well. The line was awful. All full of crackling. I'm stunned that kind of thing happens in the drums. But it does! If you ask me, no matter how they claim technology advances, nothing ever works perfectly. When that happens, I open the main entrance so the transmission gets better. So, you stood at the main door for a while? Yep. Who was on the line? Don't know. It was just music. Music? Yeah, tech dream. Hmm. <laughs> This sounds familiar. Of course. It's all the rage. It's really catchy, so I kept listening. How long? Oh, well, maybe a minute? After a while, I figured this was a spam call and hung up. I know what you think. Yeah, I looked away. But it wasn't much risk. The lasers were active. No one could get past, in or out. But anything could happen inside. Oh, 
This is a major blunder. Why'd you think I didn't tell you? Didn't think much of it at the time, but when you started your investigation, I recalled that moment. Please, I'm begging you! Don't tell anyone! That mistake could cost me my job! Well... I won't tell anyone. I mean, must be insanely tough to keep watch all day at the same spot and doing nothing else. <sighs> I'm so glad you understand, man. Still, that's an important event for this investigation. Sure. Oh, I hope my blunder didn't get the poor chap killed. We shall see. I'm not done with you, though. How come there's no record of your entrance at 3? Simple. I reset the statistics each time I arrive. For confidentiality, we're not allowed to store them for more than a day. And I can't get that freaking configuration panel to do the job automatically! Must have been programmed by some crazy engineer who's not living in the real world. <sighs> I know the feeling. Didn't you mention you had no control? It's all or nothing. There's no way to insert or edit data. Just remove everything. Okay. Doesn't matter. Dr. Hush was safe and sound when I arrived. Guess I'll have to take your word for that one. Uh, let me, uh, reconsider my point of view. Now who's lying? This is the same model as the one next to Dr. Hush. I should take it. So, Detective, how long is this going to take? Sorry for earlier. Uh, tell me more about your work. Currently, I strive to improve the nanite's efficiency. Could these be used to kill someone? Doubtful, but technically possible. With bad programming, they could destroy the host. But we've been working on this technology for a while now. This never happens. Although... Hmm... Go ahead. Destructive effects can happen if the nanites were mixed with specific organic elements. Such as... corrosive acid? That would definitely leave some traces. Could it be possible to destroy a body without external damage? I think I encountered some plants with this ailment. I would have to check my logs. Well, let's just assume it happened. How would we know? The nanites are trained for survival. Once the host is near death, they leave. But they couldn't last long on the outside. You'd find inactive nanites less than three feet away from the body. I'd better check the surroundings for any nanites in unexpected places. Can't see them with my own eyes, but I'm sure I have the right tool for the job. I know it'll sound harsh, but do you believe Dr. Hush committed suicide? I can't deny that he had been acting strange recently, so I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility. I just find it weird he would do this in my office. Unless he really hated you. Do you think Tidy could have played a role in the murder? I don't see how. He cannot access my office. Besides, Dr. Hush is his maker. He could never... Hurt his creator directly? Yeah. Uh, let's keep some distance with that reasoning. My trust with technology is limited. A true detective never turns down any lead. When can we expect the result of your investigation? Uh, well, no. I didn't finish interrogating everyone. <laughs> you sure did interrogate me. Just a moment. We'll continue this discussion later. I'm not the only one here. Interrogate the others! Listen, I'd like to amend for my behavior earlier. My tablet offers a variety of features that you may find useful. So it's not just your research? You hid this from us? No. These features seemed unrelated to the case. But after what we've learned, I'm not sure anymore. Let me give you access. Lend me your finger. Hey, 
I'm adding you to the authorized guests. You'll have unlimited access for an hour. Oh, thanks. Hmm. Yep, here's that ladder. A rudimentary maintenance ladder, more precisely. Doesn't really feel safe. Do you access it sometimes? Are you crazy? I fear heights. What's this button for? Nothing happens when I press it. That's an analyzer. It can list the detailed components of any object. For connected objects, it will display the information registered in the memory. But you can also put any organic matter, liquid or solid. Oh, guess I'll have to put on an item I want to analyze? Exactly. Will Dr. Hush's lamp reveal some secrets? Uh huh. What? So, fatal damage early this morning? Curious. Anything you can tell me about this lamp? It's supposed to be yours, right? I guess. That's a connected object, of course. So there's data in it. You should check it. Better take it, then. Let's see what the supposed murder weapon has to say. Huh. All necessary stuff for a lamp, for sure. Huh? Maybe they exchanged them by accident? Here are the logs. Hmm. There. Major shock at 1102. Let me check. Hmm. You're right. That's the only relevant information on there. So, is this the murder weapon after all? We shall find out. Okay. Time to explore. Are you sure about this, Mr. Brock? No other choice. We can't let any possible clue undiscovered. No, I mean... Will there be enough room for you to get through? Hey, not that big. You'll see. Oof, that's tight. Oh, maybe time for a diet after all. Hey, what did I just touch? Ugh, it's all... sticky. Oh, it tastes good. I've lit it up for you. Nice. Yep, that's interesting. There's tomato sauce. What's it doing here? Hmm. I'll think about this later. Better get out of here before I get stuck. There's some kind of huge pipe at the top. Can't climb through there, I'm afraid. Then uh, I shall keep moving forward or reach the other side. Ouch! Oh, that was quite the drop. I should inspect this further. Only one way to do it. Couldn't you do this more... gently? I don't have all day, you know. Hey, that's a collectible ad. Looks like... pills? Yep, definitely pills. Whose are they? Don't look at me. I've never seen those. Is Dr. Hush taking some medication? That's highly probable. No one else lives here. Keep in mind, I've barely had contact with him lately. Maybe you should analyze them. Good idea. Do you wish to watch a livey? Not now. You're lying, but that's fine. Other actions are available. Say or think help to get a list. Hmm. Help. Mm. Error. Unable to connect. Reverting to offline mode. One record found. Would you like to play it? A record? Why not? I'm in the restroom. That's Dr. Hush's voice. He must have recorded this by accident. That happens sometimes. An accident? 
Replay the last record. I'm in the restroom. Hmm. Why are you wasting time on this? I'm not sure yet. Mm, nice scent. That'll be ten unis. What? <laughs> Just kidding. But next time avoid crippling my precious plant right in front of me. If it's that precious, I'm gonna keep it. Got more questions. Let's resume our interrogation. Ah. According to the records, you opened Dr. Hush's door at 5.10. At the exact moment, Dr. Hush's lamp received a violent shock. Interesting coincidence, don't you think? A uh, shock? Did you accidentally drop the lamp or something? No, never touched it. I've also noticed something unusual. At 9 o'clock, you routinely checked all three rooms. However, at 5.10, you only opened Dr. Hush's door. Why? Um... Oh, I remember now. I heard a noise. Is that so? Might this be... the sound of a lamp crashing down on the floor? Hmm, I guess that's possible. But when I looked inside, everything was normal. Are you certain? Yeah, Dr. Hush always keeps his room tidy. If that lamp was lying on the floor, I'd have noticed. Was Tidy there? I'm pretty sure he was down, charging. What about Dr. Hush, then? What was he doing? Let me think. Uh, hmm, I didn't see him. You didn't? Pretty sure of it. He wasn't in the hall, either. So he was already gone from his room? Yeah, must have been. Interesting. Something doesn't add up. At 5.10, you heard a noise and looked for Dr. Hush, who wasn't in his room nor the hall. Yeah. Then, the glaring contradiction is, weren't you worried? What? Think. You had no idea where Dr. Hush was, and yet you didn't look for him in the other rooms? Why? You're right. I only started to worry about him disappearing at 9, but... I can't remember the reason I wasn't alerted earlier. Well, I have my theory. You do? Yeah. This is the reason you weren't worried at that time. I made a strange discovery in the restroom. At 5.11, the meaty me played a pre-recorded sample sounding like Dr. Hush. What did it say? I'm in the restroom. <coughs> Ring any bells? Yeah, sure it does. You're right. When I started calling for Dr. Hush, I heard him say that. The voice came from the restroom, so... You assume Dr. Hush was in there. So, he wasn't? This would be the logical conclusion, which then means... The old man was kaput before that time. Let's not jump to conclusions and assume he couldn't be in the restroom either. Oh, that was quite a messed up day. So, uh, are we done? Depends. Hiding anything else? Nope. All good. Still can't believe it. Why did this have to happen during my watch? I've learned not to blame fate. Otherwise, I do it constantly. Just let me know if anything else comes to mind. Sure thing. Hmm. According to the map... What are you doing? Something's off. What do you mean, Mr. Brock? Just a hunch. Oh, you broke the wall? I barely touched it. Some paper-thin slab was obstructing this. 
a hole. Looks like it. And this leads right to your room, Dr. Mink. I had no idea. It's small. No one would fit. I wonder if anything got through there, though. That's up to us to find out. Wait, how come there's a ton of nanites on this particular coffee spot? The heck? It's full of nanites stuck in that sink. Not only this, there seems to be some kind of flower. Dr. Mink must have flushed some experiments. What? No, I've never done such a thing. I have my own sink. Then, what are they doing here? Beats me. I'm surprised to see only one cup in here. Doesn't Dr. Hush drink coffee? He does. Actually, he always drinks his coffee in the restroom. I know him. He couldn't bear spilling a few drops on his precious materials while working in his office. But he uses autodegradable cups. Throw them into the sink and they're automatically reduced into powder. I prefer solid cups. I don't care what they say about lack of hygiene or whatever. Coffee tastes better in it. Yeah, I can relate to that. Parts for experiments, maybe? That's amazing. Not a single part is jutting out of this furniture. This could be called an organized mess. Dr. Hush is a maniac. He hates when something isn't where it belongs. So he taught his maintenance bot to tidy items like this. I remember him going insane once because I didn't put my coffee exactly at the center of the table. Yeah, well, all scientists are a bit eccentric. What do you mean? I'm not eccentric. There's an exception to each rule. Hmm, you do have a point. Brock one, scientist zero. <laughs> That tablet might contain crucial information, but it's locked. Hmm. I'd better take it. Dr. Mink, when we arrived, I heard some music coming out of your room. Well, it's in my best interest to put all my cards on the table. So, yes, I allowed myself a short, fun seance. Oh, and here I thought you scientists were just a bunch of workaholics. So, you were dancing? Please don't rub salt in the wound. What music? Is that important? Might be. Oh, tech Dream. It's a very catchy tune. I can never get it out of my head. Where in the room were you positioned when you were dance, uh, having fun? Hmm. I believe I was close to the door. I stopped when I heard you knocking and took a peek at the door screen. Did you notice anything unusual by that time? If by unusual, you mean a croc detective breaking my door and forcing his way through, then definitely yes. Oh, sorry about that. You should have opened it the first time. I was scared. And I have little patience. This leads to Dr. Hush's room. What a surprise. I'm hoping you'll fix this before leaving. What about your bot minion, huh? I'd like to see him try. Oh, right. I forgot it could. It can? Of course. We wouldn't do that kind of laborious job ourselves. Oh, for an instant, I forgot who I was talking to. So, what's this flower? Phonexy? Hmm, I wonder if this has particular medical effects.
Excel 500? Never heard of it. Mr. Brock, I think we can use that tablet to do medical searches. Of course. This is data I've gathered myself, merged with a specialized local copy of the TriWeb. I have an offline access to information that the general public will never see. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Hmm. That's a drug for patients suffering from defective organs, acting slower than normal. Uh, sounds more like an ad than medication. Dr. Mink, did you know your colleague took these? No, but that does make sense. We don't exactly have a lot of physical activity. I don't take this. I prefer the all-in-one menu. All-in-one? It's regular powder food, with stimulants incorporating the exact and appropriate dose of food, based on our medical tracking. Huh. Nothing surprises me anymore. Is there a specific topic you're interested in? Let me think. Isn't that the plant lying on Mr. Guard's desk? Yep. Okay, I don't quite understand why you need info on this, but you're the detective. I found something! Uh... What's going on? Something's annotated below. you think? Yeah, Dr. Mink must have written this. Uh, hey, it works! What? Dr. Hush's tablet! It unlocked! I'm surprised. I thought this wouldn't happen, considering... Well, you thought wrong. Let's see what this baby has to offer. Hmm. Looks like he transferred some data. Let me see. You're right. That's an external file transfer of his current project. AI Update 302-305.zyl. Is that unusual? Of course not. We regularly transfer files to our managers. Although, the receipt address is obscured. What does this mean? I can't really know who received the file, but considering the metadata, this must be someone high-ranked. Wait, I just noticed. That file was modified yesterday, but it was created in... 3029? Six years ago? Well, that makes no sense. There must be a bug in the OS. Do you think this might be linked to our case, Mr. Brock? A transfer at 445. That must definitely be important. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. Are you done investigating? I'm certain I've missed one or two clues. Maybe I still have enough evidence for my theory? But I'm getting hungry, so... Okay. I guess it's worth a shot. Are you sure? You don't seem that competent. Oh, I am. Mostly. Very well. I'll gather everyone. If you don't mind, Mr. Brock, this time I'll stay silent and listen carefully. As you wish. All right. We're all ears. Okay. After studying this case very carefully, I have reason to believe that the person who murdered Dr. Hush is... Actually, not a person. Tidy did this. Me not person? Murder daddy? Dead daddy? I knew we shouldn't have trusted that tin can! Really? But how? He didn't have any means or motive to do this. That's where you're wrong, Dr. Mink. And I'm gonna prove how and why. Let's start with the actual cause of death.
The body, the lamp, and the floor. All three have red stains. This fake blood has been used to stage the murder. So, like my tie? Yes, this is Ant Burger Tomato Sauce. We've been fooled by that? I'm afraid so. There was a wrapper in the bathroom trash can, and as a specialist with that kind of food, I distinctly recognize the taste of McFlee's Ant Burger trademark sauce. This may be a coincidence. You don't know how long this wrapping has been there. Very well. I have more proof. I'm taking it back. I don't think I can prove anything at this point. You gotta be kidding. Well, we're adjourned. That paper didn't get totally destroyed. Hey, I recognize it. That's the wrapping for McFlee's flagship ant burger with extra tomato sauce. My favorites. <laughs> So, Detective, how long is this going to take? Are you done investigating? I'm certain I've missed one or two clues. Maybe I still have enough evidence for my theory? Yes, I'm ready to expose the truth. Impressive! Let's begin then. Let's continue this. I need more time to think. Sorry. Gotta quit for now. Are you going to waste our time longer? A fake injury with tomato sauce. Well, no fleas or ticks. Hmm. Upon further inspection, uh, that's not very clean. Can't see any of those tiny bots from Dr. Mink, though. Whoa! His hand is literally covered by nanites. I better write this down. Again? Gonna solve this myself. That'll be faster. <laughs> you better reply, man. Or care to become suspect number one? Come on! Do your job! What do you think I'm doing? Dunno. And that's the problem! Tidy, I need your help. Yup, yup! Tidy? No moving. Yup, yup! Good boy. Huh. What? Don't eat those! They're clues! But I'm hungry! I need to understand some. You're not the only one. I'll look around for clues. You'd better find out the culprit, because I wasn't involved in this. Hey, Tidy. Just a hunch. Did Dr. Hush put out that ramp for you? Yup, yup. For me. So I can access the table, got made and modified, for me. Is that so? Makes sense. Bots weigh tons and cannot jump over there. So, Detective, how long is this going to take? Are you done investigating? I'm certain I've missed one or two clues. Maybe I still have enough evidence for my theory? Ah, I'm ready. Gather everyone. All right. I've got new info which should shed some light on these events. Miss something in the restroom? 
Let's take a pause. What? Again? Rocky, broken detective. I wonder if anything passed through here. If there was, too late to find anything. The trash gets compacted and sent directly to the slums dumps. A necessary evil. We're stronger due to this. Don't tell me you're a slumber. Uh huh. Of course not. Food. Nothing particularly. Wait a minute. What's wrong? There should be ant burgers in there. I ate the last one a while ago. I should have ordered more automatically. Oh, I forgot. External communication is out. You ate an ant burger? Tell me more about it. How is that interesting? You never know. Well, I have some kind of ritual. I always have an ant burger while watching my science show. This morning I got pretty angry though. There was only one left, and it was already unfrozen. Curious. Do you think Dr. Hush wanted to eat it? Possibly, though he usually dislikes these, and it was in one piece. I bet he gave it a shot and then decided against it. Yeah. I need to understand something. You're not the only one. Are you done investigating? Ah, I'm ready. Gather everyone. All right. So, where was I? Get it now? That's why my ant burger was already unfrozen. Yeah, it would be pretty difficult to rub frozen sauce on a corpse. So the malefactor had to defrost it first. Simple and ingenious, I must say. That's not all. Something else proves that we've been wrong from the start. We retrieved a lamp right next to the body, which obviously seemed like the murder weapon. This lamp records events. The data indicates a shock happened at 11.02. 11.02? Impossible! You're right, actually. Dr. Hush's medical tracking stopped at around 5. Do you believe he could have died hours before receiving a fatal blow to the head? Tracking? Not reliable. Yes and no. It's reliable within a two-hour window, not six. Isn't that right, Dr. Mink? Yes, I confirm it. Our tracking device is located deep inside our body and cannot be extracted. It's reliable, but to ensure our privacy rights, it only logs once every two hours. What a great idea to make our detective life easier. Murders don't happen every day, you know. All right, so... If there never was a violent thump to his head, what's the true cause of death that the killer tried to hide? I have a theory. <laughs> Dr. Mink, when browsing through your medical database, I noticed an interesting note from yourself. I tried mixing those phoenixy flowers with nanites, programmed or not. It's no good. They cause the host's cardiac activity to slow down immensely, ultimately causing death. Dr. Hush was poisoned? There is evidence to support this. Dr. Hush's left hand is literally covered by nanites. Besides, Mr. Squealer here... Hey. Sorry. I mean, Mr. Guard owns a plant on his desk, which is... a phoenixy. It's entirely possible Tidy overheard Dr. Mink mention this and picked up ingredients from the lab. Yeah, those robotic things have quite the memory. Tidy, no memory. Tidy cleans, tidy tidies. Tidy does not pick plants. Others could. Minky murderer. Or ratty. How dare you? He's right. Either of you had the means to do it. Tidy right. True tidy. 
Don't go thinking I'm on your side. I'm sticking to the facts. And by doing this, I'll eventually prove you're the main culprit. No, no. Perky wrong. But how? Why would Dr. Hush swallow such a poison? Let me continue. found black stains on Dr. Hush's left hand. At first, I wasn't sure what it could be, until I found another black stain, this time on the doctor's office floor. The stain itself was very faint, as if someone had tried to clean it. But, I have no doubt, this is coffee, which can be quite tenacious. And guess what? That stain was also covered by nanites. So, the doctor drank poisonous coffee. Yeah, he must have spilled coffee on his hand while collapsing. Wait, I also drank coffee today. That's right, but you didn't get poison, and here's why. You went to the restroom later after Dr. Hush, didn't you? The culprit had time to spill the coffee prepared in the sink before doing more, and this time without poison. Incidentally, that's where I found my second proof. In the sink? Exactly. Now, tell me, who usually prepares coffee? Tidy. Untrue. Daddy. Minky make. Coffee sometimes. Ratty too. Yes. Is that the reason you're charging a little maintenance spot for this awful crime? I hate to say that's quite a weak link. You mean I did it, Mink? I didn't say that. <laughs> but you thought it! Tidy makes good coffee, not deadly. Calm down. I'm just starting my report. Tidy adds major point. Daddy creator cannot hurt. Love, Daddy. You know, I thought a machine like yourself would be all about precision. But that's no surprise. You're a defective bot. Tidy... Defective? What you're stating isn't entirely true. Sure, Tidy cannot attack his creator when it implies a direct contact. A poison, however, is quite a clever workaround to kill without direct contact. Hmm, I guess you're right. Indirect violence is on a lower level of priority and not part of the golden rule. But that still shouldn't be possible. His software programming shouldn't allow it. There is should, and there is certain. I know the reason for the malfunction, though I'll save it for a more suitable time. There's something else bothering me. Nanites are only active for an hour or so. They lose their energy very quickly. Considering Tidy did not come to my room today, how could it get enough nanites for such a powerful poison? During my investigation, I happen to make an interesting discovery which may just explain how. That hole between the rooms. It leads directly to a table in your office. Now, what's on this table? Oh, my nanites box! Exactly. If I had a guess, those nanites are brand new and charged, aren't they? You guessed right. It's fairly safe to assume anyone with knowledge of this hole could get access to nanites. And in Tidy's case, I'm sure it's perfectly aware how to activate its bot friends. Tidy different. Little bots, not friends. Darn nanites. Killed Daddy. That's called racism, you metal mongrel. Hey, not trying to defend that piece of junk, but... Uh... Wouldn't it be easier and more logical for the weasel to access his own nanites? What about you, sleepy agent? You seem keen to reject accusations on others. Me? Can't even access your room, you fool! Cause you can't bear anyone but yourself! I'll pretend I didn't hear that. 
but your assumption is stupid. There's a reason why you dug that hole and hid it. People, come on. Hear me out. Remember when I first found out there was a thin layer of plaster covering the hole? Now, who does the repairs in this lab? That metal junk. Oh my, that's true. Tidy can regenerate walls with plaster. Could it really be? You did this piece of junk? Nah, human idiot. Plaster, easy to do. Even for pesky humans. Tidy, no hole. No way. I beg to differ, your metal highness. Another piece of evidence strengthens my theory that you did this. Or at least that you're a big fat liar of a bot. According to the monitoring, Tidy went into the restroom at 424. He was not recorded in any room after that. However, the screen in Dr. Hush's office states that he had been charging from 450 to 1110. How could he be in the office if he didn't leave the restroom in the first place? Very simple. Yup, yup. Tidy prepares coffee. Daddy come, drink. Next, Daddy back office with Tidy. So, you're saying he opened the office door and you just followed him? Yup, yup. Okay. For now, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In that case, let's examine the path of our favorite deceased doctor, shall we? I think you'll find it rather interesting as well. Tidy, no like insinuation. Before you move on, I have a simple question. What is that monitoring you're referring to? Oh yeah, that's true. You're not aware. The lab registers doors openings. Only guards are supposed to know. What the heck? All this time, we've been watched? I thought you were there to ensure our privacy. No, I'm there to ensure your physical security, making sure nobody threatens your life. What a great job you did. You lied to us. Not me. I didn't make this system. Then who did? The government, of course. Oh, that's right. Fine. I'll send them a suggestion later then. Hmm. On the other hand, Tidy didn't seem surprised at all about the monitoring. Let's move on, shall we? There's something curious about the doctor's movement. The last time Dr. Hush was recorded, he was leaving his office at 5.04. After that, he was nowhere to be found. This is confirmed by the guard's statements, if you don't mind explaining. Sure. At 5.10, I heard a noise coming from the doctor's room, but he wasn't there. Actually, no one seemed to be there. Although, Tidy was idle, charging. I started to look for the guy, but then I heard his voice coming from behind the wall. I'm in the restroom. Except this wasn't Dr. Hush at all, but a recording coming from the meaty me. A recording? Oh! Does this mean the body was in the restroom and the murderer didn't want Mr. Rat to see it? That's unlikely. The guard checks the rooms regularly and there's no hiding spot in there. Besides, keep in mind the ultimate goal, getting Dr. Hush in Dr. Mink's office. There's no way to move the body from the restroom to his office without going into the hall unnoticed. Lies! Okay, give us your version of the facts then. Daddy, come with me. Back to office. Before charging, Daddy head out. Tidy never forget. Daddy last words. I need to settle things with Dr. Mink. Daddy, meet Minky in hallway. Daddy follow Minky. Enter Minky office. Minky, give coffee to Daddy. Daddy, dead. I gotta give credit to the tin can. Its version sounds way more plausible than your own, Crack. Sure, Tidy has a bothersome recording. But how do we know when it was made? It's out of context. You could have very well recorded this and forged your so-called proof. Also, 
there's no monitoring record of Dr. Hush ever entering Dr. Ming's room. Wrong! Ming touches door, enter with daddy. Then Minky, poison daddy! The weasel went back to his room with the doctor? Look, monitoring! When did Minky enter? 504. <laughs> exact! Same minute that daddy leaves. But I never did that! I never saw him today! Mr. Guard! I can't remember. Are you kidding me? Tidy, what about the voice the guard heard? Coincidence? Meaty me faulty. Sometimes meaty me play livey randomly. Hmm. Yes. I've seen it happen. And the hole? The coffee spot on the floor in your room? Already there. For ages. Brocky, prove the opposite? Well, the nanites. Nanites, machines. Attracted to coffee. True, Minky? I can't dishonor my profession by lying. Yes, due to their hardware, nanites are attracted to caffeine and gather inside. So, after all, it really was your doing, Weasel. No! Oh, don't you listen to it! Mr. Detective, I told you the truth. You need to believe in me. Well, I have to side with the tin can. That's two against two. What do you think, Hot? I... Sorry, I'm getting lost with all these details. Guys, let me finish my theory, and then you shall decide. Fine. No, listen. Too tidy. Tidy, sad. Dead daddy. Gah. Let's focus. Tidy used the meaty me recording to avoid the guard getting worried that Dr. Hush disappeared. As a result of my assumptions, Dr. Hush could neither be in his room, the restroom, or the hall at 510. And as the monitoring confirms, he never entered Dr. Ming's room either. No way, man. That's impossible. I beg to differ. He couldn't just disappear into thin air, could he? Oh, he didn't. There's a fourth possibility, and I'm going to explain it to you. The vent? Yeah, the ventilation duct. That's the only spot the body could be hidden without anyone noticing. Pure conjecture. You have any clue to support that insane claim? Sure do. Tomato sauce? Yeah, looks like the murderer didn't hesitate to put quite a lot to confuse us. Problem detected. What is it this time? Ventilation, also used for delivery sometimes. Is that true? Yes. Big packages don't fit into the pipe mail, so they're delivered through the vent. It's possible the content of a package leaked. Obviously. Bam! Gotcha! Huh. Still, that will be a huge coincidence, don't you think? Let's assume you're right. In order to get into the vent, Dr. Hush would have to be in his office. He was. But you said it earlier. The last time he was recorded, he was leaving his room. How do you explain this? It's clear Dr. Hush never left his office. There's no monitoring entry between his exit and the time the guard checked the room. This was just an attempt from the criminal to direct our attention elsewhere. Even Tidy could use the doctor's hand on the button. Just enough to add this to the monitor. This would imply Dr. Hush was dead by then. Yes, actually. I think he was killed even before going into his office. Absurd. Oh, really? Well, I have another clue. Remember where the poison came from? The coffee. To poison him, it'd be easier to have Dr. Hush drink the coffee in his office. Except, he never does. Dr. Hush always drinks his coffee in the restroom. He's too maniacal to risk spilling drops while working. And yet, there's a coffee stain on the floor. What do you insinuate? That the stain was made when Dr. Hush was dead on the floor? This is exactly what I mean. 
Rocky liar. Daddy take coffee in office sometimes. Again, I'm afraid it's your word against his, detective. Yeah, it'd make a lot more sense that the doc spilled it by accident. Rocky, done for. Get up. No good. Even Mink starts to think my theory is too far-fetched. Am I really on the right path? Everyone. Well, except Tidy. I know how all of this sounds. But please, allow me to continue and trust me. Silly Brocky! Alright. Let's assume Dr. Hush drank his coffee in the restroom and died. To get into the vent, he would have to get back to his office first. How? Simple. Tidy can carry objects. You're saying this little metal thing carried Dr. Hush all the way to his room. <laughs> Wait, man. I would have noticed. Are you certain? Should I jog your memory? Uh... At 4.38, the guard wasn't at his seat. He had received a phone call with terrible reception. When this happened, he opened the lab's main entrance to improve the signal. What? But on the line, no voice. Only music. During that moment, he was looking away. Is that true, Mr. Rat? You blundered? Hey, you know how this is. Reception is terrible in here. Actually, you may not. After all, you've got no friends or anyone. Ah, so it's true. He thought this was a spam call, but here's what I think. This was you, Tidy. It wouldn't be hard for you to simulate a phone call and play some music, am I right? He can. Rocky, what music? Okay. Tidy, play music. Oh, no thanks. Tidy, no call. Naha. Although the guard was still making sure no one could enter or exit the lab, at that moment, anything could have happened. Hmm. I'm trying to imagine Tidy carrying the doctor in the hall and opening the office door with his hand. It's technically possible. Just downright crazy. This would also explain why Tidy was found in Dr. Hush's room, even though he supposedly stayed in the restroom. Take it the other way around. What would be the point of this call farce if Dr. Hush was safe and sound while returning to his room? There would be nothing particularly disturbing. No. Tidy no call. Rocky death. So, when did he die? Between 424 and 438, as this is the time Tidy went into the restroom and left. Rocky ignores. Poor Tidy. Daddy dead. Your theory is accurate. There's still a lot that needs explaining. For example, how could Tidy put Dr. Hush into the vent? It's not like either of them could climb a ladder. Wrong. I know exactly how Tidy did. Don't forget Tidy's main ability. Extended arms. Hmm. Are you serious? Impossible! Pray tell, why would it be? Arms stretch to nine feet max. So what? Look! You're kidding, right? How can we know it's not just pretending? Let me check its data. Hmm. I'm afraid it's true. It has extended its arms to the limit, which is nine feet. Dr. Hush's ceiling is the same height Thus, Tidy couldn't reach the vent. No, no way. Aha! Told ya! Rocky theory, gone. Kaput! I need to think fast. I'm convinced Tidy was involved. He has to be. Take a look at the room configuration. Both scientists' offices are a reflection of one another. As such, the vent height is exactly the same in both rooms. How high is it? 10 feet. Yeah, the laser column in this room is 10 feet, and it goes up to the ceiling. And with Tidy's arms reaching 9 feet, 
that's not enough. Oh, Rocky, agree. Admit defeat. No way. We're just missing a little something. The workbench. Heidi can stand on it. It's visibly about two to three feet high. But the metal thingy can't jump on there, can it? Not jump. This is the point of a ramp Dr. Hush designed for it. You told me yourself, Tidy. <laughs> tidy, learn. Close mouth. Sorry, Croc, but it seems like pure conjuncture. Oh, but I can prove it. You can? Go! Go, Mr. Brock! Here's a picture of the room. Look, there are crumbs all over the table. Oh, that's true. Now, as you know, Dr. Hush is a neat freak. How could he leave crumbs everywhere? The answer is simple. Dr. Hush wasn't alive. Tidy, you crushed them while climbing on the ramp. Nuh-uh. Tidy woke late. Not cleaned yet. I wish for once you'd tell the truth. Admit it. That's what happened. You climbed up, stretched your arms to get in the vent, and put Dr. Hush inside. Then, you pushed the poor chap towards Dr. Mink's room. The more we talk, the more... <laughs> huh? Is it laughing? I... Huh? You what? Will you change your mind and pretend it's not possible for you to climb there? Hmm. Is possible. My pleasure. Huh? To see Brocky fall into own trap. Brocky lucky circumstances. But luck running out. Might you be more specific? Look map. Ventilation duct two feet high. Tidy three feet high. Cannot bend, cannot fit. Plus cannot stand on floor while pushing all way through. He's right. Tidy couldn't fit inside, and the distance is way too long to push all the way through the vent while standing on the ground. No. Oh. Rocky, done for. No. I, um, I can prove how. Let's take a look at that picture again. This is how Tidy did it. Right here. That, you sure? Well, no, but it's pretty, isn't it? Can't you be serious for a minute? We forgot to ask ourselves one important question. What opens the vent trap? After all, it's not always open. That's right. Unlike mine, it doesn't have a ladder and an automated way to... Oh, I see now. The lever. Are you suggesting? Yes. First, Tidy opened the vent and put Dr. Hush into it. Then he grasped the lever with one arm and pushed the corpse with the other. Whoa! Now that's the craziest thing you've said so far, Croc. Is that even possible? Let's see. If this map is correct, the vent is almost nine feet wide. Yes. It's absurd, but technically possible. The maintenance robot clinging onto the ceiling! You're insane! Let me judge how insane I sound after all this is over. Let's not forget the finale. The corpse in Dr. Mink's room. Yes, Tidy pushed him. But the pertinent question is... When? Indeed. There's a specific piece of evidence that tells us exactly when it happened. I analyzed Dr. Mink's lamp. The data I gathered indicates a fatal shock at 510. Oh, I get it now. Well, I don't. What's the fuss? Tidy needed to put the lamp next to the body, but he couldn't do it himself. So he put it in the vent alongside the corpse. Makes sense. The fall must have damaged the lamp. But wait, 510, that's early. If there had been a body lying in the middle of my room, I would have noticed. And didn't you say this was the data from my lamp? Tidy could not access mine. Good. Froggy theory falling apart. Wait. 
Okay, I admit, I fooled you. Yes, I said this was the data from Dr. Meng's lamp. But I never claimed this was the data from the lamp next to the body. Ah? Uh -huh. The croc is confusing me. Let me explain. Of course, we immediately consider that the lamp next to the body is Dr. Ming's. However, this lamp's data revealed a surprise. It belongs to Dr. Hush. <coughs> Incorrect! Nuh uh Wait. So that's the one Tidy pushed into the vent? Yes. There's no doubt about it. Nah. If that's what happened, there'd be two lamps here. Mr. Rat is right. How do you explain that the other lamp, my lamp, is on Dr. Hush's desk? We'll just have to prove Tidy picked up Dr. Mink's lamp. Could he now? Just think. Where was Dr. Mink's lamp originally? I don't know. Show us. Well, right there. Your lamp was here. No, it wasn't. You sure? I live here. Of course I know. Oh, then, uh... Dr. Mink, your lamp was right here. Well, yes. How did you know? With the door permanently shut, there's only one spot Tidy could access. And that's this hole in the wall. Again? Oh no. If it were me, I'd steal Mink's lamp, then pass it through the vent so it fell in the intended location. Dr. Hush's lamp wouldn't even have to move. That's a relevant matter. Unless... All of this is the result of Tidy trying to confuse us. Putting the wrong lamp next to the body? What's the point? Making it easier for us to find the truth? Um... Tidy, you've been awfully silent. Cat got your tongue? Or is it because you realized you slipped up? Aww. After picking up Dr. Meng's lamp, it was supposed to throw it through the vent. However, Tidy inverted the lamps. Inverted. And I can prove it. You see, I noticed something off in Dr. Hush's room, especially when you take his personality into account. Let me show you in the picture. The lamp? That's actually the weasel's lamp, huh? Yes, but that's not the strangest thing. Don't get it. Okay, this information should make it clear. After being told Dr. Hush was a maniac, I noticed the way the lamp was positioned was off. It's neither at the center of the desk or facing the front. There's no way someone so obsessed about order would let an object be so badly placed. Okay, why not? So what? This explains what happened. Dr. Hush's lamp was originally on this desk, perfectly centered. Tidy took Dr. Mink's lamp. Right at this moment, he got interrupted, so he put it next to the other. After he left, Mr. Guard, he executed its plan. But he took the wrong lamp, which was pushed through the vent. Tidy's objective was to make us believe Dr. Hush fought with Dr. Mink in the morning at the time his tracking stopped. This timing only makes sense if Tidy made this mistake. Then, if it wasn't the body falling, what caused the other lamp's fatal shock at 510? Oh, do I have to explain everything? Tidy was interrupted by the guard suddenly checking the room. Now, why did Mr. Guard check Dr. Hush's room in the first place? Oh yeah, I know. I heard a noise. Oh, then it was... Yeah, Dr. Mink's lamp receiving a shock. In particular, I believe Tidy intentionally bumped it from a high distance to break it and make us believe this was the crime weapon. Nice thinking. Although, if it's Dr. Hush's lamp that was pushed through, shouldn't it suffer from a shock too, when it fell from the vent? It did. Although non-fatal, that lamp received a shock at 11.02. And this explains the last mystery. No way! 
I never noticed Dr. Hush until you came in. He simply wasn't in the room before. But if a body were to fall from this high, it ought to make a huge bumping sound. That's accurate. I'm not deaf. Sure thing. You're not deaf at all. Remember the context when I arrived in front of your door. Oh, gosh! Oh, that'll teach me to set the music to full volume. It makes perfect sense now. What does? I was focused on the door screen, so I had no idea what was going on the other side. And with that loud beat... Yeah, it covered the sound from the body falling. But wait... What again? Can't you agree with my theory just this once? I'm sorry. I just want to know the whole truth. That's so exciting! Except your colleague has been assassinated. In order for this to work, Tidy would have to do a last push at 11.02, correct? Yup. I believe he has sensors. He knew where everyone was. True. But he was still charging at this moment. Good thinking, Weasel. He couldn't be both charging and doing this at the same time. Oh, 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 Rati, right! Tidy charging cannot push. Actually, that's possible. How? You told me yourself, Dr. Mink. Tidy goes through various states of consciousness while charging. As soon as we arrived, he started to wake up. Have you noticed the huge length of its cord? It doesn't prevent him from going anywhere into the room while still keeping connected to the power socket. So, Tidy, who's the winner this time? Did he... uh... bug? No! <clears throat> Rocky, not detective! Impossible! Hey, is that your only argument? Cannot explain crime without essential part. The motive! Tidy, no motive to hurt Daddy. Well, I have an idea. Rocky cannot. Yes, I can. Okay, I'll admit I don't have the whole motive, but some elements lead us in the right direction. As we proved earlier, Dr. Hush died between 424 and 438. Then, we shall wonder, who exactly did that data transfer on his tablet at 445? I know, it's that scrap of metal. Yup. Before putting him into the vent, it used Dr. Hush's hand to transfer the data to the outside. The file was an update from a few years ago and accessed recently. Keep in mind, Dr. Hush's job, which is to improve bots AI. My bet is that Dr. Hush used elements from this very old update and tested them on Tidy. So you think that's why he went crazy? Maybe. Old firmwares don't have the software protections I referred to earlier, which in turn could allow this indirect killing. I guess Dr. Hush made a backup of this data in case. <laughs> Care to say anything, Tidy? Rocky, wrong, wrong, wrong! Yup, yup, but Tidy will wait and see. No waiting. That's enough. It's time for you to admit it. Why'd you even care? You solved that mystery. It is just a defective machine. Let's switch it off and hand it over to the police. No, you won't do such thing. Is that a threat? No, no. Yup, yup. Rocky Theory, no hold waters. What? Tidy ask, simple question. If Tidy push Daddy, would Daddy be where he is right now? Where he... Oh. Brocky understands. Daddy should have fell right below that. Oh my! Once again, the tin can is right! That can't be. Then, uh, uh. <laughs> Tidy closed your beak. No, I'll prove you wrong. I, uh, I have to. Go 
ahead! Please, master of convoluted explanations! What crazy thought will Rocky give this time? This is the end of the tunnel. The final riddle. If I can't explain it, then my whole theory goes to bust. I can't let that wacky bag of metal win. What's the explanation for Dr. Hush's position in the room? No. No way. It can't be. Have we been mistaken this whole time? Mr. Brock? Hey! What are you doing, man? Stop! Stop! Brocky hurt! Daddy! That's awful. I can't watch this. Uh. Uh. Huh? Huh? <gasps> What's... What's going on? What the... D -d 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 Dr. Hush! You're alive? Daddy! Not dead, Daddy! Uh, updating expression. Not dead, Daddy. Are you alright? More or less. Tell me, what's the last thing you remember? Wait, I think... I saw Dr. Mink. What? I think I fell? Tried to move towards him. Not feeling well. Let the poor chap recover. No, I'm sorry, but it's too important. When did you lose your consciousness? What were you doing? I... I took my coffee. Tidy prepared it. When I drank it, my heart stopped. Then... The croc was right! It was tidy all along! Crap! I still can't believe this low hardware maintenance bot could plan a scheme as elaborate as this. Although flawed, fortunately for us, but, Doctor, you were dead. Are you a zombie now? No. I believe there's an explanation for this. You do have an explanation to everything, don't you? Can't wait to hear it. The effect of the poison was to slow down the heart rate, ultimately causing death. However, the life in this bunker, uh, I mean, lab, isn't a very physical one. As such, Dr. Hush was taking some medication to compensate. Excel 500, more precisely. I see. This has the exact opposite effect, doesn't it? Yes, it boosts the heart activity. This is what saved Dr. Hush. No one noticed he was still alive. Not even the tracker. His heart pounding slowed and stayed under the threshold, putting him into an unconscious state. The shock from falling down the vent caused him to wake up for a few seconds and move towards Dr. Mink. Which also explains that red stain near the bed. There's another blunder you made, Tidy. You neglected this. Tidy, did you really try to kill me? Why? I... I hate you! I'm sick of tidying all day while you use me as a guinea pig! Tidy, clean the floor. Tidy, move this thing a little to the left. Tidy, make me coffee. I can't take any more! Where did Tidy learn to talk like this? The firmware? It worked! Why did you pretend to be the same dumb bot? What? This is the project I was working on. The government sent me some incomplete files from an unknown scientist, working on the same field years ago. He never got to complete his work and disappeared suddenly, but I was able to recover this code. I needed a specific bot model to test that firmware. The only one at my disposal was Tidy, but I noticed some weird behaviors. Like, Tidy would suddenly laugh for no reason. <laughs> the code itself seemed unethical and dangerous. There were some references to copying the human brain. I decided to stop this research and alert. Oh my gosh. That's why you did it. Now that you experience feelings, you don't want me to revert to your regular firmware, do you? <laughs> I'm so sorry, little guy. I caused this. I messed you up. Uh, you really shouldn't be sorry. You're the victim here. I can fix you up. I promise. <laughs> no! 
it's trying to escape! We can't let it happen. Who knows what disaster he could cause in this state? Tidy! Odd, stay here with Dr. Hush. I'll handle this. Lasers! I've set the emergency plan. You won't access the controls. Rubbish guard! Let me out! You won't go nowhere. I've done nothing wrong! Daddy is alive! Only by chance. And stop calling him Daddy. You're nothing more than a defective AI in a metal scrap. Now, let me switch you off. We'll fix you. I'd never take orders from a petty human. I'm perfect. The only defective one in this world is you, human scum. I got new orders from my new daddy. When I'm out, he'll take care of me. What? Who? It's quite funny, actually. You see? No, I promised. You'll have to figure it out by yourself. A shame, really, because you never will. Stop this nonsense. This is my last warning. Switch off, or else... Save your breath. You'll never get me. Well then, I'll make you switch off, one way or another. Did you get it? For good? I guess. Not! Ah! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! It's going berserk! You will regret this! Everyone in this city will be destroyed! Go away! Get escape! Hey, wait! That's mine! Okay, get that sucker and bring it back! Come back here so I can smash you into pieces! Uh, too bad I can't shoot with this thing, so no choice. I'll have to bump into that crazy bot. Let's see what this baby can do! Now for the hard part. How do I get back to the lab? Ah. Hey, 
Hey, Chief. I, uh, got a little lost on my way back. Uh, well, uh, here's that criminal bot. What's left of it, anyway? There. You can have some scientists check its components and confirm... You realize what you've done? Yeah. I stopped a dangerous criminal at the risk of my life. You put hundreds of citizens at risk during your little highway escape. My escape? People are in shock. There are news reports everywhere. You stole a hover bike. You bumped into air cars. Innocents could have been killed. No chaos like this ever happened in the drums for ages. Huh, good. I gave those rich folks some events to talk about. So what? You think that's funny? What did you expect me to do? Sit back and wait for that bag of screws to wreck the city? There was no other way. There's always another way. This robot wasn't much of a threat. You, on the contrary. Our collaboration ends here. What? You're firing me? Consider yourself lucky I don't throw you back in jail. Perfect. I'm out of here. Don't call me back. Because next time, I won't be here to save your bacon. Mr. Brock! Nephew, don't bother. This man only brings misery to everyone around him. Hmm. Listen to me. I forbid you to get close to him ever again. But... No but. The situation will get dangerous soon. What do you mean? Come on now. I've got to bury some suspects for another case. To bury? Yes. To interrogate. Oh, I see. You're using code names. Yeah. I'll be right behind you, Uncle. So angry, pointless. Deep down, I knew Wes was right. This was just one little robot. It couldn't have done so much damage. Could it? Who knows? But that's when I noticed it. What the? All these calls and messages? Crap. He's in trouble. Shoot. I need to... I, uh... I'm coming, son! Well, I'm almost glad to see you, Clay. Almost. You bet. This place gives me the creeps. Just look at that thing on the wall. Um, I'm more concerned about all those bots. They're inactive, you fool. Got a bad feeling anyway. So, what are we supposed to do here? Hey, find out by... <coughs> yourself. <coughs> You okay? I'm... <coughs> I'm fine. You forgot to take your pill. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't take mine yet. Maybe I can give you half. Hey! Don't you dare! Mm -hmm. You... You jerk! That was mine! No big deal. You'll get one as soon as we go out. Besides... You know a pill isn't efficient unless you take it whole. <sighs> You'll never change. Always so arrogant. If I wasn't so tired, I'd beat the crap out of you. Focus! You'd better get out of here fast, buddy. <sighs> you won't get away with this. A collectible ad? Great! Awesome! I found another one! Weird. When I approach this thing, a picture appears. <clears throat> Is this the outside of the building? This foot screen seems to display the results of this trial so far. You sure took your time. I've been stuck here for ages. You mean you didn't solve your share of puzzles? Of course I did. Easy as pie. They're really taking us for beginners. You know it's your mom who set up this trial, right? Wrong. It was crafted a long time ago. She's only following instructions. From who? Hmm. Not sure. She's very secretive when it comes to this. Whoa! That button activates. 
some energy shock on that part of the wall? I'd rather not. I might accidentally punch him in his arrogant face. Let's explore the room. This won't open, but it might actually be a good thing. Watching them makes me uneasy. Why? Not sure myself. Maybe they just remind me of your mother. How dare you? She's so much more than these pieces of junk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid to find out what this is used for. Two locked doors without a handle. I bet these are exits, and each one of us ought to take a different one. Wow! You must have gathered all your brain cells to understand this. Shut up. You've got to be kidding me! We're having a test here, you know. Why do you think they put this? Check the foot screen. It's telling us to wait. If we're going to get stuck here for a while, we might as well have a good time. Well, I'm not going to sit around and do nothing. Of course you won't. There's only one bed. You're hopeless. Come on, relax. You're always so tense. It's a wonder you haven't had a heart attack already. Easy for you to say. You're like a drummer dwelling in the slums. Life's always treated you well. <sighs> you don't know anything. Dare to share? No. It's about your mother, right? Nobody dares to ask, but I need to know. How come your mom's a bot? <sighs> when I was eight, there was an accident. An accident? My mom. She didn't make it. <sighs> she got her memories transferred. What? Oh, is that even possible? I can't remember much, but I've been raised by this robot, and I don't see her as one. She's always been good to me. As far as I can tell, she's my mom, and that's all that matters. At least you've got one. Ha, <laughs> you're right. I'd rather have a robotic mother than a dead one. That's mean, you know. But true. <sighs> and your dad? I mean your real one. What about him? Well, did he run away when he found out what kind of son he had? <clears throat> no way! I'm right? I... I've barely known him. I think he left mom when I was five or something. Soon after, he disappeared off the face of the earth. What was his name? Remn. Remn. I've never had a father myself. My mom resorted to laboratory procreation. She wanted me to be... perfect. And she succeeded. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're not? Mm. Every day, I have to give it my best. Do you know what it's like to have all your actions, all your destiny, planned out for you, even before you were born? I'm tired. As soon as I get my diploma, I'll live my own life. Mm. Sorry. I realize we've both had problems growing up. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Hey, look! The screen changed! Finally! One over there? That means... One of us gets stuck to that wall while the other does... What, exactly? Who knows? We need to make a decision. I'll go. Perfect. After all, your part may be even worse. Hmm. Nah, can't be. Uh-oh. The game will now start. I've got a bad feeling. Oh, stop being such a drama queen. Typical. You're not the one chained up. The host should remain silent. You heard the voice? Shut up. I hate you. Student, please 
say your name and your partner's name. Stupid! You already know them! Ah! Clay! What? I just made a little mistake. Student, please say the following out loud. I love you, Graf. Please forgive me. What? Just do it. Okay. Okay. I... Uh, I... I can't. What are you afraid of? Well... Okay. Let's do this. I love you, Graf. Please forgive me. I wish it was sincere. But... It is. I may keep playing pranks, but I'm still worried about you. Right. Student. If a thug threatened your partner, would you risk your life to protect him? Yeah. Of course I would. Oh, really? Clay, my hero! Save me, please! Very funny. Uh-oh! I might need your help after all. What do you mean? But, but... Time to prove it! I... I... You what? Remember our self-defense lessons. But that's not the same... It's gonna hit me! Crap! Help! How could I? I'm stuck! Come on! Punch it! Kick it! Ah! <sighs> uh... Ha! Made it! No, you totally screwed. Um... Next phase, please. Student, let's play a game. Another one? When you hear this bell sound, step on the dash symbol. When you hear this unscrewing sound, step on the point symbol. When you hear this beep sound, step on the colon symbol. When you don't hear a sound for more than two seconds, step on the empty panel. So, dash, point, colon. Sounds fun. Can't be! Uh, it said your performance was good. Good isn't good enough! We're in a competition, you know. Student, you may now press the button next to you. That button. Each activation gives you a point for your final score. No way! Whoever designed this has a twisted mind! <sighs> Clay? Hmm, look. I know I haven't always been a friend, but... Don't worry. I won't do it. Whew, you had me scared for a second. It would be too much of a risk for my score. Student, this session is over. You may exit now. Thank you for your participation. Clay! Aren't you forgetting a thing? Oh, don't underestimate yourself. You're more than a thing. Well... Just a bit. Thanks. I really thought you'd leave me here. No problem. It's possible they're spying on our behavior. That's your concern? After everything you've done? Well, it worked. The door is opened. There's no time to lose. My throat is burning. I'll take exit number two. You take the first. As you wish. <laughs> Thank you.
I... Maybe I was a little harsh on him. Eh, he'll be fine. <coughs> oh no! The pollution is really starting to affect me. If only that idiot didn't take my pill. <coughs> I'd better get out of here, fast! <coughs> Finally out! <coughs> A pipe pill! In bad shape. <coughs> please, oh please be working! <coughs> oh no! <coughs> that darn thing <coughs> is messed up! <sighs> I should call Brock. Maybe he can get me some. <coughs> Come on! Reply! Just <coughs> for once! Of course. What was I thinking? <coughs> Never there when I need him. What should I do now? One more to the collection. A collectible ad? Great! Awesome! I found another one! Psst. Mm. Hey, boy. Got what you need. A pill? Yep. 1,000 unis. Are you serious? No thanks. <coughs> I'll get one from another pipe. You won't. What? There ain't any more. All pipe pills kaput. I don't believe you. Okay. Go check. But that's my last one. I may have nothing when you're back. Will you take the risk? Forget it! I don't trade with crooks! <coughs> Everyone says that. But Kitty, let me remind you of something. You don't have much time left. Heard this struggling to breathe gets atrocious right before the end. Get stuffed! <coughs> Are you okay, my boy? Yeah, I'm... <coughs> I'm fine. No, you're not. Oh, no. You didn't take your pill, did you? <sighs> Please tell me you have one. You're terribly sorry. I used my last one today. Quick, you need to go indoors. I know. <coughs> I was going to. I wish I could do more than give you advice. Your father will be back soon. I'm sure of it. No way! I can't rely on him! <coughs> Be safe. <coughs> Brock's not here. <coughs> oh, please, tell me you hit a pill somewhere. <coughs> can't breathe. My boy, come back home fast. Your son is in danger. Grav? Oh no! Grav! Huh? He's breathing. Thank goodness. Uh, looks like he didn't take his tox out pill. And he's unconscious. What should I do? Here. Mm, I'm sorry. I wasn't here for you again. <sighs> hmm. I shouldn't have done that mission for Wes. He told me, but I wouldn't listen. I'm so stupid. What if you... I'll never forgive myself. <coughs> hmm? Grab! Dad... You're safe. I'm here now. It's you. I was so worried. Don't touch me. What? Graf? <sighs> At this moment, I felt so helpless. So much happened today. I knocked that big bear out for no other reason but my own personal interest. 
I broke the law by breaking into Wes's office. I investigated a crazy murder case and... I chased that crazy bot, creating havoc. Graf almost died. Am I doomed to fail everything I attempt? Ah. Uh, to take my mind off it, I decided to prepare dinner. Well, with the little that was left anyway. There. It's not much, but that's the best I can do. Graf, dinner's ready. Hmm? Graf? It's been a while. I can't hear him. Graf, answer me! Huh? Hey! What the heck? You can't just barge in like this! You wouldn't answer. I, I was getting worried. <clears throat> Come. I've prepared... Not hungry. Then... Tell me what happened. What happened? I'll tell you what! Some stupid kid took my pill! All pipe pills were offline! I had no way to get one! The pipe pills? I sent you hundreds of messages! Called you! <sighs> but no! You didn't reply! You left me alone! Dying! I understand. I'm truly... Sorry? You're sorry? Of course. How many times have I heard this already? I'm sorry! Well, that's not good enough! I'm sick of it! You can't just pretend you're sorry and be done with it! Where were you? Why couldn't you just answer my calls? Long story. Obviously! For a while I thought the problem was me. But now I know. It's you! You're never there when I need you! Alright, I'll explain. But please come. You gotta eat. Perfect! I'll eat what exactly? Oh, leftovers. What a surprise. You didn't go shopping. Again. I'm s I mean, I was busy. Busy, of course. You think I wasn't? Do you have any idea what I went through today? I guess... Why should I eat your food? I hardly know you! To me, you're just a stranger pretending to offer me shelter, when in truth... That stranger took everything from me. What? You destroy everything you touch. You're a failure. Worthless. Now, wait a minute. You think it's easy to live in this world? I'm doing my best so we can survive. I was destined to become drummer. I'm in this situation, living among trash, working hard to get out of this misery because of you. I know. Listen. Ah! No! Stop! What? Don't touch me! I can't breathe. No one should touch me. What's with you? Why do you always react like this when I try to be friendly? You know I wouldn't hurt you. No. You. You lie. Stay away. But... I just... Stay away from me! Huh? There you go. I'm the king of making situations worse. He's right. It's been five years now. Maybe it's time to stop pretending I'm handling things correctly. Only a few days left. Time to give up and accept that I failed? He'll never want me in his life. <sighs> hey, you can be mad at me, kiddo. You have every reason to. Doesn't matter. The only important thing to me is that you're okay. And I want you to know, you're the only reason I keep moving forward in this awful existence. What's wrong with me? He just saved my life. I should be thanking him. Not this. Why do I feel so angry? <sighs> I wish things were different. If only... That accident didn't happen, and then my real father wouldn't have disappeared. Both of them. They abandoned me. I hate them! <laughs> I thought I was stronger than this. Okay, take a hold of yourself. Brock is right. I'm still alive, and that's all that matters. A message. Oh, the results for today's trial. Not bad. Another? With all
all that's happened, I actually forgot. Brock, he kept his promise. <clears throat> Getting hungry. I better find a way to apologize. But I don't have the strength to get out. And I can't send a message to his phone. He wouldn't notice it. Let's think. I know. I'll use that paper and pen Brock gave me a few years ago. He thought I could use that to practice handwriting. I replied it was a stupid idea in this day and age. But now I understand. Let's see if I remember how to handwrite. There. Hmm? A paper? Forgive me. You're already forgiven, kiddo. I don't know where we'll go from here, but I'll do my best. And I bet you're hungry, so... Dear, tomorrow will be a better day. I have faith in you. No matter what obstacles you'll be facing in the future, you'll overcome them. Hmm. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, uh, I'm late, right? Mm. But I'm exhausted. It's been an insane day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like every day, I guess. Okay, okay, I'm on my way. See? I don't even have to say a word anymore. Hey, bro. Rough day, huh? You don't say. Graf almost died because of me. Say what? There's a tox-out pill shortage going on. He passed out when I came home. That was close, but he's fine now. Stupid. You never told me about that. Why didn't you? I didn't have time. Not talking about now. If you told me in the past, I, I could have helped. Good thing you told me about this morning, though. If I hadn't, I... Wait, I'm totally not following you. What did you do, exactly? Take this. Hmm. A tox-out pill? Give it to him. For tomorrow. Won't you need it? I've saved up some. I'm used to skipping one from time to time. Thanks. Life is all about anticipating the unknown. Now she's making me feel bad for not saving any all these years. Talking about that, you better prepare yourself. Tomorrow will be even more eventful. How could you possibly know that? I know you. That's all. So... Looks like you didn't bring me all the materials I need yet. If you intend to scout the city, this is your last chance. But ain't I supposed to be fighting? It's been postponed. A new challenger coming at the last minute. Anyway, I need those materials before the fight. Final deadline. What happens if I don't? I'll order mint ones with fast delivery, but those are super expensive. If I can't afford them, I'll have to make do, but... You look oddly nervous. You okay? Just get those materials, if you can. If not, that's fine. After all, it's not like the whole universe and space-time are relying on it. Okay. Something under that little trap? What do you know? Little pearls. Probably valuable. Someone must have hidden them here. Scan complete. User allowed. Our Medi Live Health. Analyzing your health in real time helps to cure you faster. Please wait a moment. Medical prescription is valid. We've detected you've been lacking for five years. As a result, we shall give you the required quantity for five years. Whoa, that's a ton! Please take your medicine. 
Remember, take the prescribed quantities or risk severe penalties next time. Who cares? You should have enough for years to come. Goodbye. Something stuck on the grid. Wait, is the radar reacting to this? I wasn't expecting to look for a cake. Literally. <laughs> I guess Shay is just hungry. Still looks good. Drummers are such big wasters. Mm. Must resist. Can't eat. I've got something for you. Here. Is, is this? Yep. Your medicine. My boy. That's... more than I could ever have hoped for. How can I ever repay you? No need. I'm just glad to help. <laughs> Let me put all this away before we attract the wrong eyes. Sure. And if those darn rats show up, I'll be there. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't dare. You gave them a run for their money yesterday. And with this, I should be able to defend myself. My military skills are there, just waiting to be awakened. Great. Well, get better. I will. These won't cure my disease, but it should stabilize it. Wish I could do more, though. You just gave me a future. There's no better gift than this. Yeah. Still, my offer to host you stands. Just for a while, if you want. And I still have to respectfully decline. But... Just like you, this is my choice. Okay. Well, our door is open if you change your mind. Thank you, Brock. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Drones? What's it this time? Slum citizen, you have overdue bills. Explain yourself. What do you expect? Don't have the moolah. You've got three seconds to pay. Three seconds? Or else what? Delay expired. Prepare for life expiration. Oh well. Fade or not, bills always hurt. Guess I should think twice about leaving bills unpaid. Next time they might bomb the whole district. <laughs> I'm looking for stuff? Never mind. Wait. It's okay. You can stay. Thanks. No way! Graf has kept this little box for years. I had no idea this was first in dust. Hopefully he doesn't mind me borrowing it. Yeah, help yourself with that old stuff. Thanks. I owe you one. Wait, what? The price has doubled? This inflation is outrageous. Hmm. Just rubbish. Hmm. Nothing useful. Hey. What's that? Wait a minute. I've seen this somewhere. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's the high-precision clock Shay was looking for. Ah, P-1000. 
People throw away such weird things sometimes. There you go. Take this. You found all the materials? Good. That's all? Good? Amazing job. You just literally saved the world. No, the universe. Don't overdo it. Oh, but I'm not. Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't found them? Hmm. Here's your remuneration. Not bad. So, ready for the fight? All right. Time to fight. I love your enthusiasm. Be careful, though. That new challenger comes from nowhere and looks very strong. No worries. I don't intend to die today. Well, I'll remind you to quit if things go wrong. Me? Quitting? Never. <laughs> Silly you. If only you had good life insurance. Give it your best. RJ? What are you doing here, man? What do you think? I'm here for my revenge. Revenge? You wrecked my life. You attacked me. She fired me. Hacker too. All because of you. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize. Looks like I ruined someone else's life today. I'm so sorry. Don't care! You're gonna get it! Well, if that's a good fight you want, I won't let you down. Ugh! 
As I'm standing, I'll keep fighting. No choice. Impossible! My revenge. You wrecked my. You attack, Chief Hackers. Oh no! I didn't read. Looks like I ruined someone else. I'm so sorry. Don't care. You're gonna. Well, if that's a good fight, I won't let you. As I'm standing, I'll keep fighting. No choice. said stop you won't get anything out of this don't make me listen i'm hurt bad on the inside let's end this i won't no matter what you try and pull 
You prefer mental torture. I'm going to get you some help. I'll convince the hacker to hire you back. Bro, you probably shouldn't bring that up out here. Okay. Your last chance. Oh well. We won. You mean I won. Yeah, yeah. Great job, bro. Shay, am I a bad person? I keep ruining other people's lives. I promise everyone I'll fix things, but every time I try, I fail. Don't you worry. Soon you'll have a chance to change everything. I will? I hope you enjoyed your last VR night fight. The last? Yeah, I'll be unreachable tomorrow, and after that, I've got no idea what will happen. You're scaring me. So, as I said, I won't be available tomorrow. Are you leaving? I just need time for myself. Focusing on your new invention? Yeah. Oh, before I forget, here. An envelope? Uh, open me when desperate? There's something you're not telling me. Don't worry. It's just in case. Huh? I'll be saving your bacon once again. Or is it the other way around? Oh, I don't know anymore. Could you be more cryptic? You'll figure it out. Oh, well, I stopped trying to understand you a long time ago. Ugh. Well, oh, my back can't wait to find my bed. See ya. Bro, goodbye. I'll... I'll miss you. Uh, no. I can't. Gotta focus. Time to finish this for good. Getting worried about Shay. Everyone around me is acting funny these... Going somewhere, Croc? Weird. Why do I have a feeling of deja vu? We're not in the mood for jokes. Go away. I don't want any trouble. Sure. Give us your stuff and you can pass. Over my dead body, buddy. Um, you sure about this, Dot? Coward! He's outnumbered! He can't do anything to us as long as we stick together. Come on, guys! That croc will give us what should be rightfully ours. Whether he wants to or not. Come and get me. <laughs> to give up no way the boss wouldn't want us to besides look what i got when he was too busy punching you his phone good job what now give us the rest scaly oh one more i'll give you more For leftovers, that wasn't too bad at all. <clears throat> Don't feel like sleeping yet. Maybe Odd is online. 
<clears throat> Darn. Oh, yeah, I remember now. He's supposed to be at his trial this evening. Hey, what's this? Someone left a message on the topic I wrote yesterday. I guess. <clears throat> a text live conversation? From that same guy. Hmm, weird. I'll reply. Uh? Okay, I don't like this, but this guy knows things. I should cooperate for now to pump him for information. Hopefully I won't regret this. <clears throat> Darn, he logged out. No way, he's right. There's something fishy about all this. <clears throat> uh, does that guy have steel fists or what? Do you know who I am, little jerks? Well, I bet your boss remembers. The boss? I'm not in the mood for talk. Give me that phone, or else. Oh no, it's him! Him who? He's the guy who beat up our commander yesterday. We keep running into him. No. No way. Don't want to die. Take that phone. And my money. Uh... A hundred unis redeemable coupon. Well, uh, that was money easily won. <laughs> Hey, uh, let's get some shut-eye. What was that? Is this how Brock makes money? <sighs> what? Where did you come from? You tell me! Uh, have you been following me? Yes. Is that a problem? Well, uh... Listen, I'm sick of your little secrets. What have you been doing? Investigating. Where? Where were you yesterday? And this afternoon, when I was about to snuff it? Um... Well, I'll tell you. You were in the drums. Oh, uh... That's true. How did you... Doesn't matter. When did you intend to tell me? I, uh... Just forgot. Forgot? What are you hiding? I, uh, um, I've joined the police, uh, temporarily. Actually, I w was. It's over. The police? Long story. Obviously. I'll tell you everything. But please, not now. Uh, way too tired. <sighs> then just answer this. What's the deal with you and those squealers from earlier? Just some thugs. They tried to steal my belongings, so I defended myself. Is that so? It wasn't just defending. You smashed through them like a pro. Where did you learn to fight like that? You don't remember? I wasn't always a detective. Back when I met your mother, I was a boxer in fight pits. A boxer? I remember now. Like, I always knew, but weren't they rendered illegal and shut down? Yeah, they were. Then, what is it you do every night exactly? VR fights. You're a VR fighter? Yeah. All this time, why didn't you tell me? I chose not to. After the accident, uh, things changed. Doing money with illegal, violent activities... This isn't what your mom would have wanted. 
I wanted to be a model for you. That's why I started my detective career. To start afresh. But I soon realized this would never earn enough money to sustain both of us. So, I had to go back to it again. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not the person you want me to be. Are you kidding me? That's awesome! I'm not exactly a fight sports fan, but I'll watch you next time. So, you're not mad at me? I was. I just wanted the truth. Now it's starting to make sense. I'm so silly. I should have figured it out considering how hefty you are. Hey, you keep saying I'm fat. Just me joking. Well, you've got a round belly, but despite that, you're the strongest guy I know. <laughs> yeah, even the biggest squealer stands no chance against me. Mm. That's cool. I won't have to worry anymore that, um... You've been worried for me? Well, up until now, I've been relying on you. But this is all gonna change tomorrow. You know, when you're a drummer, I won't be around. But you can always count on me. Thanks. All right, I trust you. No more secrets, okay? Tell me you haven't hidden anything else from me. I swear, no more secrets. Life is too short. I don't want us to get into arguments again. Agreed. Look, uh, your birthday's in a few days. You remembered. How about I prepare something special for you? Cool. I'll be looking forward to it. But if you don't eventually, that's okay. I'll understand. Hmm. You know what? I can't wait to give you something. Here. This is Mom's pendant? Yeah. I figured it should belong to you. That way, she can be with you. I... I can't accept this. Why? It's just too hard. <sighs> Sorry. I'll keep it for now. But someday, whenever you feel confident enough, I'll return it to you. Fine. It was nice of you to offer this, though. Okay. Whatever happens, I'll be there for your birthday. Cool. About earlier. I know. You don't have to say anything. <clears throat> Good night. Good night, kiddo. Update in progress. <laughs> Firmware installed. Target defined. Phew. Another nightmare. At least that one didn't involve me. It was totally absurd. It's not like bots would... Huh? Hey! What are you doing here? What do you want? What the heck's happening? Graf, stay back! I'll handle it. What? Those bots, they broke in here to attack us. Why? Wish I knew. Looks like ordinary tribots. They shouldn't behave like this. I bet someone's got a grudge against you. Hmm. <sighs> About yesterday, you must find the culprit. The culprit? What's happening with the pipe pills? Squealers must be behind it. They're selling pills at outrageous prices. And considering what happened just now, who knows if the events aren't somehow linked? You're a detective. Time to investigate. Besides, I've seen what you're capable of. You can beat the crap out of those squealers. I see. You're overestimating me, but you realize I won't get paid for this? 
Sometimes we have to act for the greater good. Besides, with the haze, slummers like us won't go very far without the toxout pills. I can skip meals for a day or two, if this means getting to the bottom of this. Very well. I will investigate it. What about you? I've got my last trial this morning. Last? Already? Maybe you shouldn't... No! No way I can skip it! This is crucial! Will you be okay? I mean, someone may be after us. Don't worry. I'm certainly not as strong, but I can defend myself. It's not like we're living in a safe place. I'm used to it. All right. Just be careful, okay? By the way, here. A toxout pill? But how? Shay gave me one. Thanks. Hopefully that situation is resolved by tomorrow. Oh my! I'm late! And there he goes. Hmm. Got a bad feeling about today. Oh well. Better make some meal plaster or whatever horrible food is left. I'm sick of leaving for investigations on an empty stomach. You've got mail. Usually I leave getting the mail to Brock, but... He said no more secrets, after all. Hmm. An invoice from a guy named Mr. Rekka. Supplementary fees for the fear you've provoked. Ah! Uh? The Triweb invoice. Whoa! I wasn't aware we paid that much! Oh, there's another paper. A bank statement. I guess it must be littered with negative fig... What? There's a hundred thousand unis on that account? Hmm. Must be some kind of mistake. The account beholder is... Leah Filsch. Mom, what could this mean? No time to think about this right now. I need to hurry. The last trial could start any minute now. Graf asked me to investigate the pill shortage. No time to lose. Let's go. Hmm. A call. Ah, uh, someone I don't know. Hello? I need your help, urgently. Hold on. Who are you? Dr. Gherkin, uh, from the pharmaceutical factory. The Tribots have gone mad. I swear they're after me. A drummer? Huh. What do you need me for? Oh, can't I just explain when you're here? Sorry, I'm already on an investigation, so... Wait! I'm the only one who could fix the situation in the slums. The pill shortage? That one. I can fix the pipe pills, but for this, I need to remain alive. That's fantastic news. Well, uh, not that you're in danger, but... It's my job. No other drummer would agree to accompany me to this dump. Well, no offense. Nope. It's a dump, all right. I just think you're overreacting. Just a little bit. I'm not afraid of the slum's inhabitants, but those bots, there? Oh gosh, there's one in the corner, looking at me. I can see its shadow. Why me, though? I took the time to study your history in the last ten minutes. You've got a track record for street fights. You sure can defend yourself. <laughs> um, uh, well, I'm, I'm flattered. Besides, you're the only one who replied to my calls. Oh. Please, I'm begging you. How much do you want? 2,000 unis, five? Five <laughs> thousand? What, not enough? Okay, okay, make it 10 then. 10? Deal. Thank heavens. Please hurry, I'll be waiting for you in front of the factory. Oh man, just escorting that guy from one place to another and get 10 grand? Oh, this is exactly what I needed. A lead and money. Did the tide finally turn? Hmm. Let us throw! <laughs> we have children! Don't let us die here! Well, the pills! Come on! We deserve to know what's happening! 
everyone. <laughs> Break that entrance. The situation is worse than I thought. I was so focused on my own problems. I didn't realize everyone in the slums is suffering. Stop. Ah, uh, the cops. Please, you must understand. Violating the law. Stay away or be destroyed. I'm, I'm scared. Do something for us. Inform the government. Violating the law. Last warning. What should we do? <laughs> Three, two... We... we can't fight them. One. Can't die like this. Hey, wait! Don't run away! Too late. Target acquired. Well, I'm not going away. If there's the slightest hope I can help all these people, I'll take it. They don't get into more trouble for wrecking all these police spots. To access it, I'll need to cross the border. Hopefully West didn't revoke my access. Scan complete. User allowed. Must be the factory. Now, where's that guy? Hollow news of the day. <laughs> I wonder who would be stupid enough to do this. Huh. I didn't remember this. Uh-huh. Dr. Gherkin, I can see you. You can stop hiding in that corner. Oh, Mr. Brock. Sorry, I thought... Yikes! What's going on? The Tribots! They're coming! What? I hear them. Oh, great. Another paranoid scientist. Come on, we gotta go. No! Hey, that's a collectible ad. Nice, an ad coupon. Ah, oh, I wonder if... Nice. new.
I took care of those terrible creatures. It's safe now. Mm. You're right. Finally. Oh, I didn't have that one. Can we talk? Oh, of course. Been wondering for a while. Have we met somewhere? I could swear I've seen you before. That's possible. I... Uh, I worked with your wife. You did? Of course. Uh, that was years ago, before I became part of... Uh, I mean, there's only one pharmaceutical company in this country after all. Uh-huh. <laughs> what exactly is happening? The pills? Shortage? I don't know much. The bots run the factory and they started going crazy. In the meantime, the pipe pills all over the slums got damaged, so whatever's in stock wouldn't be transferred. Then it's not just one problem to take care of. I'm afraid so. What does it take to fix those pipes? It's technically complex. Only an expert like myself can fix them. Obviously. Tell me more about Leah. Her abrupt passing was a shock. She was a very valuable asset. I hope her job didn't cause her demise. What do you mean? I'm not supposed to say. Uh, my contract has a non-disclosure agreement which covers... Tell me. Now. Oh, I... I guess it's fine now. It's been almost six years, after all. Not long before the accident, she made a discovery. What discovery? I don't know. That's all she said in her message. It could have been anything. A breakthrough or a minor observation. Who knows? After all, her job was to find stuff. Unfortunately, I think the secret died with her. Why is this the first time I've heard about that? After the city power shut down, all data was lost, including this message. I only remember this after the investigation. It didn't seem so important. We'll talk more after we're done, Doctor. But, but I don't know anymore. I said we will. All right. I'll be around. Stay close, please. <laughs> for, for sure. Youngsters are crazy these days. Huh. I... More bots. Oh no! What do we do? You gotta examine that pipe pill, right? No choice. I gotta eliminate them. Hey, Metal Brains! I've got the perfect tool to unscrew you. My fists! Idiotic target acquired. no longer rocks. Time to report and get our reward. More. Oh, no. What do we do? You gotta examine that pipe pill. No choice. I got. Hey, metal brains. My fist. Idiotic target acquired.
Hey, Doc, I could watch you duck and cover all day, but we can't stay here that long. Oh, good job. Now, let me do my part. Hmm. A message. Oh my, that pipe peel is in a disastrous state. Squealers, most likely. I bet they learned about the shortages and tried to steal as much as possible. Fortunately, only external damage. So, Mr. Brock, why a detective? I thought you read all my history. Uh, only what can be found in administrative, camera records, and other tracking methods. Huh? Just figure there'd be some business. There ain't that many investigators in the slums. Why the question? I just like to talk when I'm nervous. Makes sense. Ask me questions, please. I don't like the silence. I'm done. Great news. Let's move on then. I'll be right behind you. Scan complete. User allowed. What are we doing here? Well, you're following me. Shouldn't we fix the pipe pills? Oh, that's right. Should I buy some snacks? The government forbids me from caring anymore. Uh, I'll fix this one. The city is so quiet. I'm getting worried. No, I I believe most slummers are staying inside. That's the guideline when the haze is strong and the pollution levels peak. Hope you're right. So, who's this journalist? I'm not sure. Uh, they were disguising their voice. Ain't that suspicious? Mm, well, well, now that you mention it... Oh, great. Hope we're not walking into a trap. Who would be mad enough to make a profit off such a terrible situation? You wouldn't believe how far some people would go around here. Uh, I'm done. Fast enough. Does it work? Well, for paying your bills, yes. Who cares? What about the pills? Well, we'll have to wait until the route is reactivated. How long until then? A few minutes? Maybe a day? A day? Uh, that's a very rough estimate. We don't do this that often. <laughs> well, and let's hope it's just a matter of minutes. Your journalist isn't here yet. Uh, well, uh, let's look around. You? I well, wasn't expecting. Dr. Gherkin, I explicitly told you we should meet privately. This is just my bodyguard. Uh, don't worry about them. What's your name? Uh, D. Let's keep this short. We're both busy people. I need some crucial information. Uh, very well, then. Ask away. Uh-oh. Sorry to interrupt, but some friends are following us. Oh, gosh. Not again. What's going on? Why are they attacking us? Beats me. Stay back. I'll deal with them. 
Ha! Don't think I'll simply stand by and watch. Looks like we're good. For now, anyway. Dr. Gherkin, please follow me. Uh, all right. Wait. Huh? I don't trust her. No, thanks for the help, huh? I didn't ask for your help. Oh, Mr. Cowboy thinks he's so strong. This ain't no cowboy hat, miss. I'm a detective. I see. Bodyguard, detective, and cowboy. You can do everything, huh? <sighs> It's none of your concern. I'm only here to interview the doc. Somehow, I doubt that. What? While I was fighting, I started to put two and two together. You're hiding something. You were brainstorming in the middle of a fight? This is ridiculous. Are you certain about this, Mr. Detective? Trust me on this. I don't have time to argue. Let's keep this moving. No. My mission is to protect the doc so he fixes the pipe pills, not to wander around for an interview. We're not going anywhere until you've explained your true motive. Aren't you persistent? Fine, you win. Ask away. Doc, leave us alone for a minute. But, Mr. Detective... No worries. Put yourself in the corner. Scream if you spot one of those darn machines. Uh... Oh, okay. D don't take too long. Let's get started. Earlier, you mentioned this was none of my concern, but your actions say otherwise. My actions? The messages you sent me. Don't trust that guy. Wondering about the sender, I asked a few questions to a particular individual named The Gloom. He confirmed a journalist woman sent them. No way. That guy promised to keep it confidential. I know how to squeeze the facts out of crooks like him. Now, considering you're the journalist who contacted Dr. Gherkin while concealing your identity, it's not hard to believe there's only one person behind all this. You. Good thinking. A bit far-fetched, but you certainly hit the spot. Yes, I have reasons to believe the doctor is not coming clean. Right now, I'm not sure who has the most secrets. But why bother warning me? I'm not sure. Trusting an investigator seemed right. To be honest, I'm already starting to regret it. There's no trust without truth. That's the whole point of this interrogation. Now, I have some clues regarding your true identity. Sin. The name rings a bell, huh? Of course it does. He actually hired me for an investigation two days ago. I found a picture of him with a woman and a little girl in his apartment. That night, when I met you in the virtual arena and accidentally revealed your appearance... And I still hate you for that. Took me a while to make the connection, but I finally realized you were in that picture. The hacker also mentioned you did research on Sin. Obviously, you've been separated for a while and you wanted to know his whereabouts. All this makes sense. Sin was a drummer, so you'd have to be as well. Journalism is a job only drummers can do. And... I guess it's a coincidence you've asked us to meet right next to where he's been living. But I don't believe in coincidences. Huh. Impressive. I'd say you're the best detective ever, if not for the luck that you've had in all these situations. Huh. Not luck. Quite the opposite. Always implicated in the worst events. In any case, you're right. Sin Silver is my husband. The love of my life. Weird way to describe someone you ditched. It's a long and personal story. 
Okay, let's not deviate from the matter at hand. Although this brings a whole new question. What exactly are you looking for? It's obvious you hold a grudge against Dr. Gherkin. First, you warn me about him with your messages. Then, you're worried about what may happen to your husband. I have a hard time imagining it. I, is Dr. Gherkin a threat? <sighs> I'm still gathering evidence. But in an indirect way, yes. He doesn't know my identity yet, and I intend to use that as an opportunity. He's just a scientist working in a factory. What could he possibly do? That's where you're wrong. He's much more than that. So, the scientist's job is a front? More or less. I think I'm starting to understand. No way! You asked the hacker for searches on the government? And he accidentally slipped that he's part of something. So you finally do understand. That guy, as slim as an asparagusite, is a member of the government? Yes, and I have proof of it. Huh, now I get it. Ever since meeting him, I thought he looked familiar. Impossible. Citizens don't know the members of the government. Well, true. Wait, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would he risk his life around here, all alone? I have a theory on this. Besides, the government's purpose is to serve the citizens, isn't it? Don't be silly. You know things aren't that simple. <sighs> I bet this is the reason why you're directly concerned. You're working for the media, and the government controls the media. I can see where this is going. In a nutshell, yes. That guy is responsible for my situation and sins. Your situation? You still didn't tell? Listen, time is running out. I need you to trust me. What's your plan? Luring him into a place where he can't escape. What? That sounds pretty... <laughs> what the heck? They can jump now? What's going on here? Uh, there's so many of them. Oh, we're done for. Come on, we gotta get out of here. And go where? Anywhere is better than here. Uh, uh, there's a bunker a few blocks from here. I, I have access to it. Good. Stay close to us, Doc. Let's go. Going to the bunker. This was a perfect opportunity for our plan. I should have protested against it, but in the situation we were in, this was our only option. Hey, Graf! Hey. Anxious? Yeah. And I wish this was due to the trial. I know what you mean. With that pill shortage going on, I'm lucky my uncle provided us with enough this morning. Better not worry him with my recent trouble. Me too. Brock got me one. By the way, yesterday I got to work with your old man. We investigated a murder case together. It was so cool! Wait, what? Yeah, the police is seriously understaffed currently, at least on the human side. So Uncle Wes decided to send us. How did that go? It was totally crazy. Detective Brock, I mean, your old man managed it like a pro. This was a convoluted mystery, tied like spaghetti, and yet he ended up finding the truth. When the criminal escaped, he chased after him out on the rails of the highway to arrest it. He did? Yeah, your old man is so cool. Uncle West was so furious, he fired him. But if you ask me, he was right to chase that criminal. Seems like you already know more about Brock than I do. Don't tell me you're jealous. Mm. Oh no, look who's coming straight at us. Hey, how's it going, guys? You. Oh, what's with you? I almost died yesterday because of you. What? This is ridiculous. You swallowed my pill! Do you know what it's like to suffocate for hours? Ah... Um, Alright... I admit... I'm gonna... Wait! Uh, please!
Please don't hurt me! I had no idea what was going on in the slums! That was just a prank! A prank? I... I'm sorry! I... This was an accident! I didn't want you dead! You've got to believe me! <laughs> I swear... Shh! Mom's coming! Please, guys! Don't tell her! It would ruin my future! Miss Director! Raph! Yes? I've got something important to tell you. Your precious son here. During yesterday's trial, he stole my tox out pill and left me to die. No way! Don't listen to him, Mom. He's just jealous of my performance. You know I've been working hard. I had no reason to do that. I will ask you a single question. Does this matter right now? I... um... I'm afraid this is unrelated to the trial. Thus, I cannot take this into account. But... I'm sorry. See? Liars never win. You scoundrel! Let it go. We really need to focus on what's coming. <sighs> You're right. This is the final step. Everyone, as you know, this is your final day. First, let me display the current scores. The final trial starts now. You've got exactly one hour. Good luck. Mom? Wait! What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to do this trial if we don't even know what it's about? I think this is part of the trial itself. In life, we won't always be told what we're supposed to do. It's up to us to decide. But if we screw up, our future is doomed. Relax. We'll figure something out. I got this. I'm out of here, suckers. Good luck for the rest of your life in the slums. <sighs> Any idea? Hmm. This morning I got an ad message. The museum is open to everyone today. The history museum? Now that you mention it, I received it too. Maybe that's not a coincidence. It's located in an independent area near the edge of the dome. One of the only areas aside from the center and the police department to be run by drummers. How do you know all this? Uncle Wes brought me here once. He said history is very important because it reflects the natural evolution of things, making it easier for us to accept changes. Accept changes? Well, you know, he's an old man. Anyway, what do you think? Good idea. This should be interesting. Whatever you choose, I'll follow you, Graf. If we do a blunder, we'll do it together. Thanks, Ot. I'm glad to have a friend like you. You and I both. Let's go. Not many visitors around. Obviously. What do you mean? It's an open day. Drummers don't like getting near slummers very much. On the other hand, slummers are more concerned about daily survival than culture. You got a point. A collectible ad? Great! What a strange device. Kinda looks like my phone, but even mine doesn't look that ancient. What's it doing on the floor? That must be an exposition piece. Did I win? I think I heard something fall. Cool, here's my reward. Something fell in that drawer. 
another reward for me. have this one yet. Do I have the whole collection now? That's a weird skull. Ears on the side instead of on top? No pointed canine teeth? What kind of species is that? This skull is dated 1 million BR. This stands for Before Rebirth. It was found at the bottom of the ocean floor, which explains its exceptional preservation state for its age. It belongs to an extinct species we've called Tamed Earthian. We've determined that this one was bipedal, unlike most ancient animals. The representations below seem to have been handmade by this species. If confirmed, Tamed Earthian would be one of our first ancestors featuring creative skills and a surprising intelligence, though much less developed than our own. It fits! And display something? <laughs> awesome! I found another one! Some old paper. nothing on it except for one weird symbol. What's the point? Statues, feathered tails, and stones dated 200,000 BR. These distinct features make them, without any shadow of a doubt, the first traces of the Untail worshipping. Graph? Are you sure this is the right way? See? It worked! Yes, but... No buts. Let's continue. Whoa! I didn't expect you to hit the wall. Um, well, it worked. Oh, I don't need any explanation for this one. That's Rebirth Day, the great turning point after the catastrophe which ended up polluting the whole planet. If it wasn't for the dome, humanity could have gone extinct. This should be good enough to replace the missing dome. Hey! Something appeared on it! The color of the panel is different here. Was something there before? Some history about the revolt. Five centuries after the rebirth day, tensions increased between the descendants of nomads living outside the dome and the domists living inside. Even though their ancestors made their own decision to live outside, the nomads began to claim the same possessions and rights as domists, resulting in free trade circulation between the two sides. A revolt turned into a war which claimed hundreds of thousands of victims. It is during this conflict that Domists named the outside people Slummers, while they respectively started calling people living under the dome Drummers. The overwhelming violence of those revolts still resonates to this day. No further rebellion involving all United Slummers ever happened again. Just as I thought. It fits perfectly.
One more to the collection. The current sex ratio at birth for females is 31%. Archaeological research suggests this hasn't always been the case, but it is the unequivocal result of our evolution. Who knows? Maybe nature did it itself to prevent disproportionate population growth. In the past centuries, males and females fought for their rights. In our society, females are deemed too valuable to do trivial jobs, and it's their duty to carry and take care of children. Again, they forget to mention these rules don't apply in the slums, but the low female birth ratio does. Yeah, it's not like there are many women roaming around the slums, and the few I've ever met are way too busy making a living to worry about offspring. Three thousand twenty six AR, Tradesium Fifth, the Autarchism Day. Over the history, several political models have succeeded one another. The longest running, a direct democracy involving several countries, was phased out after years of skepticism and a deep economic crisis. Resistance came from political grounds, who didn't want to believe there could be a better model. However, the vast majority of Atlasia citizens refused those debates. They believed politics to take a growing part of their free time, and judged themselves unable and unwilling to decide. A census survey was conducted, which clearly showed that political talks are harmful for humans' health. It was then decided that politics would be banned altogether. A self-proclaimed government now makes the decisions for everyone. This way, no citizen has to worry about bigger state decisions in their day-to-day -day life. In addition to this, Atlasia became independent cutting all remaining ties with nearby countries. Atlasia citizens can focus on their own priorities. This freedom is what gave it the name Autarchism. Another major event happened during Autarchism Day, which was occulted by many news reportings. The newly formed government almost ended prematurely when a group from the slums called Squealers attempted a coup. They claimed power in order to protest against the promise that robots would take a major role in the future, leaving many out of jobs. This attempt failed, however, and the new government quickly banned squealers out of the country with the help of the militaries to avoid any further attempts. That was quite a harsh decision, but in retrospect, I can't really blame them. Those squealers are quite the scum of our... Wait, that picture. Hmm, must be my imagination. 3029 AR, Lorgus 9th, the blackout. Unprecedented in modern history, a power failure occurred that day for a few minutes. This caused a huge number of problems all over the country. The dome got cut off, which could have had dramatic effects if not for the military tribots repelling slummers from trying to enter the drums. In addition, the triweb went down. All citizens suffered from unpredictable situations, ranging from getting stuck inside elevators to falling air cars. A few of those accidents led to drum citizen casualties, who shall always be remembered. A few accidents. Mom's name is listed below. Hmm, no. Weird. The keys are all aligned on this keyboard. What's it for? I should take a closer look. There you go. A crystal clear key. Isn't this screw a bit off? Wait, what? My screwdriver won't do. The tip is different. Obviously, that's some ancient panel here. There must be another way. Mm. Yes! The tip of that pyramid fits the screw! And... there you go!
Have you noticed Clay isn't here? Yeah, I hope we're doing the right thing. We can do this! Right! I wonder what caused this crack. Better not make it worse. Better not make it worse. Hey, look, there's some keyhole here. You're right. I think something's written inside. CC, under STU seat. Strange. You think this may be a clue? Might be. We haven't crossed anyone in the streets today. Yeah, everyone's hiding inside. You know, I'm kind of glad to be with you right now. How so? Well, you're kind of strong. I can't defend myself. I totally flunked that self-defense test, remember? You've survived this far. Only because I run fast. Brock would say, being strong lies in your mind. Easy for you to say. You're both so much taller and sturdier than I could ever be. Sturdy? Am I? I guess those hard training sessions at the conch worked after all. If a squealer shows his face, he's going down. Yeah! Some religious plastic statuettes. No one will mind if I take that damaged unit. Without anyone to watch over it, the whole stand is going to be vandalized anyway. Stubot, please don't mind us. What is human doing? Uh... Aha! You found it? Yeah, a key. Let's hurry back to the museum. The statuette fits in the slot. Good job, Graf. I think you unlocked something. Hmm, a symbol. That's all? Must be important. Two to one, this fits into the keyhole. Yep, now what am I supposed to do? Hmm, I believe those ancient keys are meant to be turned one side or another. I'll try. Look, a panel moved right below the lock. Does this help us? I guess it's supposed to. I've solved the final riddle. Congrats, Graf. I knew you could do it. Back to the cons, shall we? Okay, let's go. Will this be enough to get our diplomas? Obviously. I have that feeling in my guts again. Psst. Graf, you're nervous? You know, it's weird. I've imagined this moment many times. I thought I'd be super stressed, like the world on the verge of collapsing. Mm. I mean, if we don't pass, it's game over. We won't have a second chance. Ott, please. Oh, not me. I'm confident. If you're not, maybe you just don't deserve to become part of the best. Shut up. <clears throat> Sorry. 
What? Clay just apologized? Yeah, I know. I've been a little rough with you guys. I just needed it to get confidence in myself. Maybe the world is collapsing after all. Don't pay attention. He just wants to leave a good impression in case he failed. No, I'm serious. Ugh, mom's coming. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now who's the one stressing? Everyone, before announcing the results, I would like to congratulate all of you. You've been offered this opportunity because you were the hardest working students from this year. Keep this in mind. Whether or not you'll be living under or outside the dome, you're the future. This world needs you. Yet, there are many things you're not aware. Each one of you is special. You're all linked together in ways you can't even imagine. Hmm. I'd like to correct myself, though. Despite your hard work, your skills, and your intelligence, they're not the main reason you've been chosen. <clears throat> During those past years, I've attempted to make you aware and prepared. But no longer. In a few moments, your destiny will be in your hands. Now, here's the moment you've been waiting for. The final results. Here's Stuboth's score. As you know, this is the reference. Any score equaling or superior to this means you pass. Clay, my son, here is your score. Yes! I would like to point out that no favoritism whatsoever has been exercised. All criteria used for ratings are neutral. Next candidate, Ott. Phew, that was close. Congrats, I knew you could do it. And now, Graf. <coughs> I passed. It's not that simple. You have received a 40 points penalty. So, here is your final score. I still managed to pass, but I don't understand. The system has performed a check. Graf, your tutor is registered as a drummer. Brock? A drummer? As such, this breaches the institution rules that you signed when you got accepted here. This center is strictly reserved for slums children. But, oh, I know. He's taken a job as a police officer. Temporarily. No. He's registered as a permanent citizen. It's right there in the government mainframe data, which is inviolable. I'm sorry, Graf. The rules are the rules. He lied to me? Furthermore, you should have been automatically excluded. However, I attempted to save your profile by reclassifying this as a first-class penalty. This is the best I could do. Fortunately, your impressive results allowed you to reach the required threshold. Now. Congratulations to all of you. Due to circumstances, there won't be any ceremony. In addition, I have opened a 30-minute window for all of you to move to the dome. 30 minutes? From now? Yes. This will be your only opportunity to become drummers officially. You need to get prepared right away. I will meet you in front of the border post 001. But I'm not 16 yet. Do not worry. You're already registered. Just come. That will be all. I wish you good luck with your future. Just half an hour to say goodbye to my parents and prepare my stuff? I'm sorry, Graf. Gotta leave. But what about the situation in the slums? You heard the director. We can't miss this opportunity. We won't give up on them. And your old man's on the case, right? Yeah. Let's get prepared. The next events are a blur. I remember entering the bunker with D in the dock. It was tough, but we found a way to get rid of those bots surrounding us. On our way out, I received Graf's message. He made it. But he needed me urgently. I was faced again with a hard choice. D had her own trouble and she needed my help. This time, I had to make the right decision. Good. You're all there. Everything is set. You'll just have to cross when you're ready. Your new home awaits you.
Bye, you fools. Hopefully, I won't have to be lumbered with you both in this new life. <sighs> Always the same. Looks like we'll travel lightweight. They can provide us everything we need. Nothing from our life in the slums would be valuable there. I suppose you're right. Hey, where are your parents? We said farewell already, but I admit, I have second thoughts about all this now. Leaving everything behind? This is hard. We made this choice years ago. I know. On the other side, I should be able to help them somehow. What about you? Were you able to talk to Brock? No, he wasn't there. I sent him a message, but... I see. Always the busy one, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I'll go, but you should wait. He'll be here any minute. How could you know? I don't. Just a feeling. <sighs> this is it. On to a new life. See you on the other side. Yeah. Goodbye, Hot. <laughs> Three minutes left before the window closes. What a fool I am. I'm waiting for nothing. There's nothing tying me here anymore. Wait! I, I'm... I'm here. I thought you'd never come. Well, uh, I had to leave in the middle of a tough situation, but... I couldn't let you leave without telling you. Congratulations, kiddo. I knew you could do it. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <clears throat> Before I leave, something keeps bothering me. I found this in our mail. Oh, that's right. What an idiot. How could I forget something so important? This money, it's for you. Is this mom's inheritance? No, your mom was the spender type, but she opened you an account. It was empty. For the last five years, I've saved money. Fifty units per day. I knew you'd need this to make a new start. You did this for me? Of course. All this money, I... I can't accept it. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Everything is so outrageously expensive over there. And that's your name on there. Only you can have it. What about you? How will you live now? You know me. I'll manage. I always have. All right. Then I guess I have to go. Come with me. You know I can't. Yes, you can. Access denied. My access got revoked. But the director said it was permanent. Sorry. I had to cheat to get it. Well, do it again! Nah. You need to understand. The drums... I don't belong to that world. I tried years ago with your mom, but... Sometimes... You gotta be honest with yourself. Besides, I've still got an unfinished job here. Remember? Then... I'll stay. What? No. You'll need help. The slums needs us. I forbid you. But... You're not thinking straight. Your friends over there. Your future. I won't let you throw away all your efforts at the spur of the moment. Ah, uh, come on. Don't make that face. It's not a farewell. You can visit me anytime. You know it's not that simple. What if I can't make it on my own? I'm... I'm not strong. Like you. You're just being silly. You're going to the drums. There'll be all kind of bots to support you. If you've survived all this time in the slums, you've got nothing to fear. I... I guess... And... You're strong. Much more than you think. I... miss you so much. One minute left. Listen, when you cross, I want to see you smile. Do it for me. <laughs> all right. I want you to know, wherever we are, you'll always be my family. And you'll always be mine. Now, go.
Goodbye, kiddo. I'll miss you too. <sighs> hmm? The pipe pill is working again? The dock. Did he fix it after all? Huh. Oh well. I guess this means things ended well for everyone. Hmm. Wait. Something's tickling me. In my pocket. Huh? This envelope. What's going on? Huh? Hmm. Weird. I feel like I forgot something. Huh. No point torturing myself. It'll come back. I bet my brain is like a giant donut with a big hole in the middle. Hmm. Makes me hungry. Let's have some cricket donuts. Somehow, the situation in the slum solved itself. Dee and Dr. Gherkin disappeared into thin air. Thus, I never got to the bottom of this investigation. Things went back to normal for everyone. Except, without Graf, it's hard to give a sense to my life. But, uh, I'll never give up. I'll always keep fighting. For him, for myself, and everyone.
Thank you.